I guess that's long enough. Oh, hey, Theo.
So what's up with you? Mm, specs. You can't go live, Theo. Oh, I guess you wouldn't be able to anyhow, because I think you need at least 50 subscribers to go live. But if you got good video of it, you can always upload it to your channel.
I haven't really looked to see if anything was going on in the world either. I don't really see any big headlines. I didn't even see the volcano thing. Doesn't seem to be a lot of chatty people out there.
Is today the Tyson thing? Hey, everyone, just sneak in. Link is pinned if anybody wants to come up. What's up? What's good, man? Oh, come on, phone. Get in your spot. There we go. Sorry. Maybe if people see two people in here, we'll attract more attention. Yeah, I got a little thing that holds my cell phone, but I was plugging it in. I was trying to put it in place. I didn't want to go in there. Um, 
<laughs> it's funny because uh, I was watching a really good video. Uh, this guy's like a mechanic. He buys cars and fixes them up. Sometimes they're junkers. And he just drives around the United States and he'll go from one car to another car to another car. So he was out west, uh, like Vegas area. Really good video. A lot of good shots. Him renting uh, uh, ATVs and up these uh, dirt hills and all that. And, and I had a coffee and I just fell asleep. I just woke up and then I saw you was on. <laughs> <laughs> Usually you drink the coffee, you don't go to sleep. You know what I mean? <laughs> that doesn't like, work for going, me. What's going on? I saw the coffee cup. They actually looked at. It. I said, "My old lady made me a coffee, <laughs> and I didn't drink it." I looked at it. Oh, I already drank it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's over there talking on to her daughter. So hmm. I just leave her alone. Yeah, I thought I'd see if anybody was around today. I was, I was just getting ready to hit the. Uh, Exit whenever Theo came in. Yeah, I see Theo was in there. Yeah. Somebody else had, was there just for a minute or two. I want to give my dog a haircut, but it's a little windy. I want to do it outside. I don't know. It actually turned out to be a, a decent day. The lady said it was going to rain, but I don't see no rain. I don't know what she was talking about. It's still cold here. Is it? Yeah, I think. Hey, Siri, what's the temperature? It's currently 52 degrees. No, the oh, top 50. Bad. Yeah, I mean, last I checked, it was still down in the 40s. Yeah, I mean, if 52 is cold when the wind's blowing. Um, but 52 is way better than uh, 30 or, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> That's what people don't understand. I'm like, listen, when there's like a 10 degree difference or 20, you can feel it. Better believe it. Well, it's, a, it's a wet day. That makes it feel colder too. No. Uh, yeah, I got 55 outside right now. Out right here. Yeah. yeah. I saw you were over there watching the Australian videos earlier. Yeah, I didn't know the other guy. Um, I guess he's an auditor too. So I subscribe to his channel. I'll, I'll go check out some of his videos. I guess he's been around for a while. Oh yeah, the aud auditing Australia. No, I or, know him. That... The the guy the guy with the long hair. Um, oh yeah. Nanya. Uh, Nanya. Nanya, that's it. Yeah. I think I've heard of him, but I've never seen him. Heard people talk about him. Oh, so I lied to you. It's 64 degrees outside. My bad. Oh, geez. 64, 65, yeah. Is it sunny? Uh, yeah. Um, It's windy, though. Yeah. Sunny and sunny and windy. When I told you I was going to come out, I was waking my stupid dog up so he can go outside. And he likes to be out there, but just to get him to get up, man, it's like a whole chore. Get up, you bum. The one dog was ready to go. I got two dogs. The other dog was already outside, and I got to get him up. Thing is, is uh, if I open the door, the other dog comes in, then he don't want to go back out. <laughs> You know how these animals are, so. Yeah. Not bad. Is, uh, is Sarge, did he say he was going to go away for the weekend or something? Oh, that's right. Yeah, they were, I can't, I can't remember was it for, the weekend or was it just a day thing that uh she wanted to go down to norfolk okay because of my loud mouth old lady hold on a second
Okay, I have like a momentito. Muxter, what's your channel's name again? Uh, Rambling Muxter now. Rambling Muxter. First. Yeah. All right. Okay. You can, right, you. you can join our chat. <laughs> All right. Love you. It's my daughter. Huh? My daughter, she wanted to know what channel you was. Yeah, I forgot you changed the name. That's why I asked you. That's I know why well, I had to pause for a second. Remember what it was called too. I still type in uh, the old name Osceola Muxler. <laughs> it, it comes up, so yeah. I like what the hell is the name again? But you know, every time you show up on a show or something, you're always changing your name a little bit, which is funny, and. Uh, I'm like, okay, so he's this kind of muck, muckster today. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of times up when I go on a panel, I'll, like you can't, can't change it down in chat, but, well, you could, I guess people, you know, but you got to do the whole different email stuff and that. But, yeah, a lot of times I do call myself different things up on yeah. the panel. Depending where you're at, right, right. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, before I came on, I had to get rid of the uh, the not American thing I had up yesterday when I went on uh, Bear Britons over there with um no. with Bear with Bear and Grim. Yeah, we were talking about something. I don't know what. I'm probably gonna go upstairs because this woman's loud over there. Oh, she can. Oh, she's gonna send me. She wants me to look at a car for her or something. That's what it was. Yeah, I know. I was over with the British off and on yesterday too. Yeah. On that thread, and then uh, Summer was having that discussion on P Diddy. Right. Which, oh, that thing! That thing is gonna get deep, man. Let me tell you, there's mm -hmm. so many people involved in that. It's gonna be crazy. Let me turn on every light. Just come downstairs. Yeah, the wind's blowing out here, but it's nice out. Let's see if I can. Show you. That's what I gotta do. Shut up, dog. I forgot I had him outside. <laughs> as soon as he sees me, he starts crying. Ain't too bad out here. Yeah, it looks nice. It's clear skies. That's where I'm gonna do my garden over here. Mm. That crap over there, somebody else's crap. I used to have horses back here. Oh. The girl, the girl moved. Yeah. That'll look good once the. Uh... Leaves come in. Yeah. I don't know if you can see the outline of the mountain up here right behind me. It's all it's yeah. all mountain there. Theo said he was outside all day yesterday. Yeah. I don't know if you could hear that wind. Yeah, a little bit. I did have my grass mode yesterday too, so really? Yeah, I had uh my buddy he came over, he did it for me. He did all the trimming and everything. Mowed it down. It was three of them. Three guys. Yeah. Haven't been any mowers running around here yet. Oh, the grass was tall, man. Some spots were real tall. It's been raining a lot out here. 
I forgot I left my vacuum cleaner outside. My little shop vac. Cleaning it out. Bring that shit back inside. Yeah, ain't much going on. I don't know why the other channel is not up or I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, they never explained why they've been having those big absences. Yeah, well, maybe it's just hard for them to keep people there, you know, as far as um, um, you know, someone watching the channel, you know, his moderator yeah. or whatever. Whatever you call the person that lets you in. Yeah, well, I think you'd have at least four co-hosts. But, right. I'm, but I'm sure at least one of them was an admin because you have to be an admin to actually... Uh, um, ban somebody. Right. I don't know if I don't know if all four of those uh, were. I don't know. But yeah. it might it might be that uh, they they each log log in under the admin. Uh, um. You know, it's a password. Right. So that I they don't know how, yeah, I don't know how they do it. But, uh, yeah. Plus, you know, they've been getting, um, they've been getting bombed over there with these freaking porn bombers. Yeah. Uh, the last one that I was on, the show just before, when I was getting ready to come on, um, he got hit. And then I came on after that, and it was just me and him for a while. Nobody come up, and then finally had like one or two come up. It was like really slow after that, though. And then he didn't, he hasn't been back up then since that. So I don't I have no idea. This woman could talk all day on that phone. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> She goes for one for the other. So this is Easter. Well, it's Easter weekend. So tomorrow we'll get like 500 phone calls. No. Oh. From everybody in Puerto Rico. Yeah. I don't celebrate Easter. Not my thing. My brother does. I don't, I don't celebrate it. This is what I tell people, you know. Uh, Christ, whether you believe it or not, he died one time. He's not going to keep dying. He doesn't die every year. He did it one time. That was it. It's not going to happen again. He's not going to be born again. He's not going to die again. So why are we celebrating this garbage? But, you know, again, it goes back to religion uh, and tradition. So to each their own. I don't tell people not to. Um, I just don't. That used to be my favorite meal that my mother made. Was oh, the Easter. don't get me wrong. Yeah, well, also, you know, we'll have a Christmas dinner. And yeah. all. That's fine. You know, I'm not going to say no to your to your Easter Sunday dinner if you want to feed me. Um, I'm not going to go out of my way to call it that, though. You know what I mean? It's not like it's just it's just another Sunday to me. That's all it is. It's the other. Again, like I said, I don't, you know, if that's what you want to do and that's what you guys want to believe, uh, more power to you. I don't, I don't have a problem with it. That's but, where um, I am. I don't, uh, right. I don't want gonna, right. Yeah. 
I'm not going to tell you how to believe, right? If you say you don't mm. believe, Master, then okay. I can ask you why we can have a conversation, but it's like, I'm going to go over there and twist your arm. Oh, you have to. You have to. Yeah. Um, well, you're going to hell. <laughs> yeah. All right. The thing is, if if you read if you read it if you read the book right the Bible, he it says he gives you choice. So you either decide that you want to believe it or you don't. You don't have to. That's the thing. That's what people don't get. So it's I don't I don't think it, it's uh um worth arguing. I don't argue with nobody over uh because you know what. No one's one hundred percent. I don't care what religion it is. Uh, until you, until you, you know what I always say, Master. Until you die, <laughs> yeah. when you die, you, you're going to find out for real whether he exists or not. But we have to die. We haven't been there yet. I haven't died. I don't know. Well, like I, I said too, is uh, religion is mostly a mistake of geography. Uh mm huh. -hmm. It's like if you're born in. India, right. then maybe you're going to be Hindu. You know, you're born somewhere else. You're Buddhist. It's you're born that somewhere is, else. They're Muslim. You know, so that is, that is true. That is very true. Um, and and this is what I tell people. You know what? If you think your religion is the right one, then um, you should feel blessed that you got the right one and that you were yeah. born here and you wasn't born over there. Because um, at least here you can believe in whatever you want. And you know, I'm all for. Um, if you want to worship a goat, you feel what I'm saying? Because yeah, uh, don't tell me how I got to believe. If I want to believe in um, whatever, the Smurf God, then I should have that mm -hmm. same right as you believe in your God. You understand? So I'm I'm all yeah. for it has to be equal all the way around. It can't be one way or, or, or you know, oh, you got to do it my way. I'm yeah, unless, unless your religion says you're allowed to have sex with 10 year olds or something, then. Well, Whatever. Yeah. When you start reading what they believe, it will blow your mind. You're like, what in the hell are these people thinking about? Yeah, this is, um, you know right from wrong. No one really has yeah. to tell you much there. You, you know hey. that... Um, Killing people, it's not good, right? You know, yeah. you just can't go around. I'm talking about just blatantly yeah. just go around, just kill someone because you don't like them. Hey, even Pope Frank a couple of years ago said that uh, um, atheists can be good people. Anyone can be good. Any Anyone can have morals. You, you feel what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Um, and then you have the so-called religious people who who you know aren't good right they yeah. want you dead they want you dead man because you don't believe their way or they just want to attack you i don't get it man it's it, it and it's it's the same way with any any kind of really belief uh are you for the oh you're not for the gays and then they attack you right you're you're the bad yeah. one or or you're for the other side and you attack the gays because they're gay you see that's what i'm talking about you um, these are grown folks. People are gonna do what they want to do, whether you believe or you don't believe. So I just leave it at that, man. I'm gonna be forcing my my beliefs on anyone. Yeah, I'm waiting. Uh, they're gonna give up some boxing match tonight. That's all I was waiting for. That won't That's be later tonight. Yeah. That's what Theo said. Something about watching boxing later. Yeah, I thought he was talking about U UFC, but yeah, there is a boxing and a UFC. Oh, uh, I think yeah, I think he's talking UFC. Yeah. I haven't really watched boxing or anything like that in quite a while. Oh, I love boxing. I watch it all the time. Wednesday nights, every second Wednesday of the month, there is uh, live boxing on YouTube on Pro Box, and they're up and coming. Kind of, you know, they need to win this fight to keep going. If not, they got to get out the game. 
but they usually put on really good fights. And you get to watch them for free on YouTube and they're live. I mean, you're not paying for it. I'm getting yeah. better than that. I was going to say, I probably wouldn't mind uh, if somebody was streaming a fight and watching it with a group like that, you know? Right, right. I watch like a watch party, they call them, I guess, right? Yeah. We all get together and everyone's watching at the same time. Okay. Yeah. And what I do a lot of times is um, there's a, a channel that I, a boxing channel that I watch. He goes live on the big fights. Like he'll be live. He was live last night. Um, but I didn't have, I don't have ESPN plus, so I wasn't able to watch the fights last night. Uh, but I can, if I don't like the announcers, the guys that are calling, I'll put him on and I'll listen to him yeah. while, while the fight is on. Cause he's calling the fight himself at the same time. And then I can chat with people in his, uh, in his thing there, in his chat. That's, uh, kind of like, uh, this was of course years be years ago before any of this, but I had a friend that really liked watching baseball, but you know, she'd watch it on TV, but she without the sound and she'd listen to the radio announcer because she liked the way he called the game better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh they opened up yesterday. It was open the season yesterday. I believe it was yesterday. Oh really? Yeah. Is for spring training or first first games? No, the first game. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Yankees the Yankees won. They beat um it's funny because my lady goes, yeah, they, they beat the Astros. They, they can beat them during the regular season, but they can't beat them in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. I go, yeah, that's when it counts. Yeah. I watched a pretty good video on um, on uh, the boat, on the the cargo boat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Hold on a second. Well, the this guy, he's doing um. They they go on there. It's like the the Coast Guard um, and some other some other um alphabet people, and they're recording. They're looking at the damage and they're taking readings. They want to make sure that there is no um. Toxic materials and their and the, they're, they didn't show much. That was the only thing he was like, "Yeah, I wish they would show us much." But uh, you can really see some of the damage on the boat. Still, that boat didn't take the uh, the damage as bad as I thought it would. Even the guy was like, "I'm surprised the boat still is still floating." Would probably have been a, a worse disaster had it sunk. Uh, so apparently um, they had electrical problems and they had worked on it and they were told somehow you read there, this newspaper clippings that they, they should have never left. They should have really got that fixed. So I guess they have a bunch of refrigeration on there and that probably caused them the boat to lose power to shut off and turn back on and shut off the way it was doing. Yeah. So they're thinking maybe that has something to do with it. And and when the power goes off on the boat, that's what he was explaining. That's when the recorder mysteriously stops recording. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you think something like that uh, has like a separate, you know, like its own battery yeah. or yeah, you think it or... would. You think it would have an uninterruptible, uninterruptible power supply, right? So Theo said there's a he he knows a place to where you can uh, see all the P, PPV fights for free. Is it, oh yeah, we don't we don't use we don't use those words here. Uh, yeah, we can we can get fights anywhere, but yeah. yeah, it's called IPTV. What he said about a stream east. Yeah, I know a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. My my problem's not really getting the fights. 
my problem is uh my internet sucks yeah, yeah. and then, and um i can watch but a lot of times it'll start buffering and i, I get frustrated if it gets bad i'm not watching shit because i'm not watching uh 30 seconds and then i lose it and then you know comes back 30 seconds later no i, I don't got time for that bro yeah i had heard somebody else saying last night that that boat never should have left dock in the first place. Yeah, that's what the guy was talking. Let me see if I can find his. Um, his little, I'll tell you what his channel's name is. Uh, let me open up uh, another YouTube. I think I watched this guy. He did. He did a, a video on a church in my town that had collapsed in in Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Oh, I gotta go to history. Hold uh, on. Jeff O. Strauss, I think is his name. Mm -hmm. Jeff O. S, S T R O. Off. Jeff O. Strauss. I can't even. It's like one name, like Jeff O and then Strofe with two Fs. It's like a, he's a, he's a, what is he? He builds and repairs homes. Oh, okay. He was talking about, he knew about uh, electricity and engineering and a little bit of. It's a. Uh, yeah it's his latest video it's from yesterday he's got a couple of them about the about the boat hitting the thing it's about 13 minutes long but you get to see the boat him go on the boat and all that and not him the people that went on the boat yeah yeah i see I here did you want to bring Want to show it again? Yeah, you can if you want to look at it. I thought it was pretty. It was pretty uh, interesting. Get a different look at. Uh, you can see the the pylons and all the the, the stuff from the bridge up close. They're all hollow. He said a lot of people don't know that the structure that holds up the bridge are hollow in the middle. I had no idea. Huh. I know I uh... impacted the Francis Scott Key Bridge, causing the bridge collapse up there in Baltimore. We're going to be looking at that and we're going to look at some other news about what some of the wives of the missing construction workers knew about them, as well as some previous trouble that the Dolly was having while it was at dock. She'd never have left the dock in the first that place. Is loud so let's take a look at the video me. first. So as part of their inspection today, when they were aboard their ship, they oh, were looking that? at the no, material and downloading the Vessel Voyage data recorder. And you're going to see the video. Yeah, turn it down a little bit, yeah. So yeah. here we are. Here on the right-hand side, you can see that's where the pillars were that the ship originally struck. And so you can see bumpers around it were actually in pretty good shape. And I wish they would show us some better video of it. Now, he's taking pictures. He's leaning over the side of the bridge now, looking straight on down towards the, the bow, trying to get some pictures and I hope they publish those pictures because I want to see close-ups of it. So here we are, here's closer to the point of impact and directly in front of them you can see where the roadway from the bridge has come crashing down and, and that gray metal you see there is the actual truss of the bridge. So there's debris all over the place here and I'm looking at these barrels and I'm thinking, uh oh, what's in those? I hope there's nothing, <laughs> nothing like plutonium or something. These guys are standing right in front of it. Now, fortunately, it looks like they didn't leak. I can't really tell from this vantage point, but they're photographing everything there. You see, they, they got the Coast Guard to, uh, to um, see what has other, dangerous materials in them. And right in the background there, you can see that gray truss from the bridge. NT, NT. So there they're shooting. Be, I saw them, one of them shooting a laser. National Transportation Board. They're oh, either doing okay. LIDAR. Or they're tech, uh, they're doing a thermal scan as a possibility. Maybe they're doing some infrared. 
but you can see the laser dot. He had shined it right on the surface there. National Transportation Safety Board. Mm. They're the same ones that do airplane crashes. That could be a humidity right. meter. That looks like one that I use when I'm installing wood flooring and stuff like that. So either that or they're they're sensing. It could be a sensor for gas leaks or something. And there's part of a looks like it's a, a walkway of a deck or something. I didn't see what the third separated. one. I know, yeah, the one said the Coast Guard. I don't know if right. the other one was NTSB or, uh, also. It's really right? amazing yeah. that you can maybe still walk around on this boat, too, and not really have any issues. Because when you think about how heavy that bridge was when it came collapsing down on top of it. So there's the, the truss there and the, more of these barrels. And look, that barrel is crushed, but it doesn't look like it leaked. That's pretty amazing there if it is. I'm pretty lucky. I mean, we don't know what was in there. Could have been vegetable oil for all we know. I know there was concern about were there lithium batteries or stuff like that on in any of the containers. There was supposed to be somewhere around 58 or so containers that have hazardous materials in them. Yeah, they're not going to tell you what's in them, though. Just going to yeah. say hazardous. I mean, any kind of oil gets in the water is hazardous, right? Are you going to show us a lot of kind of wasted video yeah, here that's not much. really giving us a lot of, of information but here they're going around the stacks of all of the containers of course there weren't any of those hazardous stickers on the barrel see those numbers right, like that, those, right. that's there. what i said it would have had that the, uh, what do they call those, it the uh, msc uh, 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 i forget the triangle on data them. sheets that tell you yeah. how dangerous the materials are inside there it's very important for them to there be is able to flammable identify. stuff there though, there is a shot they took looking down down one of the walkways and you can see a Couple of fallen containers there. Yeah, that's a pretty cool so shot. Right heading there. on upstairs, probably to the bridge at this point. And once they get on the bridge, we're going to see them pulling the data from the Voyage data recorder. That's the equivalent, so to speak, of there, there has to what be they use on the airplanes. It, it doesn't give the, you as much data as you would get the on the, bridge, on the right? recording flight recorders and stuff like that. But it does have yeah, you some. Think so. They're kind they of kind of have cameras all over that boat. Data that is the collected. bridge came down and on guess top what? of it. When the Dolly boat here lost its power, now, did you see that one guy's jacket said synergy the on data it? Recorder was operating. Oh yeah, so I see that. Once the power generator came on, I think then it kicked who, who back are they? On. You know, so you, you sounds like a company a to me. In the records when they're done, the so here they're kind of looking in. I think probably towards I the back. Let me look and, and see, want to see what sort of what this is. There's four people the there now. Inside. Now you know when a boat hits yeah. something like a dock or see something all the oil tough like stuff. concrete. Usually, uh, the metal of the boat absorbs the energy, and so usually there's a lot of internal damage inside the metal mm. of the hull. And so now here they're looking at this liquid. Streaming down the, the wall there. What is that? It looks kind of gooey. Not doesn't look like something you want to step in. You know, you don't you don't want to turn into the Toxic Avenger. Yeah, remember the Toxic the next Avenger, Marvel superhero or something like that. You know, an inhuman. So I'm assuming this is probably directly under the bow, and there's all of the damage that it incurred on the inside of it as it struck the the pillars. So as you can see, it was just a lot of devastation and mess on this boat. But it's amazing that the boat is actually still afloat after all of that. Because so it could have easily taken on water. So that energy and water right convinced. Huh. And of it's course, they're showing us more and more of nothing here. When I want to see close up of the damaged areas. Again, more, more sort of uh, non-event video there. Now, the guys are probably going through communication logs right there or setting up to take the data out of the voice data recorder, which is located on the other side of the bridge. So we're going to see when they walk over to the console on the other side of the bridge, how they're Maybe going that was to a structural uh, get engineer. the data out of there. And you do it, you extract it out of the voyage data recorder hmm. with a thumbnail drive. Imagine yeah, so they're getting that information to the edge of space, looking down on Earth in the comfort of a luxury ah. space balloon. Hmm. Sounds like a sci fi movie, right? It's not. This ambitious company is making it happen. But let's rewind.
again, they're just showing much of nothing and when they could be showing us a lot more detail. So here they are now, they're walking over to the console and this console on the right is where it is. You'll see him plugging it in right there. And if you look closely when they zoom in, you should be able to see the little tag above it says something about, yeah, see VDR operation alarm panel. So right there is where they're extracting this data out of the, the Voyage data recorder. This is the all important data that everybody's been asking for. And they gave sort of a, a partial of what was in it. And I showed it to you on the video last night because they gave a few um, updates and bullet points of some of the key times that they were able to pull. And that's it for their video. And then let's go to the other stories I wanted to talk about here, the updates. And by the way, you might be surprised to learn that uh, these four pillars that were here at this connection, the sub major support for the bridge, if you look at the one that's coming up, it's, it's obscured by the truss right now, but it's right there. It's exposing almost in the center of the screen. You might be surprised to learn that these guys were hollow. They're not solid concrete, and you'll right. often see that in bridges. And then this news came out today, so I don't know if you saw this, but I thought I would include it for you. So this was very shocking and, and kind of saddening, I think. So uh, it says here, the wife of a Baltimore Bridge collapse survivor says workers were on break in their cars when the bridge came down. Uh, so what makes this kind of heartbreaking? It means that, that you know they, they probably didn't stand a chance. They, they may have been in there with the windows rolled up. And so when a vehicle plunges into the water and these guys were mostly uh, foreigners, who don't really you know know the ways of our vehicles and what to do when you land in the water like that pretty much us floridians know because we have canals all over the place but and they likely just drowned in the vehicles or maybe they got crushed and knocked unconscious because they probably fell quite a distance there when the bridge collapsed and in one case they said that one of the vehicles the bridge had uh, sort of encased it underneath water some of the concrete roadway was had encased the vehicle that um, they might be trapped in. So I don't know if they would have been any better off if they were outside their vehicles on the roadway. But, you know, as you can see here, there's the yellow lights and there's where the vehicles were sitting when the Dolly ship struck the Francis Scott Key Bridge and the whole thing came collapsing down. So it just seemed to me like these guys just never had a chance. And we know the police were getting ready to go and, and drive up to tell them when the accident occurred because the, the cops basically had seconds just to get their cars in place to close the bridge to begin with. Yeah, if we can stop traffic, just make sure no one's on the bridge right now. Uh, I'm not sure where uh, if there's a crew up there. You might want to notify whoever the foreman is, see if we can get them off the bridge temporarily. 10-4, once the other unit gets here, I'll ride up on the bridge. I have all interlude. And then this story broke, too, which which is kind of really surprising. Um, <laughs> so it says here that the cargo ship suffered severe electrical problems while docked in Baltimore days prior to the bridge collapse. And so what they were saying is that it had total loss of engine failure while it was at the port, according to a port worker. So the port worker had said here that the ship was anchored at the port for at least 48 hours prior to the deadly crash. And it also says, look at this, following the devastation, she said, in those two days, they were having serious power outages. They had a severe electrical problem. It was a total power failure, loss of engine, power, everything. So here seems to be the problem they were having right here. Uh, she explained that refrigerated boxes tripped breakers on board the ship on several occasions and the mechanics had been trying to fix the issue. Now, I don't know what could have been the issue here. Did they have too many refrigerated boxes that were hooked up? I mean, let's face it, if you're tripping breakers, okay, that means you, you're drawing too many amps. And let me tell you something too about breakers. Yeah, uh, Many breakers will trip long before the rated amperage. Now, I can tell you over the years where I've done numerous remodelings, I run into problems with electrical all the time. And you often see people that didn't know what they were doing, putting in breakers with the wrong amperage. And then another thing that happens too that people don't realize is that, you know, breakers can trip at 75% of the rated current. So for example, let's say you have a 20 amp breaker there up in your breaker panel. 
and those can trip at 17 amps. I've seen it happen. I've done a lot of electrical problem solving like that in the past. So maybe that was an issue here. Maybe they had too many refrigeration units that, that they were trying to hook up to the power and it was causing problems and making them all trip all the time. And if that's the case, it seems to me they like they didn't really solve the problem. Maybe they were playing some games. Maybe they tried to do load sharing and take, all right, if all of these are tripping one breaker, let's take some of them and unplug them and throw them onto another breaker. And so now you're, you're just moving the problem and spreading it out more, thinking you're lowering the load. And yeah, I mean, that makes the most sense, but you could still have problems with that. And then right here, this is the most damning statement where she says they shouldn't have let the ship leave port until they got it under control. So my question is, is did they have it under control or did they not have it under control at that point in time? So that's the, the thing, or maybe they thought they had it fixed and the issue was obviously still there. I'm going to continue to monitor everything here for you on the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. And in the meantime, you can check this video out right here, which is on the FIU bridge collapse. That was one of my best engineering videos yet. So thank you so much for tuning in again today and stay tuned for the next one. And we'll see you on that next one. That's interesting. This is just, you know, mm. little, you get to see a little more and kind of understand what's, what was happening. Well, one thing for sure, that captain is screwed. Oh yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they got orders from corporate of just get it going enough to get it home and we'll fix it here. But still, it comes down on the captain to make the final decision to go to yeah, go to sea. It's from Malaysia. They're from Malaysia, that boat. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, you know, how they would. Are they going to unload the boat and then take it back? How, you know, they got to get the bridge off the boat first, you know, the, the that part. Yeah. They're going to have course, to get cranes and all that out there. You never you never can tell, is it, is it really from Malaysia or not? Though a lot of times, I'm, and I'm not sure exactly how they do it, but it could be, you know, like a Chinese company, an American, American company, whatever. Right. And they'll put them under a different flag for, you know, right. basically to, things yeah, like this. Go out, right. Yeah. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't know. Uh, you know, I, I go back, there's so many videos out there and, you know, there's the conspiracy videos. It's always done. I mean, it could be, it could have been done on purpose. I have no idea. It looks like an accident to me, Muxer. I see it. I see yeah. an accident. I have no idea. Um, people say, well, how could it, because they were talking about uh, boat sitting hit a crane and didn't knock it down and hit other things. Do you know the weight behind that damn boat? It was yeah. a, a fully loaded um, cargo ship is over 900 tons. Okay. Yeah. That's like millions of pounds hitting. Uh, if I, if I bop you in the head with a little hammer, right? You're going to feel it, right? Imagine that thing hitting you. It's going to knock you right over. That's what it's going to do. Yeah, and I, I don't buy the conspiracy stuff just because, you know, it had to be so precise to bring down the whole bridge that way. But look you at know. where it hit. That's the thing. It hit in that, in the spot that holds the bridge. You, you feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, and you know, people say there was explosions. There was no explosions. I I watched mm -hmm. it. Um, yeah, you see sparks. There's lighting on the bridge when the cables got ripped or broke or what have you. That's what you're seeing. When the lights go out and the bridge comes down, you're seeing the electricity. You're not seeing no explosion. I didn't see any explosions. No, me neither. And and I don't know if you heard the, the radio calls from the police, but uh, they already, they I guess they already knew the boat was having problems and it was going to hit, probably hit the bridge. So they told them to go block the, the bridge off. Yeah. And um, so they actually stopped a bunch of traffic from actually going on the bridge. Could have been a lot worse then. Yeah. Yeah. And and if these guys were on break and they were in their cars, I'm pretty sure no one had their seatbelt on. You fall from yeah. that high. I don't know how high that bridge is. Maybe it's 100 feet. Maybe 
got to be more, right? Those boats are tall. Yeah. It's a tall bridge. Let's say the bridge is um, 200 feet tall. When you fall from 200 feet. Yeah, that's good. You're be. not wearing a seatbelt. You're probably going to be knocked out, number one. Um, everything else coming down on top of you. How are you even going to get a chance to get out, man? And, you know, the worst thing would be for the car to be intact, but you're but trapped under there. Could you imagine sitting there just watching the water come up to what finally drowned yeah. you? Yeah, it's freaky, freaky shit, bro. And that's the thing. You don't know what it is till you're in that damn situation. I mean... You're there, and then the next thing you know, you're falling. You don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you can see the cars in the video when they're going down with the bridge. You know? You can you can actually see them going down. Uh, last that I knew, yesterday, they were trying to find two more bodies. That was the last that I knew. And some of those dudes were like from Honduras and somewhere else down there, um, Ecuador or what have you. Yeah. Working. It's freaking broad. She's upstairs. I don't know why she came downstairs. <laughs> She's doing something on the computer over there. I'll go upstairs. I'll go upstairs and then she'll come upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say nothing. Hey, to her Nick. Better over here. I gotta turn the TV on so I can see the damn screen. Okay, what did I do? I knocked it off. Did I hit the like button? I don't know. Yeah, um, talking about the panels as we was talking about, I think that, uh, they don't need to be on 24 seven, but I think more people should do them. And that way people can know other channels and go, I think, you know, there's, there's space, there's more than enough space for everyone mm -hmm. to, to go to different platforms and talk about different things. And uh, you, know, you don't have all the yelling all the time, you know, the craziness. Yeah, uh, yeah let people pick the kind that they want. Right. You know, you could do um, open panel Monday or, you know, what you know what I mean? Or yeah. uh, political Tuesday or whatever, religious Sunday or, you know, have different topics or well, have uh, auditing, 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 auditing day, which is just yeah. auditors come on and they all talk about how they go about what they do or something, you know, something different. Ugh. 
I'm sure there's already plenty of them out there that uh, are just like a specific thing. Like it might be, you know, a conspiracy channel or a, you know, yeah. Christian channel and stuff like that. But, right. There's a bunch. There's a bunch that I've watched. And um, the thing is, you're not going to be able to get on them because they have certain criteria. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not, they're only, uh, this like I know a bunch of black channels I watch. You're not going on there. I'm not going on there. We're we're the wrong color number one. Yeah. I I am interested in what they have to say, and I do learn stuff, and I do get what they're talking about. Um, but then I don't get I don't get certain things. But I mean, we're all people. You understand? We're yeah. all. Um, you know, you grew up one way, I grew up another, we have prejudices. I think everyone does. We, we, we have, um, stereotypes, you know, we, we always say, well, this, you know, these people, whatever, but yeah. at the end of the day, we're really all the same people, man. Well, that's, I've said that before. I don't know if there's ever something you were in when we talk about stuff like this, like, I've never, I've ha I haven't like traveled around the world, but I've met a lot of different types of people, you know, from different races or whatever. And usually when you meet people one-on-one -on -one like that, they're all basically the same. Like I said, no matter whose house you go into, the grandmother's always going to try to feed you. Yeah. Yeah. It, it doesn't care if they're black, Italian, Chinese, whatever it is. Most of your folks out here, they're all great people. Let me tell you. Yeah. Um. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't experienced any um like racial. Um, I'm not saying about me. I uh, just with anyone. I've never yeah. seen people who hate on black people out here, or, or you know, you hear people say things. Um. They use the N word here, but it's um I don't know if it's an old like they'll say that was N rigged and I'm like, what? Yeah, uh, it's just so when I was at this guy's house and I was like, Why is your house built that way? And it because it, it was like added and added, and he was just, Yeah, that was N rigged, no like, N rigged. And I just yeah. looked at him, I'm like, what does that mean? Because that was when I first moved, and then they're, oh, that just means they just Kind of threw it together real quick, or what have you? Uh, yeah, I can remember yet. hearing that. Yeah, people years ago. Yeah, and then the end bridge. I'm like, what the hell is the end bridge? Oh, that's where they all hang out over there. But that's what they've always called mm -hmm. it, so we still call it that today. It's not that they're hating on anyone, but Yeah, Theo, I see what you got on there, but some channels ain't gonna let you on, or or if they do, they're not gonna let you say much. I remember when my one nephew went to college, then he was telling me about uh, he met these black guys and was friends with these black guys, and they let me. Uh, they they said I can use that word and stuff, and I said, well. First of all, I don't care. I don't like it. I said, but I said, do what you want. But I'll tell you right now, you get in the habit of using that word and uh -huh. you get into a different group of people, you could be in big trouble. <laughs> That's right. That's what happens. Well, the thing is, you, you know that the word is is to put people down. You know, that's the derogatory. Yeah. It's, it's not, you know, it's not a it really isn't a friendly word. Um. I get what they they're doing. I grew up in it. I grew up, you know, in in projects. You know, with, most of my friends were all black. You know, that's what I hung out with and stuff. But uh, through the years, I've just kind of gotten away from. I say it. I, I'm not going to say I don't say the word, but um, I try not to. And, and if I'm around a bunch of white people, I'm not going to say it anyways. But uh no I, I say it's not it's not cool um it's your right to say it you can say it with a hard r you can say it however you want to yeah. say it 
we're in America. It's your First Amendment. Is it, is it going to get you smacked up or knocked out? It could. Right? It could get you killed. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to go uh, to a whole Mexican crowd and start talking shit about Mexicans. What's going to happen to me? They're, they're going to they're going to get me. Right. Yes. You know, you can't. You got to know where you're at. There's a time and a place for everything. But uh, uh, most people I know out here, they're, they're all good people, man. There's a I lot of a lot of derogatory terms like that, but I can't. Yeah, and, and and we we know them all, but it seems like that one is like the worst of all. And, you know, you can think of them for other, you know, like for Hispanic people, Chinese people, whatever. Right. But it seems like that one, it it just really is the worst of the bunch. You know, you you've watched uh, cartoons, right? You've watched um, Popeye. Yeah. So, so go watch some of the the propaganda from the old Popeye. Uh, what what they're calling the Japanese people over there, <laughs> and they're really, you know, they'll they'll bring the 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 character out that with the buck teeth and all that. Oh like, yeah. This is the crap that they were selling the kids back in the day, <laughs> but it's propaganda. Mm -hmm. You got to remember wartime and whatever. Um, mm -hmm. you're like, yeah. what the heck is this? Yeah, and Tom and Jerry, buck even some of the Tom and Jerry's, you know. Yeah. You got the the black uh the maid lady. Mm -hmm. And and you know, she's a big old lady. They only show like her legs or from the waist down. They don't really show her face. Um and she's real country, you know. Uh yeah, not all black people are like that. Yeah. Not 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 every black person's a uh a, a maid or or a housekeeper or whatever she was, their cook or what have you. Yeah. Uh, at different times, you know. I got a, a kick time. out of when they decided to uh, take Aunt Jemima off of the SERP. And there were a bunch right. of people uh, complaining about, oh, all these woke people. And, and they tried to do like a thing. It was like a reverse racism thing because it was like, well, do you realize that that lady, uh, she traveled all over the country representing that SERP and she was this and she was that and I'm like yeah except that her name was I forget what you know Nancy or whatever um, if you're really saying that it was a respect thing why did they change her name to Jemima right you know what I mean they had to give her a like down south colored name you right, know right right yeah, it's just uh, uh again uh, another ignorant, fat, whatever, older yeah. lady, what have you. Yeah. Yep. People don't realize that those people actually made money. The 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 uh, there was a time when when you know you know you've heard of Black Wall Street and all that, right? Yeah. Yep. And when they had their own money, you know, uh, there's there's been plenty of uh, success successful rich black folks that have been out there for a long time bro. well you know what i was surprised of and you now this was many years ago i was living in pittsburgh when they finally got cable tv and of course the cities got the cable a lot later than out in the country because they didn't need it you know you could you, right. you could get plenty with of the, the channels antennas, in the yeah. city yeah. yeah but anyway and I think it must have been like the earliest version of BET, but I could be wrong. But at the time, what it was, was it was all old black movies. And I hadn't realized that there had been a huge black movie industry in like the 30s yeah. and the 40s. And they and all it was made interesting money. to the watch them. Made money. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of dancers. A lot of singers, a lot of performers, yeah. you know, and they they were popular not only with the black folks, they were popular with the with the white folks, you know. Yeah, yeah, but it was it was sort of like, um, you know, they yeah, had their not, place. They had those... their place in the white movies, right? You know? Oh no, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, they're gonna put dance, a, a dance, back then. dance for me, black boy. You know, that was kind right. of the right. Yeah, I get it. 
But I, I also like um, watching a lot of those old videos and stuff like that. Um, yeah. It's just interesting. It was a different time. It don't it don't bother me that way, because I well, I understand I understand the time that it comes from. Yep. You know, that's the thing. Uh, if you watch them with the right attitude, you right. you uh, you learn about society just mm -hmm. by watching that kind of stuff. You know, that's the thing. Like now, everybody they'll put like the modern attitude on something gold, and then and they'll say about it being bad and whatever, you know, racist, misogynist or whatever. But you look at it and you go, oh, wow, that reflected the way people thought then. Right. And then what the, the, you know, the thing is, it's like, well, how did they get them to act in the movie then? Oh, no, those are Uncle Tom's. That's what they always say, because they, they're sellouts. I remember, uh, huh. do, you, do you know who Willie Stargell was? Yeah, baseball player. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was a huge pirate star. I saw an interview with him many years ago. I, I can't remember. I think it might have been after he retired, but he was talking about when he was growing up. And they used to have, I'm trying, uh, Step and Fetch It, I think. Was that the one? There was, but it was like, uh, I think it was, it was some of those actors like that that would be in the uh, movies. And they were always like, you know, the, oh, okay, boss, I'll take care of, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. The, yeah. And yes, I'm asking. He was yeah. saying, yep. Yeah. He was yep. saying that, like, their, you know, like his, you know, his generation, their parents hated those movies just because of that, that they thought that they were sellouts, Uncle Tom's, whatever. He said, but his generation, he saw it totally different. They saw it as getting over on the white man. It's like, right. You know, right. They found our their guy, way to our make guy money. On the big screen, exactly. Yeah. It's funny because, um, Bruce Lee played in, in the Green Hornet. And you know, yeah. when they, he says it, when they showed it over there in, in um, Hong Kong and in China, they, they called it the, the Cato show. It, uh, wasn't called, it wasn't called the Green Hornet. Because it was all about Bruce. They had their guy. This is our guy. Yeah. And, you know, they made like the show was about him and it wasn't. It was never yeah. about him. That's our guy. So we're going to support him. Whether we like the character or not, um, he's our guy. And you're, back then, you didn't see too many Asian people no. on, on on American television. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, especially not as like a yeah. hero type thing. Shit, black people have been on TV way longer than Asians, I think. And other, I've never seen old movies. But the guy, it was like an English guy playing a Chinese detective. I forget the name. Yeah. But there was like a series of them. Fu Manchu. That's what, that's what it is, I think. Fu Manchu. Yeah. I don't remember. He's got, he's got the real skinny mustache. Got yeah. The long hair. He's wearing that little hat that yeah. I don't know yeah. what part of China he's from. But yeah. Yeah, he's the detective. I think I believe it's Fu Manchu. Yeah. I think like, uh, I think it's. For black people, it started, and of course, you know, very slow progress. But I think, uh, like in the '60s, when you got guys like uh, Sidney Poitier, and that that uh, mm -hmm. white audiences sort of started seeing them more as like A just real regular people. Yeah, yeah. like but it could be raisin, more than the butler. The son. Yeah, um, he's done all kind of great. He's he was a great actor. You know, well, um, well, Raisin in the Sun, was that him or was that Harry Belafonte? I thought that was him. I can't look it up. Right might now. be him. I know I might yeah. be getting mixed up because uh, Lily's in the field. I remember yeah. Harry Belafonte sang the song. Yeah. But yeah, um, and well, one of my favorite movies, Guess Raisin Who's Coming to Dinner. Oh, yeah. They made a remake of it. It's all right. Yeah, sometimes the movies they don't really need, you know. No, yeah. But somebody decides they can make money in it off it. Okay, internet, are you not going to work here? Uh let's see. Cast. This didn't even show me a cast. Bastards. Oh, it gave me the book, is what it gave me. Let's see, movie. 
Oh, it was Sidney uh, Portier. Was it? Okay. Yes, it is. Yeah. I see him right now. Uh, uh, you saw Lou, Lou Gossage Jr. died the other day, yesterday. Passed away. He was oh, 87. No. He's the first well, black actor, I believe, to get a, a, a supporting for... What is it? I have to look it up. But he did get an Oscar for The Roots or Emmy. I think it was an Emmy. Oh, okay. For Emmy, yeah. I remember that Roots had come on TV. It was was it eight parts or something like that? I forget. Uh, yeah, it was pretty uh, pretty long. Yeah, I remember watching that. I think that opened a lot of people's yeah. eyes. Yeah, uh, the guy, the guy who played the young Kunta Kinte, uh, um, I like Levar him. Burton. Levar yeah, Burton. yeah, yeah. He's been on Star Trek. He's been on. He he did a, a thing for children. Um, is it the Reading Rainbow? I think it's called. He's yeah, I think all, it was. Yeah. Done, yeah, he's done all kind of stuff. He he worked for PBS for a while. Um, well, he was on the. What next generation Star Trek, right? Yeah, he wore the the thing over the eyes. Yeah. It was like a blind guy wore that thing so he could see. Um, yeah, this so says Gossage, Gossage passed away yesterday. This says Lou Gossett was got the role in Officer and Gentleman after Jack Nicholson turned it down. Sometimes you see stuff like that and you think, wow, that'd have been a whole whole different movie, you know? Yeah. And he was going to be Gail Sayers and Brian's song. Oh, wow. But uh, um, just before shooting began, Gossett tore his Achilles. Oh. <laughs> he was good, man. He was good yeah. in a lot of movies. Did you watch the... I'm, I'm a, I'm a sci-fi guy. The movie that he did with... Um... I love that movie. Let me... I'm yeah. trying to... I want to... Alien Mine. Yeah, man. What's the guy's name? The the white dude. It's... um. I know his name anyways. Uh, he ended up raising the baby after he had the baby. Because like, yeah. he was like a, a man, woman. He was like a worm. Yeah, like that's right. Yeah, own. he could. Yeah. yeah. I, so, I always, every once in a while, my one nephew, we have a thing where we'll be talking about something. And like, I'll look, I'll just look at him and go, your Mickey Mouse is one big dope. <laughs> yeah. It's funny you say that because uh, when you hear his voice, you know it's him. You know, yeah. certain actors. Um, uh, uh, what's the other black guy's name from from Coney and, and and the Darth Vader guy? What's his name? Oh, James Earl Jones. Yeah. Yeah, man. Come on, man. You you, you once you hear his voice, you already know who it is, man. Another I always actor. I always remember on the forum I used to be on a long time ago. Game forum. And uh, one time we were talking about this was before they made the Lord of the Ring movies. Yeah. And we were talking about, you know, wouldn't it be great to make that movie and who you would cast in it. And people were talking about Saruman, you know, and Saruman, of course, uh, his big thing was his voice. And somebody said about, uh, well, well, you know, it'd be perfect for that is James Earl Jones. And I was like, yeah, you think James Earl Jones would be great for uh, Saruman the White? Right, right. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. But yeah, I first time I saw that I noticed James Earl Jones, and I think it was a TV movie. I'm not sure. It was kind of I think it might have been made from like a uh, Broadway one man show. And it was all about night. I, I just, oh, I just lost the guy's name while I was uh, talking. Um, but he was like, uh, he was a black actor in like the 30s and 40s. And he did Broadway. Um, but, oh, I can't, but it was all about like him kind of. Um, what he had to deal with. Oh, what's the guy's name? Because I, anyway, but yeah. Shit. He's still alive. He's 93 years old. Really? 
Yeah. University of Michigan, that's his alma mater. Hmm. Been uh, active since 1953 till now, present. Maybe that movie was Alien, Alien Mine, wasn't it? Yes, the Lou Gossage um, movie. Yeah, I just yeah. tried, I, I just plugged it in and it's not coming up with anything. Let's see. Did I spell alien wrong? Alien Mind movie? Yeah. Yep, film. Uh, let's see. Is it 85? I don't know what year it was. Yep, December 20, 1985, 20th, 20th Century Fox. Uh, budget, $29 million They made a... Uh, 12.3 in the box who played, office. Who played the human in that? It's uh, this guy, man. Great Balls of Fire. Um, well, what's his name? I'm looking here. Hold on. Starring. Oh, Dennis Quaid. That's who it is. Okay, yeah. Okay, I can picture him now. Yep. Yeah. He played. Uh, you watched Great Balls of Fire? Um, I think I did. <laughs> What's his name? Great Balls of Fire. Um, um, I knew it until you asked me. <laughs> Jimmy, not Jimmy. Anywho, uh, he's he's actually kin to him. They're they're actually related. Oh really? Yeah, and he played he played him in the in the movie. Um, it's Great funny. As soon as, you, as soon as you as soon as you said it, the guy's name came to my mind. It was like, oh yeah, that was the movie about. And then you said, what was his name? And it was like, I don't know anymore. Jerry Lee Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis, yeah. yeah. And 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 Jerry Lee Lewis is cousins with who? Jimmy Swagger. Oh, really? Yeah, they're first cousins. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Matter of fact, um the the beginning of that movie, they're they're little boys, and it's him and, and Jimmy Swagger. And no. um they they go to a We'll call it a honky tonk back, like back in the '30s, late '30s, what have you. And they're they're sneaking up, and they're the the black folks are having their you know their little honky tonk. They got music and they're dancing, and they're sneaking up, and they show them they're peeking in. They they want to see, you know, they're listening to the music, and so it's kind of showing where he kind of got his roots and stuff from, and what he liked. Um, as as he was a little boy. And then um, I don't know if it was his brother. There was a they they were at like a sawmill. His brother fell, and the thing killed his brother. Man, the the saw mm -hmm. had killed his brother as a child. But yeah, and you know um, Dennis's crazy brother, right? Randy. Yes, he's great, and um. The vacation movies, but he's a, yeah. uh, you know, he's been running from the government. He's got a lot of conspiracy theories out there. Oh yeah, yeah. He's he's you know he's like uh, he's like our friend. Government's after him, you know. The popo, -po, yeah. everyone, everyone's out to get him. He, him and his I, wife, they had like run to Canada or some. I forget where they were running to. He got arrested because he was wanted for. Was it tax evasion? I think that's what it was. I have this uh, fake memory of him, and I can't even remember what it was, if it was like during COVID or if it was a 911 thing or what it was. I just remember a video with him just like staring straight into the camera with the crazy and hair. talking for like a half an hour about something, yeah, with just all kind of crazy the crazy Stuff beard me. and the crazy hair. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he looks wacko, man. He looks like a freaking wacko. Yeah. He he did the movie where there he's um Woody's in it. He's a bowler. I, it, does oh, yeah. play, does the, who's the one with the one hand in that? One of them has a, a fake hand. It's the other one. Yeah, he's been in all kind of movies though. Randy Quaid, he's he's done. Oh yeah, 
some uh he kind of reminds me of um uh what's his name howard um ron howard and his brother his brother oh, like, like yeah. he always plays weirdo parts he's a good actor too but clint, uh, yeah he was, clint i think yeah <laughs> they look alike too but it's just he's like a smaller guy and and yeah he's got a kind of a goofy look to him yeah he does he does and and he and he kind of plays to that then yeah hey whatever works i guess yep And if you're going to be an actor, it doesn't hurt to have a brother who's right. one of the uh, biggest famous. producers and stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Ride those coattails for a little bit until you get your own thing going, and then you're good. Yeah, that, that movie was really good. Because um, it's just those two, and they're stuck on that planet there. I don't really yeah. remember as far as they're trying to just survive or get off. I guess he gets off at the end, right? I believe so. Yeah, I'm trying. Was it? Yeah, that was uh, when that like, because that mining ship comes down. Right. And do they do they do they kidnap the baby or something? And Dennis Quaid goes think, in to rescue. I think so. Yeah, I think I think they take him as a slave or what have you. Yeah, he's got to try to. He's got to try to rescue him. They didn't take him, but they took the kid. Yeah. It was good because in the beginning, they're you know him and and uh, and and Lou Gossage are at war with each other. Yeah. And then they to survive, they have to become friends. So that's where yeah, the whole story uh, changes. Yeah. I forget what his character's name was, but when he goes in, there's all those like whatever, whatever you want to call them, lizard slaves or whatever, and they're like, "Are you Dennis or whatever it was that the right. kid called him?" Yeah, that's right. And then at the end, he uh, presents him to the like grand council or whatever when the you know. I think what didn't like the kid have to have like a like a manhood ceremony or something like that at the very end of it? He right. goes to the alien planet then with yeah. Yeah, those those movies have always been my type of movie. Fantasy movies, you know, you can yeah. escape. Well, you know the thing I decided years ago, mostly because of the library, and it but it holds true for movies too, but it, you know, I realized that with books is it the genre doesn't really matter. All that matters is the story. Right. You know, a lot of people. I can remember. I I don't think you have as many people now, but for a long time, it was like, oh, I don't like science fiction, or you know, I don't like that kind of book and that. And you know, meanwhile, they watched Star Trek or they loved Star Wars, but they said they didn't like science fiction. You know. And, but, uh, or like with fantasy, you know, yeah, I don't think I'd like that kind of book, you know, and then it's like, oh, the new Lord of the Rings is coming out. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's just different type of yeah. fantasy, but well, yeah. that's sci-fi to me. I don't know. But as far <laughs> as like. It's more fantasy, but yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, I know uh, I can remember some of the old time writers. They started, they, they decided that SF meant speculative fiction rather than science fiction. So it what is, sort of covered a broader area. Well, that way it encompassed like fantasy and oh, stuff okay. like that, you know. But uh, yeah, like I say, it's like if you got a good story and stuff, it doesn't matter if it's if it's set on, you know, Alpha Centauri 3 or if it's, you know, in yeah, 18, 1845 France. You know, if it's a, if it's, it's a good story, story. it always yeah. it always comes down to the story. That's right. Doesn't no matter what kind of um, background or graphics or what have you. Mm -hmm. Do they have a good story, and did they put it together right? You know, because mm -hmm. a lot of times they make movies and they they ruin them. They they ruin the the books. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, um, definitely. And, 
I, I understand that it's Hollywood and it's a movie and they have to sell it to you a certain way. But, you know, please stick to the damn story, man. Well, Why are you guys is... changing characters' names and adding yeah. people? And you know, like, what? Well, it's funny. Um, they will pay a lot of money for a best-selling book because, oh, okay, this is a great book. It'll make a great story. And once they have the rights to it, it's like, yeah, but you know what? Instead of the main character being a 45-year-old black man, Right. It would be great if it was an 18-year-old white girl. Right. You know, it's like. They've, they've already, listen, they've ruined Marvel and DC and all that, where they've turned everyone, everyone's a girl. Only the girls are, and it's fine. I'm, I don't care if you have a, a, a woman with powers and she can fight. But in the real world, if you get down to it in the real world, they're not the ones. That are doing all this. I'm just yeah. saying, not that they can't, but for the most, they're not, you know. But they've done that with a lot of characters. Uh, yeah. The Thor character, now there's a, a Lady Thor. It's just, <laughs> it just, whatever. It, it, the thing is, Muxler, there's no more originality. No one can come up with anything new. All the movies that keep coming out are just repeats of everything else or a copy. That's all it is. People can't think of nothing new. Yeah, it is very rare. Yeah. Of course, even you go back and you think of, uh, you know, some of the stuff you think of that was original and it was actually, you know, somebody was, you know, you know, like West Side Story was Romeo and Juliet, you right. know, or you'd have uh, people uh, that they were like just basically doing a, updated story of like an old Greek play, you know, and stuff like that. Mm hmm Hamlet or whatever. Uh, um, I don't know what Beowulf is, but yeah, uh, there's different versions of that. Did you ever watch the, anim the animated uh, Beowulf? No, I don't think it's so. Actually, it's actually pretty good, man. Mm. I think it's better than that stupid movie they made. Funny thing about Beowulf is, I don't know, maybe, maybe people are more knowledgeable now, but it always kind of reminds me, I mean, this is a silly analogy, but Zelda, the Nintendo game. Right. Because everybody thought that the guy with the sword was Zelda. And it's uh, like Be Beowulf. People all thought that Beowulf was the name of the monster. Right. You know. Shit, I never knew nothing about that. Um, till, till the, um, I mean, I may, I may have heard of the name, but until that first movie came out, I never knew nothing about it, about any of that. I'm not going to bother to lean forward to Google again, but if I'm not wrong, I think Beowulf was a story by Chaucer. I'm not sure. That's my phone feels so damn hot. I've heard other people <laughs> say that. It's not even plugged in. It's all charged up and everything. Yeah. Just put it down for a second, grabbed it, and it feels so damn hot. It's gonna blow. No, it'll it'll it actually shuts itself off. That's what it, it'll tell you. Uh, your phone's overheating, and it, it don't even give you a chance. It just shuts itself off. That's what it does. Go lay down, buddy. Go. Close my gate. <laughs> Well, my phone is my phone is almost always plugged in. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I leave mine plugged in all the time too. I uh well first of all I always figure if the power goes out, then at least I know I'll have a full charge. And right. the other thing is I like because uh when it's plugged in and the way I have it on the little holder, it becomes a uh 
little desk calendar clock. Yeah. Um, I was going to tell you about another movie there I had watched. That was pretty good. I can't remember now. I know, I know. There's a new. Um, Denzel did a new um, movie uh, in black and white. It's a uh, old timey from a book. He did Macbeth, I think. He just did that one a year or two ago. Yeah. But I haven't watched it. It's in black and white. I know my wife wanted to watch it. She likes him. But I know she's not going to. I'm gonna, A movie like that would take me six hours to watch with her. It would drive me crazy. <laughs> but I don't understand the English. Yeah. Every time, every time I go on um, BBA's channel over there, there's somebody that they always talk to me about uh, my name, and uh, uh, what's the name of the damn? It's Shakespeare. He's uh, there's a ghost with my name in one of the books, uh, one of the stories. Um, I know the name of it, anyways. It's a funny thing because I, I never knew. Um, anything about it? I'm not really a Shakespeare a Shakespeare fan, but uh, yeah, back in '87 or what have you, I ha I had to give um, you know, Captain Hepburn, right? Oh um, yeah, I had to I had to give her brother. Her she's got like a weird old brother. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure he's dead. He's just as old as her, but uh. I had to give him a ride to to his house, right? And he lived with her. He lived on he lived on one side of the house. She lived on the other. That's how the, the she lived in Old Saybrook in Connecticut. So I had to give him a ride home. I worked at a dealership. I had to give him a ride. They were working on his car. But he, he asked me my name, and I told him. This dude was wearing like pajamas, okay, Muxter, and he had a uh, probably had like a pajama top and maybe some sweatpants on and. You know, the in the old movies, they used to wear this little cap, like a dunce cap, but it was for sleeping. Yeah, yeah, yep. You know, it goes to a point. You know, it's like, he was wearing that. He showed up. He, I'm telling you, he was a weirdo. <laughs> he came early in the morning. I gave him a ride back, and he was telling me who he was, and that Catherine was his sister. And I was like, oh, a very nice house, too, out, out by the water. But he was asking me about my name, and he was telling me about that, the ghost, the spirit there. In the Shakespeare, uh, in the Shakespeare story, what a weirdo though! He was a weirdo. <laughs> a nice guy, but he was just so you know. And he was like, "Yeah, it's just me and my sister. We live alone. She lives on. She has one side of the house. I have the other side of the house." I was like, "Oh, cool." Uh, met met uh, him. I met um, the skinny guy from. Um, uh, Ralph, you know, Ralph from the Honeymooners, uh, or whatever. Oh, his name Art is. Carney, yeah, uh, yeah, he owned a lot of Corvettes, he was a big, like, that uh, guy. Ralph, oh, so. Ralph, Ralph was Jackie Gleason, Art Carney was uh, Ed oh, Norton, okay. Ed Norton, My yeah, bad. Ed, Ed, okay. Um, I can't, I can't remember right now. A bunch of those actors lived out there, and the uh, old timers lived in Old Saybrook. Yeah. Mm hmm. They meet them. They're just regular people. But that dude was weird, though. <laughs> he made me laugh. I wish I would have met his sister. She would have been cool. She's one of my favorite actors. Yeah. Yes, she was good. Mm, she she made all kind of movies. Well, she was the one that was with Spencer Tracy, and uh, guess yeah. who's coming to dinner? Yeah. Did I ever? Because uh, I know I, I mentioned it to someone else. Uh, 
couple of weeks ago or whatever, I did a video on it. The story about uh, my uncle Joe, who uh, um, his one son was in the Air Force and the other one was working for Jack Nicholas. Mm. Uh, I'll yeah, try to yeah. tell it, not, I'll try to uh, chop it down a little, but anyway, you have to know like some of the backstory for it to really I, make sense. I think you had said something about it. Was it on was it on um Sarge's channel, maybe? Yeah, it was probably yeah, probably when we were having a discussion the one time. Well, I'll just go to the punchline because you know, uh basically uh he was a very simple guy. He was a coal miner all his life. But uh then when they retired and he was going out to visit the one son and he's going to these dinner parties with like generals and the movie producer and that when they're living in California. And then they go visit the other son and they're talking to Jack Nicholas and all that. When I got a chance, I said to Uncle Joe, because I'm sitting there while they're, well, basically when Aunt Sophie's doing all the talking, I'm just imagining my Uncle Joe hanging out with these people. And this goes into what you had just said. I said to him, I said, Uncle Joe, don't you feel strange, uncomfortable hanging out with these people? And he looks at me and he goes, they're just people, Dan. You know, and right. it was like, it was like so simple and so profound all at the same time. And ever since then, I've thought, yeah, you're just people. You're either a nice person or an asshole or whatever, but it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor or famous you know right just a regular joe that's right yeah they're just people and, dude and i didn't realize till afterwards that my mother was the same way but, you know you don't notice stuff about your parents till like later right but yeah yeah um i looked her up Catherine hepburn she was actually she was born in hartford connecticut i have no idea Oh, yeah, she Not had two, a lot of great 2003, she, she was 96 years old when she passed. Yeah. Her and Cary Grant made some good movies together. Yeah, weren't they? Were, did they have something going, those two? Um, they or, always said her, her and Spencer Tracy did. Okay. I did watch something about her life and uh, I watch these channels. They do like these celebrity things, you know, all the controversies and yeah, um, stuff like that. Find out I all kind of crap. I can remember years ago. I used to watch biography. I don't know if it's even. Yeah, it says partners. Uh, Spencer Tracy, nineteen forty one yeah. to nineteen sixty seven, his death. But I used to like to watch a lot of those where they do the story, you know, somebody's life story, and it'd be, you know, like. They they grew up in a small town in Iowa and then they married their high school sweetheart and you know she uh supported him like all through college and you know they moved to Hollywood and then uh you know after like five years he got his first big role and then he became a famous actor and then he divorced his wife. <laughs> You know, it's like right. almost all every story was like that. Right. Once they became big, it's like, okay, yep. screw the commoner. I'm getting me yeah. a famous one. Yep, time okay. to get some of them starlets. So her family, I guess her family is money people. The the Hort, H Holton family mm -hmm. is a prominent New England and upstate New York business family. The Corning Glass Works were founded uh -oh. and run by some members of, of the family. She's got something, Catherine Hepmer has something to do with the corn and glass company, her family. Yeah, yeah that was her, her dad's side of the family, I guess, or her mother's. Catherine Houghton, I don't even know how to say H-O-U-G-H-T-O-N, Houghton. I'd say Houghton, but you can't be sure. Yeah, we all pronounce different, <laughs> depending on what part of the country you're on. And she died in Connecticut, too. 
Fenwick. I don't even know where that's at. Middlesex County. Oh. Fenwick is a borough of Middlesex County, Connecticut, United States, in the town of Old Saybrook. I had I had no idea there's another that's it. Actually, in Old Saybrook. I told you she was from Old Saybrook. But... Yeah. Yeah. She lived out there next to where uh, the Coca-Cola and the Pepsi guys were. Um, and what the uh, what her brother was telling me that, yeah, he said, you see that house right there? He goes, that's Coca-Cola. See that house right there? That's Pepsi. They're the competitors, yet they, they live next to one another. Hmm. I've been told that, that that's all owned by like the same people, but I have no idea. And they kind of that they kind of got us tricked, like, you know, Coke versus Pepsi, but it's really just the same owners. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I wonder if they invited each other to barbecues and stuff. Yeah, they probably, you know, these are businessmen. They probably knew each other, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they knew each other well. African Queen. I remember watching that movie. That oh, yeah. Movie. Yeah, that was a good one. And on Golden Pond. That's like one yes. of the later movies with, uh, with Henry. Henry uh, Fon that was Henry Fonda's last movie, yeah. as a matter of fact. Yeah. That's a real good movie. Yep. And Jane, Jane's in that one, too, right? She yep, plays, she, she plays his daughter. All right. Yeah, because that's what uh, at the beginning of the movie she drops her son off there for them to. I forget why what she was doing that she left the son with them. You know, and talk about this golden era or whatever you call it back in the day, uh, Hollywood. I'm not a big um, musical, but they 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 knew how to make those. I, I mean, they put a lot of work, a lot of money in those movies. Yeah. Um. I'm not, I'm not a fan of uh, singing singing movies. Uh, I like the Grease movie. I thought that was a fun movie, but I'm not. Usually I just, when I find out it's a musical, I'm like, eh, I'm not watching this crap. Well, you know, the, like, the 30s especially was really big on them because I think uh, yeah, when they first, figured out how to do uh, sound movies, you know, talkies, then that was just sort of like a natural thing. They just wanted to fill you with sound. Right. It was all, uh, um, it was all uh, sing and dance movies, you know, the big yeah. choreographies and all that. They would have multiple dancing women, you know, with the real flashy or whatever. Yeah, I, um, I used to uh, I used to like musicals. I'm not as wild anymore about like the uh, the classics like well, Oklahoma, which I happen to be in in college, but right. all, like any of those. But I like some of the more modern ones where uh, I'm trying to think of a good example now. Well, I well, I love Across the Universe. Where it's all Beatles songs, but they adapted them a lot, and the it all yeah. makes they all make sense with the uh, story. Um, never seen it. Never seen it. Oh, uh, I I've, I've had people who said they didn't like the Beatles. I've got them to watch it, and they've loved the movie. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of some others now. My my mind's going blank, but yeah, they. A lot of them now, they, they do a different, you know, it used to be, I think, what they did was they came up with songs and then wrote a movie around them. Now it okay. seems more like they write the songs to fit the story, you know, and it, it works a little better. Yeah. Um, there's a couple. Well, the kind of old ones, but like I'd always liked Fiddler on the Roof because it has a great story to it. No, that's a good movie. 
Yeah. Yeah, that was a good movie. The the they uh they worked the uh the kids were in an orphanage, right? The one boy there and uh had something to do with cleaning out the, the chimneys. It's been it's just been so long since I saw no, it. You're, yeah. Is that is no, that you're you got a, you're you you got the whole, a whole different movie there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Further on the roof was a Jewish family in Russia, okay. right at the time of the pogrom starting. What's the movie I'm thinking about then? I don't know, but I, I, I was. There's it's something a, when you when you said that. Too. Yeah, yeah. The when one with the little that, boy. Was, no, no was on the roof is black and white, Muxter. Uh no, I think it might have been color. Okay. I'm sure I've seen it. It is Russian. You are right. Oh, yeah. Well, not Russian movie, but Russian yeah. story. Yeah. It's a, oh. if I were a rich man. Yada, yeah. Da, da, da. It's well, it's from a Broadway play. A lot of them are. Right. Now I like um, like Fred Astaire. I like those movies. You know. Yeah. Uh, who 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 else dances better than that dude? Nobody, bro. Nobody better than Fred. Yeah. I mean. At the, you also had like Gene Kelly, but he was he was just not as smooth as Fred Astaire. And there's a couple others like that who were good, but no. Well, I remember, I think I got the right one, right? Mikhail Baryshnikov, who was like considered like the greatest ballet. He was right. Russian. And he said his hero was Fred Astaire. Wow. And Fred Astaire wasn't a big dude either. No, he was a little skinny guy. Mm -hmm. They said he was a workaholic though too. He would practice each of those dances for hours because he wanted him to be perfect. Wow. No. Yeah. Did, did, did uh, Baryshnikov die from cancer or something? Or I don't remember. I don't remember. It could be. Did he do a movie with Gregory Hines? Is he, yep. is he the White Knights yep. or whatever it's called? Yep. I know I was Gregory. Just... Gregory was the one that died then from the cancer. Okay. Okay. I was actually thinking. I I was going to say, oh, he did one with Gregory Hines. Yeah, Gregory was talented. He he could tap dance. Let me tell you. Yeah. He was good. And he made all kind of movies though. Yep. He made comedies. He made, um, you know, action movies. He made dancing movies. A little bit of everything. Well, yeah, that was that was him and uh, Billy uh, Crystal. Uh, was it Running Scared? Was that the one where they were two cops? Yeah. Yeah. Were they going to the Bahamas or something? I can't remember. Yeah, that, yeah, or I think down Florida. Yeah, and they, yeah. That, that's right. And they they were going to retire then and go and open a bar or something. And they came back to Chicago and yeah, yeah. Blue Crystal. Um, I started watching him when he was on um, Soap. Yep, that's when I first. Um, Saw him and um, old Benson there. Oh, I forget his name. Um, ah, uh, what was his name? He's English, right? Is he English? I don't know. He did have like an accent. Robert Guillaume. Mm hmm. But uh, um, Billy Crystal, he's been in some, he's been in some good movies. Yeah. He did uh the one where they're on the horse trip there. They're on that. Oh you know. yeah. Um, that was a good movie. Yeah, I can't think of what was that. That was what that was called. That was the one with Jack Palance in it. Yeah. Um. Oh. What did Jack play in? He did all kind of roles. Uh, he played cowboys and. Everything. Yeah, he played. He played the bad guy a lot. Yeah. I saw an interesting uh, um, interview not long ago. It was an older one, but, you know, it popped up on YouTube. 
Do you uh, know who Jack Elam was? Jack Elam. He's one of those so ones. I bet you, if you saw his picture, you'd go, "Oh yeah," because he was like in a lot of cowboy movies and stuff like that. He was one of those character actors. Yeah. Um, but he was he was saying when he first was starting out, um. And was getting some roles, and he was starting to judge his roles by how many uh, um, lines he would have in the movie. Right. And did they come? Yeah, you see him there? Does he look familiar to you? Mm, let me see. Like, like this this picture here, especially is the way I picture him in a lot of them. I I always remember him. Uh, Oh in, yeah, uh, okay, yeah. But uh, anyway, he said he was making a movie in Canada, and his agent sent him a script for a movie, and it only had like eight lines in it for him. He's and he said, "Well, the movie I'm in now, he had like twenty-seven lines. It's like, why would I go back to eight lines?" So he turned it down. And then he said, that's the movie that made Jack Plants oh. famous. He played uh, the bad guy in Shane. Wow. One of the great classic uh, Westerns. But, you know, it's, it's like one of those could have been kind of things. Yeah. I like I like those stories. You know, the, you get some people become famous because an actual famous person turned on a role. Or... Yeah. And that famous person probably could have been even more famous if they would have took that role mm. and they didn't. But uh, yeah, and that's when yeah. I could totally see Jack Elam playing that role. Sometimes you'll hear like someone turned it down, and it's like, oh, well, that would have been a totally different movie. Well, I'll tell you, um, Beverly Hills Cop. Mm -hmm. That was originally supposed to be a role for uh, Sylvester Stallone. Oh yeah, yeah, it was going to be just like a regular action movie, and you know. If uh, if they'd have done it with Stallone today, people would say, oh, yeah, remember there was that one Stallone movie where he, what was it? He was a cop somewhere else and he went to Beverly. What, what? You know, it wouldn't be. But right. Eddie Murphy went in there and they made it a whole different movie. And now it's like, you know, that movie's probably, what, 30 oh, years old or something. I and, got you. So, so Eddie was never originally in the movie. It was just. No. Oh, okay. It was supposed to be Stallone and then. For whatever reason, Stallone didn't do it, and they went with Eddie Murphy instead. Yeah, what's the other guy's name? Um, it's one of my mother's favorite actors. There, um, he looks like a crazy man himself. Um, Nick Nolte, right? Oh yeah, that's his partner. No, that's Forty Eight Hours. Oh, sorry. Beverly yeah, Hills Cop is the one where he goes out to Beverly confused. Hills. Yeah, yeah. so. Well, I say that because I believe Eddie Murphy just made another. Is it another Forty Eight Hours, or is it Beverly? It's one of the two. He he just made another movie. It's gonna come out. Oh, really? If it hasn't come out. Yeah, one of those. I think he's playing. No, it's called Axel, like Axel Foley. That's Forty Eight okay. Hours, right? No, that's Beverly hours? Hills Cop. That's Beverly Hills Cop. Oh, okay. Well, that's coming out soon. Axel. Oh, that'll yeah. be interesting. Man, I wasn't too well. What was uh? Where am I thinking of something else? But yeah, both those different. movies, both those movies are good movies, though. Forty Eight Hours yeah. and and Beverly yep. Hills Cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah Forty Eight Hours was a little more. Uh, what, what, I don't know more towards the drama side. Yeah, where Beverly Hills Cop was more to the comedy side. Right. Uh -uh. Eddie's got some real good movies and then he's got you know he yeah. did like his silly family movies which is fine you know he does it like uh, Dr. Doolittle and you know he's, he's making yeah. money you know, I don't I don't blame the guy for taking the money or whatever but you know some of the movies you know I'm like well whatever I went I went to the theater and saw uh, I think it's called Hubert that movie he did Hubert Hubert 
Yeah. Well, it he's sounds raised familiar, by, but I, his dad is like a Chinese man. Like, you know, yeah, so, I haven't seen it. Well, you know, he plays all these different characters. You know, it's kind of uh, like uh, yeah. it's kind of like uh, Nutty Professor. Yeah, and he's like a real goofy character. He's like a nerd, nerd black dude, and. Uh, so I, I went to the theater and they brought all these um, um, handicapped children in there. And this one boy was, uh, I think he was a Down syndrome boy. And he was having a good time, right? And he's just laughing his ass off. Yeah. I was enjoying I was enjoying that he was enjoying the movie. He was making me laugh, all right? Yeah. yeah. I wasn't laughing at him. Yeah. I was laughing with him, okay? And the lady, she kept turning around and telling me, Oh, I'm sorry, because you know he was he, he was kind of the dude was enjoying the movie, okay? Yeah. Mobster, she goes, uh, oh, come on, let's go. And I told her, What are you doing? Oh no, he's getting too loud, he's interrupting. I said, please let him enjoy this movie. He's fine. And she <laughs> took him out, man. I was like, What are you doing? Yeah. Guy's enjoying the movie, man. I don't care about that. That's what he's there for to laugh. If nobody else likes it, they can get the hell out. He paid <laughs> to see the movie. Let the kids see the movie. He was a young guy, man. But uh, yeah, I would never say anything to somebody like that, man. Yeah. They got a right to see the movie too, whether he, you know, laughs loud or whatever. But people got to understand too. You know what I mean? Have you seen uh, that movie that Jerry Seinfeld made? That's going to be coming out about the invention of pop tarts. Nah. It looks like it's either going to be hilarious or really stupid. It's, yeah. You know, it's like they they just did like a whole sort of a big story on the invention of Pop-Tarts, and it's filled with a whole bunch of comedians. Let me ask you, you think he's funny? Yeah, I like him. Sometimes I don't think he's funny. The show is great, but... Uh... Like his comedy, sometimes I'm like, okay, Jerry, do something else. Well, comedy is very subjective. Yeah, he's he's got that. You know, you got to understand who Jerry is and where he comes from. But yeah, that's like uh, I know one that people love, and I really do not like Cat Williams. No, no, Cat's funny, but you got to understand him too. Yeah, he's ghetto, like. Yeah. Um, I like I like smart comedians, you know. Um you know, anyone could stand up there and say a cuss word and make everyone laugh. Yeah. That's not yep. that's not like it's funny, yo, okay, ha ha. Uh I could actually sit here and watch a whole a whole thing and think it's funny and not laugh. Then I can sit yeah. here and actually laugh out loud because the shit is funny. You understand? There's a difference. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like uh Jeff Gaffigan, you know Gaffigan? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, so him and his wife, they both write and produce. He's got a whole series there on um I think it's Netflix. You can watch him. But he's great, man. He's, I love he's that. He's in dude. the he's in the Jerry Seinfeld movie. Oh, okay. He he does he plays weird characters too sometimes. He was um was he what I think he came out in, in the 70s show? I think he came out in an episode or two. No, I think he's on that, but anyways, I've been watching him for a while. I've watched all his specials because he, he talks about his family, yeah, you know, him and his wife, and his, you know, when they travel and, and stuff like that. He's just he's just a funny dude, and That's and he a... talks about he's like, uh, how do you say it? Where, He's the third person in the joke or whatever. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean when he's talking. Yeah. So you got to understand his jokes. You know what I mean? Yeah, his his stuff, it's all based in reality. You know, it's like right. you can relate to it. You don't even have to have kids, you know, like to relate to a lot of the stuff that he talks about and that about with family. Right. And he talks about getting fat and whatever and white yeah. and that his family's so damn white, they're vampires and stuff like that. It's just hilarious, <laughs> man. <laughs> Couldn't get whiter than these kids or what have you. But he's a funny dude. He he did a he did a movie um that I watched uh, where he's a uh, 
a lawyer and um He's got this black lady. I think that she's a black lady. She works for him in his office, and he's raising a little girl. He's got a he's got a daughter, and she's got like all these weirdo friends, and um, they can't like get into. Um, it's like Girl Scouts. I don't think they call them Girl Scouts in the movie, but um, they started their they started their own little group. And then they're gonna go to a competition against. It's a pretty good movie. Okay, is, is it in the south? Is, is, yeah, it's a, yeah um, it's she's a, a she's a big astronomy fan. Yeah, it's a good movie. Have you yeah, seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays yeah. the. He's a lawyer, but he's like you know, he's I not doing too good. That now, yeah. When you yeah. were first saying about him being a lawyer and stuff, I thought I don't think I saw it. But now that you say that, yeah. Yeah, he's talking with the funny southern accent. Yeah, you can yeah. tell it's not. He's not really a southerner, but. Yeah, it's a yeah, good I, movie. I really like that movie. Because you got the one boy, and then you got the, they're all different, all the kids. Like, they don't fit in, you know what I yeah. mean? They're, they're, yeah. they're the odd the odd balls out. So they started yeah. their own little, their own little, it's, it's a good movie. It's a good kid movie. Yeah. Um, he's got the the bus driver. Um, I forgot his name. He's a good comedian, too. He's He's a funny dude. But yeah, what? the African's made some some good movies too. He's been he's played some weird characters and, but he's done some good movies. A lot of my favorite current comedians are women. It's like, like I love Tig Notaro. Okay. And there's a lot of them I can't remember their names. The one is like Nicole or something. Or there's there's the big girl. Um, she's not super fat. She's a big girl, though. She's she's a gay girl. Yeah. Um. She is funny. What is her name? I was watching her the other day. She's been in movies too. She usually plays a a, a lesbian in the movies too. Her character. Yeah. But uh, I watched her. She's got a. She's on Netflix. She's got a special on there. No, um, there's a bunch of girls out there um, that do stand up that are good. Yeah, I just can't think of any right now. I know I can't remember their names. There's the the Spanish girl. I like her. She always plays that Vietnamese. She used to be on on Mad TV or what have you. Um, I could not think of her name. Oh, I think I can picture her. Yeah. She uh, her thing is all in English. Um, she don't really she don't speak Spanish. She don't. She just knows a couple words. But uh, what is her name? She she does she does a good show. She's been around a long time. Yeah, I, uh, uh, I been, like. Uh, there's all kind of guys out there that I like. I, I watch a lot of them on on. Um, on YouTube, there's a lot of because they put those shorts out and they can they can make they make uh, a lot of videos that way. They'll take a whole show and cut it down and little segments and put them out. So I miss a lot of stuff because I got banned from Netflix. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, they got this funny rule now where you have to actually be paying for it. Well, the only reason I got is because I use uh, my phone, um, T-Mobile. They give it to oh. me for free. Otherwise, I wouldn't be paying for that. That's the only reason I got it. I had it for years from my friend Danny's account. Mm, yeah, but you can, you can. There's, there's ways to get around that. Mm. Not on Netflix itself, but you can watch all their. Well, I do. Uh, like, like I got any of the like if movies and stuff that they have, I can download them right okay as soon yeah, as they come no. out somebody will somebody will uh, copy them and right but it's like I, you're yeah. not going to see a lot of those uh, specials and stuff I rarely go on it um, there's two or three shows I watch on Netflix um, I still yeah I already told my wife about the 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 bar movie, the, the the movie you told me you liked it. Um, 
Yeah, you didn't tell me. I watched your review on it. Um, the Roadhouse movie. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that's Amazon. I, is, is that? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But I told her I want to watch it, and uh, I'm waiting for her. I'm just going to end up watching it. So far, I've anybody I've uh, seen that watched it, they've all liked it. And yeah, yeah it's it one of those like, ones um, that you you get what you're expecting, but you know, you sort of go in, you're thinking, okay, is this going to be? Just another one where they're ruining an old movie, but yeah, they yeah, um awesome. they got really good reviews. It says that it's it's done good so far. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. They they're giving it like uh, real good reviews as far as for what it is. You know what I mean? It's not it's not a mm. not going to be an academy, but like the movie has been doing good. Trying to find these comedians on here. I'm gonna see stand up. Oh, you got Gabriel Iglesias. He's pretty good, man. Yeah, yeah, he's fluffy. funny. Oh, fluffy. You see, he I don't love... talk about his. He don't talk about his son no more because his son doesn't like it. So he said he wasn't gonna. Oh, really? Yeah, he's not gonna put him in the jokes anymore. He just said one thing about him, and that was it. The last one I love. I, I love the story about the uh, black gift basket. Oh yeah, that's a great one. That's that's hilarious. Yeah, uh, who's the black guy? I know his name. I just can't think of him right now. But yeah, there's so many new damn comedians out here. I don't, I don't know half of them. There's a game show I've been watching that's on in the afternoons, and basically I only watch it because. Uh, and the days my aide comes, and after she gets done doing stuff, have to do something. So we watch the game show network. But uh, I can't think what the name of it is now. But it's, it's a new new show. But it has where uh, it'll be like two regular people and a celebrity person. You know, it's like two. two but they he introduces all the celebrities as hilarious comics, and so far no none of these comics on there are make me smile right I, there's only one i ever heard of i can't remember her name but she was on a tv show okay uh game show network i i like game show network depending on what's on it but yeah we'll uh we'll watch uh was. You know Felipe Esparza? He's a Mexican dude. He's got like weird comedy, but I, I think he's hilarious. No, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember ever seeing him. He ta he tells a story about when um he came over from Mexico to you know, they snuck in to the country and uh, they had to dress him up as a little girl or what have you. It's just a whole <laughs> hilarious story, man. <laughs> Is either him or his brother? One of the two got dressed as a girl. Why? I have no idea. Did they have fake paper? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've heard that story, but yeah. Yeah, see, I don't like these come people coming in and taking jobs from American comedians. Yeah. Yeah. He's in America now, but too late for that. It's like those damn Canadians are always coming down here, taking all the good acting and singing sure. jobs. You know, all, all the movies are made from in, in Canada now, and all these actors are all freaking Canadian. Singers yeah. and rappers and everything, man. But coming from Canada. Yeah, a lot of times you don't even realize it. You just think they're American, and then they'll say something about growing up in Vancouver or something. Right. If you catch the little A in there, every now and then you can yeah. catch their, their little, uh, depending on where they're from, you yeah. catch their, or, uh, yeah. their accent. Well, what's the movie? A boat. A boot. Or whatever. Yeah. A boot. So you got people out here that talk that way, too. Uh, part of Virginia over here. They And they speak that way, too. So you can never tell. You like Dave Chappelle? You, you like his comedy? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a thinker too. You know. Like, yeah. 
he's a storyteller. You know what I mean? It's not really uh, like a punchline. It's uh, yeah. takes a little bit to get to what he's trying to tell you. Yeah, and I like uh, he's the type that uh, usually he'll take you somewhere you don't realize where you're going until he gets to right. the end. He's been doing it for so long, though. You realize we've been talking for a couple hours and nobody else has come in at all. Come on, people. Yeah, it's funny. There's what? nothing out there. Today, it's kind of... Well, you think, what else could they possibly be doing on a sunny Saturday afternoon? Why wouldn't they We're be doing, on YouTube? Uh, yeah. What is wrong with people? I'd be outside if it wasn't as windy as it, as it is out there. Mm -hmm. I went outside for a little bit. Feels good, but it's freaking wind, man. We've been having a lot of those days lately that look a lot better than they are. It'll look all bright and sunny, and then you go outside and it's 35 degrees. Yeah. I don't see nobody else. I'm I'm looking for the lives here. See if there's something on here, but well, that's what I always do before I even try to start one. I'll, I'll look and see if right. anybody I subscribe to has one. And a lot of times I'll look and see if TPP's having one because I figure if TPP's live, then most of the people I know are going to be going over there. Right. There's lives, but not they're not panels. I don't see any. Uh Shit, I, I got over 800 channels, I man. You know, <laughs> I forget about people. I have to keep going back and hitting um the um not the subscribe, but the the bell. Oh, the notification, yeah. Yeah, the notification because I don't know why they take it off. Oh, I didn't I have, realize. I've, I've, yeah, I've had to re re subscribe to other channels. Why do they take the subscriptions away? I have no idea why they. Okay, I did. I even wondered sometimes. There've been some where I thought, "Well, I'm pretty sure I was subscribed to them," and then I'll go and look, and I'm not. I didn't realize that they sort of disappear on their own. Yeah, I don't know if it's YouTube doing it or what or how. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know how it works. So how that goes out, they notify you. Um, I know I got the notification for summer yesterday. Uh, I always get notification for TPP. Certain channels, you know, I get them. So I don't. I don't have the notification on for a lot of. You know, I, I just have the notifications for the ones that I know I want to see when they're having something. Yeah. Well, it'll do a little. Um, a little. It's got like a not a ringtone, but it'll like like a little bell goes off on my phone. Yeah, and it it'll flash it'll flash across the screen real quick. It just stays up for a couple seconds, then it goes away. But if I scroll, if I hit the thing and scroll down, yeah, all the, all of the uh, notifications come up. Um. Yeah. I don't know why uh, a lot of times I've gone to certain channels that I, I've been watching for years and then it's like I'm not subscribed to them and I don't I don't know why because I've been watching forever and then I'm not subscribed I'm like what the hell is going on but I, there's channels that I always go to so I don't really pay attention to that and then when I because sometimes they'll they'll say it themselves uh, could you go check and make sure that you're subscribed and make sure that you you know you're receiving your your um, notifications and stuff and I'm yeah. like Wait a second. Why I'm not on here? But yeah, I have a bunch. I have a bunch that I subscribe to. You know, just out of like courtesy. You know, whenever uh, you know, like from TPP, how whenever someone new would come in and that, if, if they seem like a halfway decent person, I'd hit subscribe to help them out. And so I have a lot of a lot of ones that I subscribe to that I don't really watch. 
Right. Well, no, and you subscribe, you know, just support them, you know. Yeah. Um, it all depends on what it is. Yeah. If if um, Summer's just going to go work out, I'm probably not really going to watch the video. But if she's going to actually talk about something, I, I will watch the video. Uh, yeah, I, I like, I don't know if I'll be watching if she's going to do like a regular weekly with that friend she was with last night. I don't know about her friend and what she... Yeah, that, uh, she's uh, way yeah. too deep into that conspiracy stuff for me. Yeah, she, listen... She didn't even give you. She didn't even give you a quarter. What's on her mind? She didn't. She didn't really want to say. I think she was holding back. She was gonna probably scare people away. She's not gonna scare me away, but I'm not going with with uh, with everything she knows too. But whatever. Man. Yeah, I I just don't have the patience to listen to the really far out stuff. Uh, it could get it could get deep, man. And you're like, okay, that's. You know, that's like how do, uh, how do we how do we how do we know what's fact and and yeah. what's not fact? That's the thing, you know what I mean. And then okay. the one person that Summer brought up onto the panel was Mellows, and you get no balance there because he thinks everything's a conspiracy. Well, yeah, but the thing is, he's going to tell you that that that's what he believes in, so yeah. it's fine if you know. What well, you're I I, yeah. I like him, but yeah, he's yeah. really yeah. Yeah, he's a good no, guy. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I I'm into the conspiracies. I don't believe them all, but I'm into them, and I look into stuff. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dwell on them all day long, though. Yeah. I'm not gonna go, uh, you know. Uh, well, you know, again, the boat, right? Yeah. The the driver, thirty three years old. Uh, this happened on the thirty third day of whatever. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We can go down there because that's what these people are already with their stupid gematria and all this shit, yeah. man. And the, it just the drives bridge, me crazy, man. Well, did you notice the bridge came down at 128? So right. what? <laughs> you know, if you take like, the one, the two, and the eight, and you add these yeah, up, yeah, and the, yeah, 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 okay. And the you angle can get... of the of the of the bridge falling was in a 33 degree angle. Okay, okay, yeah, we're yeah. going that way now, huh? Uh huh. So I had to do with Freemasons at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. It has to do with a certain uh, race of people or it has to do with aliens or, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. This is the people. Yeah. Yeah. Those are I real. Got, yeah. I got to take a, a bathroom break, maybe make a coffee while I'm up. All right, man. I'll you, be back you, in a few. All yep. right. I'll, I'll hang out over here. No Thank problem. You.
you know, for sure I'd come back and there'd be like four people waiting to come in. So it'd be like, yeah, see, as soon as you shut up, people wanted to join. You see anybody? No. Oh. Oh, that's right. I guess you wouldn't hear the thump, would you? No, it'd be on your side. Yeah. I knew I'd have to be here to bring them in, but I, I forgot I'd be the only one here in the thump also. Right. Okay. Connect it. Yeah, I didn't see. Uh... I guess Theo was the last one there. Ding, ding. I see somebody on my list is finally live, but it's Stone Vet. I go in there sometimes for a little bit, but I don't really, I'm not interested in hearing about Kaiser all the time. Right. Yeah. Uh, I still haven't quite figured him, him out, you know. Um, we'll see how long he lasts out there. Is he ever going to go to jail or? I don't know that whole story, so. He does have five indictments, but. Right. They, always, they, have to, always have to say that's not a conviction, though. Right. As far as uh, them, you know, they talk about what happened, but they made a mistake somehow or somebody put something does he know somebody up high and that's why he's not in jail? I have no idea. I mean, yeah. I couldn't tell you. Well, and a lot of stuff that they talk about is speculation. You know, they have the facts that he was indicted for this and that. But then they get into speculating also. Yeah, I haven't read nothing about him. Like I said, I don't know much about him. He does seem like like he's a douchebag, but yeah, I don't I don't get why he um, cares about a channel like uh, like Sarge's channel. It's, you know, it's a small channel, but well, and stuff think. I've seen him do, he does the exact same thing that he complains about other people doing, right. Yuri, Yuri had a live going yesterday. Oh, yeah. I was I was over there for a little bit. I was listening. Yuri was on. Who else? Somebody else was on. I was listening to both. But uh, see, I had no idea. I thought I thought Yuri was a uh, a veteran of himself, but he's not. Just a regular dude. Oh, I thought he was too. Yeah. No, I asked him. He said he's not a veteran. Well, but he knows all the stuff, you know, but yeah. So apparently what he was talking about is, um, did you know someone can buy you, um, buy you, uh, what do you, uh, not likes, but they can buy you, uh, 
subscriptions. You know how you can pay you you can pay you mean, mem memberships. You, whatever it is, Yuri was saying that he didn't do it. Somebody else did it. He didn't know that they could do that to make his channel look like he's got more, more. Uh, you have to you have to oh, go back and listen to it. Oh. Yeah, like he's got more subscribers or what have you over there. All right. No, that I didn't know. Yeah. So See, I don't I'm know looking how now. That's another one. I thought I had Yuri, but I'm not seeing him on my list. Oh, his is uh something Yuri. The the something Yuri. I can't can't think of it right now. Close the door, Rick. Oh snap! You know, I thought I heard a truck out there, but I didn't. Okay. I guess uh, they put it. They should have put this shit in a box. Wait, right? sorry, the monster. They they and they slammed. It. You better make sure it's not broken. It's a three hundred dollar machine. All right, go back to your room or go downstairs. Get away from me. <laughs> uh, I thought I heard UPS out there. I didn't look. Apparently they brought her her, her product. Usually they put it your whatever you have in another just a plain box so they can't see what it is. And that one came in the box, you know, you could see what it is and they kind of slammed it on the ground on one corner there. Hope it ain't broken. Did you get that piece for your new machine that was missing? Yeah, it just came in. I got the box right there. But uh, it's like a. I'm open this up. It's a piece of plastic. So when the blade goes over the thing the cut was cutting it doesn't cut into the to the machine itself oh hello there Raleigh didn't see you come in it's a little a little protector Yeah, not much to it. Either I threw the other one out or I, I just I just didn't see it in there. I know I didn't see it in the thing. Maybe it doesn't come in there. I got two of them, so twelve dollars. Not bad. I was able to find it on on, on eBay. Not on eBay. On Amazon. I don't use Amazon. She does. So I had her order it for me. I don't buy I don't buy anything over there. Let's see. Uh, Looking something up here. Uh, what is Jerry's name? You know his name is Jerry, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was Just searching way... under Yuri and I can't get it and I don't remember no, what No, it's not it's not under that name. Mm. It's it's the something Yuri, the I'll tell you here right now. The, the how many does do I have here? Hmm. 
Maybe it is another set. Let me see. Go back to my history. It's like a flame head. It's a, it's a, his. Oh, uh, that flame the, skull. The, un, the unforgiven Yuri is what his name is. The unforgiven Yuri. But he has another channel too, I think. Like maybe two more. Yeah, I was I was not subscribed. I could have swore I had been. Yeah, I'm subscribed. I, I get the notice when he comes on live. Does he have another channel? Uh let's see. Or he goes by another name or Yeah, I don't know. No, I guess that's I he just goes by that name. The unforgiving Yuri. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, because I had looked him up last time and I was like, well, how come I can't find his channel? Yeah, it's not. It's not under Yuri, that's why. And he was just talking. Mostly, I didn't finish watching, but it was. Him reading chats and him talking and. Kind of answering questions and stuff like that. Now, I think he lives in Ohio, but I'm not sure. Uh, no, I can never remember what people say. He's out there where, um, what's his name is? The guy they always talking to, the guy we were just talking about. He's out there. Oh, out Wrangler. There. I guess he's working. Yeah. Because he says he's just, you know, 30 blocks right. away or whatever. Yeah, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's out there on business or something. Yeah, he's working. But you get him on your show, he could talk, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Which is good if you want someone to talk. Well, when Sarge was talking about uh, getting a couple hosts for his show, and he was like going through names of people he knew, and some of them, you know, they already were busy with their own thing. And like he mentioned, Yuri, and I said, well, Yuri would be good, except he has his own show. And I said, also, do you really want a co-host that's not going to let anybody else talk? Because yeah. he will go on for like 10 minutes at a time. Yeah, I mean, that's what he does. He's good at it. Yeah. Like I try to, like especially like if I'm on Sarge's channel when he's not there, I try to hold back a lot and let other people talk, you know? Right. And if they're, if they're talking about, um, you know, Army stuff or any yeah. military stuff or stolen battle, I, I have no idea about that. I mean, I know about it. I don't have experience with that. I mean, I can't stand there and talk about and tell you who's doing what or who doesn't. Or I know what happens. 
that's about it. Yeah, like I feel like I know more about that stuff than the average non-veteran. But yeah, there's no way I would try to hold a conversation with those guys. Yeah. And what and what low life is gonna say that they were a veteran when, when they wasn't a freaking veteran. I know. That that would never go through my mind. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go on YouTube here and I mean, I get why they do it. They're trying to make some money, put some money in their pocket. They're just scammers. But it's like these uh, people that come out and they tell you they're dying from cancer, right? Please yeah. donate. They collect all this money and come to find out they don't even have cancer. I know I know a little bit about cancer from what this woman has gone through with her cancer, but I don't know nothing about cancer. There's all kinds of cancers out there. Well, last time I was over at Stone Vets, he had um, a clip from an old Kaiser show that Kaiser now uh, claims he never said, where he asked his people to donate that day for his daughter's birthday and he has no daughter oh wow <laughs> it can't get any better huh yeah he's digging a hole for himself it's That's amazing crazy. though how those people he's got those loyal people that it doesn't matter what you say right right they're they're always gonna believe them. They're always gonna they're they're always gonna support them. Yep. I mean, that was good for him, but I mean, yeah. Wake up, people. When I was at uh, when I was over there, and they had Kaiser running, you know, and I saw <clears throat> somebody gave like a five or ten dollar donation. You know how that they highlight that, and the lady said. Thank you for all you do. And I thought, what the hell does he do? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. You know, um, getting back to saying lies like that, uh, when Josephine first came on and she was talking about her uh, her accident that broke her back and broke her esophagus and they didn't put it back together muckster mm -hmm. i i know for a fact that you would die because that's what my woman went through they yeah. cannot leave it you cannot have a tear in your esophagus or stomach or anything because you got acid from your stomach you know your food goes down you would die that's what's going to happen like they're not going to leave you like that i don't know where her disconnection is i have no idea I don't know what happened to her. Did she go through a real trauma or is she just a plain old freaking liar? Yeah. You know? I remember she said she died at home alone five times. Now, if you die at home alone, that's it. <laughs> you know? Well, you know, she's psychic, so she can bring herself back, right? Oh, is that... She could wake herself up and tell herself to call 911 and make sure she looks at the doctor's shoes and make sure it's not a cop operating on her. <laughs> <laughs> and I like her. It's just she goes overboard. But they're out there. Just, just when you thought you, you knew uh, crazy. Yeah. Another crazy bastard shows up. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, okay. This person's actually normal. Listen to this other one. Yeah, somebody comes along and starts talking. You go, yeah, you know, Renata's not that bad. That's right. That's right. And there's, and I, you know what? I, Mm. There's a place for her. There's there's a place out there mm. for her. It's just not on that panel. 
That's what she well, Yeah, me. and the place should have bars on the window. Well, <laughs> I don't think so because, you know, the things that she could hurt have already been taken away from her. So, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. She can't hurt those things anymore. So, they don't, they don't do that to you because you're a normal person. And they don't, you know, I get that there's evil and corrupt people out there, but for the most, uh, the mother always gets to keep her children. Yeah. For the most. And, and I believe that the children should be with their mother. When they're little children like that, they should be with their mother. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, and you know, if not only do they give custody to the father, but the mother has like no or supervised visitation, then there's definitely serious things going on. Yeah, there's no contact. There's no nothing. Something went down. And why, you know, why didn't you show up? That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing that, you know, you tell me you love your child, but you didn't show up. Well, they didn't give me the date or no. That's that's an excuse. Let's say all that shit happened to her. She could still fight to try to get some kind of rights to be able to yep. at least talk mm -hmm. to them. And I think her parents did damage her. Probably. I mean, that's what she claims. I don't get the the part of her kind of hating on white people. Yeah, yeah, that is I don't weird. Get that. Um, and if you have money, does that make you evil? That you have money? I don't I don't get that either. Well, but she what did seemed she talk like about? She did needed she something. About? She needed a belief system. And unfortunately she gravitated to the wackos, you know? Right. But she but she also uh talks about that when she comes over her book and does this and that, that she's going to be rich herself. So mm. I thought you didn't like those people. Why do you want to be like them? But she's one of those going to people. I'm going to, I'm going to. She admitted early on that she has really bad ADD and can never finish a project. But she's always talking about the book she's writing and what the closing line or something she was going to do. And I think she's got all these projects that are like only ever half done. Yeah, I didn't see. I didn't hear that. I didn't know she had ADD. Yeah. I got a little bit more than that, but the trauma. The trauma got her. Maybe her husband did beat her. I have no idea, man. I wasn't there. No. I know who I'd like to beat. Yeah. She just walked by me, but she don't know what I'm <laughs> talking about. <laughs> Crazy. That's how you know you've been that. Right. That's how you know you've been married a long time when stuff like that doesn't even get a response. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that that doesn't that doesn't that never passes. You know, I never have a thought like that. Well, I know. It's not that bad, bro. You know. No, but I mean joking about it, you don't get any response. Oh, yeah. I, I, I love joking about it. 
Shit, we're gonna be able to laugh. Yep. Take your ass downstairs. Over there threatening me. <laughs> she gave me a middle finger. I guess she was listening to me. A lot of times I'll tell her stuff and she just looks at me because she don't know what I'm saying. I'm just being sarcastic. And she knows I am, so she don't pay me any mind. Yeah. If I tell her I'm going to hit her, right, I'll say something. But what would happen if I slapped you in your face? Like, yeah, go ahead. Do it right now. We'll see what happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to survive the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah. What I got to deal with. Wasn't that one of the rules in uh, Princess Bride? It was like never. Uh, Princess Bride. Is that the Frankenstein movie? No. It's the one where uh, the farm boy goes off to be the dread pirate. I forget his name, but then he has to rescue oh. the princess. That's the one with the guy where uh, the guy who's supposedly brilliant and uh, Andre the Giant says to him, he keeps saying, impossible. And he goes, I, I, do, I do not think that word means what you think it means. <laughs> but... Uh, <coughs> He mentions the rules like never uh, declare a land war in Asia or something like that. And never, I was going to say, I think isn't one of the rules like never threaten a Latin woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a Ron Howard movie, right? Um, no. Well, he no, might have been a producer. Willow. It was uh, Rob Reiner okay. directed it. And Willow Willow's the Rob the the Ron Howard movie then. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I never saw the sequel they did to that. I remember they did one that was like many years later. No. Yeah. I, I just don't, realized it. I don't I don't remember the name of it. She's over there opening her stupid box up. Instead of taking it downstairs, she has set it up downstairs. Yeah, The Princess Bride. The Princess Bride. That's a, uh, my sister likes that movie. That's a pretty good movie. I think I think that was the last movie Andre was in. Then he, I think he passed away after that one. Well, might be, yeah. Yeah. What did I watch the other day? I watched, uh, maybe you like it, it's a fantasy movie. Um, what is the name of that movie? I think it's on Netflix, though. Called uh, Damsel. That's it. Like Damsel in Distress. Yeah. Yeah, look that one up and see if you can find it on the thing. You'll like it. It seems like I just that someone else was just talking about that. I think is that is Robin Wright in that? Uh, I don't know. 
It's the girl, the girl from um, Stranger Things, the Eleven girl. Okay, yeah. She's the damsel. That's, so yeah, so, okay. Robin Wright plays the evil queen. Okay, so so yeah, so what they do is is um, they have made a deal with a dragon. They they have to give um, three brides to the dragon because uh. When these people came to this island, uh, they were sharing the island with uh, with a dragon, but the dragon never did nothing to them. So they come after the dragon, and they broke into the dragon's lair, and they murdered her three babies, right? They were just born, and they killed the babies, and the dragon killed them, right? And and But the dragon made a deal with the, uh, with the king. So his bloodline... He has, they, they have to give him three. I don't know if it's every year or every 10 years, whatever it is, they got to get three. Anywho, uh, they tricked this girl. She's got, her father's a king too, but he's like from a smaller, poor place. And they bring her out there. She's supposed to get married. He made the deal. And uh, they when uh they do this ceremony, they take her up to this mountain and he throws her down a hole and dragons down there. Dragon's supposed to kill her. Mm. And dragons after her. And then you find out that this shit has been going on for a long time. There's been all kind of girls have been thrown down in that hole. No one survives. So that's the whole premise of the movie. A good story. Am, I'm downloading yeah. downloading it as we speak. Yeah, it's a it's an action fantasy movie. But I thought it was good. We liked it. Yeah, the queen lady's a she's a bitch. Yeah, she played she played a good role. They all they all they all do. The, the, yeah, if you remember, the, she, Robin Wright, she's also the one who played the uh, girlfriend in Forrest Gump. Okay. Is she Jenny. Yep. Okay. Well, that's a, that's another good movie right there. Yeah. It's a, the story, you know, the story itself was a very it was a very good story. Surprised they never made another movie or or attempted to. The what's the other movie he was in the the war movie the Private Ryan yeah that's a very good movie too well in yeah. Philadelphia with Denzel where they fired Which, fired him for having AIDS oh okay yeah 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 that's a that's an older one yeah yeah. But the the that's the D Day the D Day uh, movie there. Yeah, it was Private they, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, and they come on the beach. That whole one scene right there, man, that's a crazy <laughs> scene. I know. I watch that and I think I don't think I could have ever done that. Shit, those dudes weren't even getting off the boats, man. They were just yeah. as soon as that door got open, they were getting mowed down, man. That one guy's walking around. He, he's got an arm. He's holding on. Yeah, to it. yeah. I don't know if it's his arm or someone else's arm. He's like, oh, I'm like, what the heck? It was like realistic. Maybe if I watch it now, it don't it won't seem as it's re you know they got new shit. But uh, that's a very good story in it. I like I like when they lean down that wall, that brick wall, and the building falls down, and they're all. Facing each other, the Germans and the Americans. Uh, yeah, yeah. That one, that one part of the movie there. They were that damn close to each other. You had that freaking sniper up there. I guess it was a church or what have you. He was knocking everybody off. Yeah, oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, that was, that was a good scene with the sniper. That's a long movie, too.
Yeah, Tom didn't make too many bad movies, but there were a couple. Do you like the Volcano movie? Yes, I do. That's actually, uh, that's uh, Shelly, uh, is in there with, uh, what's her name? Shelly, what have you, from um, Cheers. Shelly Long, that's her mm -hmm. name. I know that was one that uh, wasn't real popular, but I always liked that one. Yeah, and then he did. Uh... That wasn't Shelly Long. Shelly Long came out with him in, in House Trap or whatever. House. Uh... I was thinking that was, I think that was, I think uh, Joe vs. Volcano was another with him and Meg Ryan. Yeah. Meg Ryan, it is. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that was. Um, yeah, I didn't like the, the one with the house. Yeah, with a house, everything goes wrong, and they spend yeah. all kind of money, and they fall through the floor and everything. Yeah, that movie sucked. Shelly didn't really cross over into the um, the movies as, as she was on TV. Yeah. As good an actress as she is, she never really uh, took off. But it happens, you know. Yeah. And had she not left the show, and then we would not got uh, the other crazy broad. Christy Alley. Christy Alley. I was going to say Alley something, but yeah. Yeah. That was actually a really good show. It was, it was a yeah. Funny show. I liked all I liked all the characters. And it's one that I think stayed good to the end. A lot of them they drift off a lot the last season or so. Yeah. Yeah, I like Ted's uh character. You know, he was a baseball player, recovering drunk. Yeah. Um was the old man's name Coach? The, yeah. The one, yep. The one who Nick Colasanto, yep. Yeah. And then Woody. Yeah, that made Woody uh, Harrelson's career there. That's right. And of course, you had Norm and Cliff. To and this Carla. Day, I, still think, I still think he's that freaking retard from that show. I looked at his face and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> he's a retard. Oh yeah, Carla. She was great on that. Yep. I don't know how many damn kids she had with that Italian dude. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, her husband was a sleaze bag, yeah. Oh. He's a good actor too. Yeah. When you had Norman um what's the other guy's name? Cliff. Yep, oh, the mailman. Yeah, he did a show on um on the History Channel for a while. I think he visited different towns and cities in the United States. Oh. I can't remember the name of the show though. Something like hometown or something. Certain shows that were really good and iconic. Everybody knows, you know, the song and as soon as it come on. Well, NBC Thursday nights for quite a few years there kind of was the night for TV. I know that was a Thursday nighter. You had, of course, it's not as fondly remembered now, but the Cosby show. Oh, yeah. Um, good. I can't remember if if Taxi was one of those. On NBC, I don't know what 
Maybe. And uh, Barney Miller? I think Barney Miller was ABC, but I'm not sure. Okay. I like the... I like fish. I'm Barney yeah. Miller. Yeah. Now, they gave him a show, you know. Uh, what's his name? I forget his name, but... Gabe Vigoda. Yeah. And he was in... Um, Godfather. He's in the Godfather, isn't he? Yep. He yeah, played Tessio. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you'll never see shows like like those, like the like uh, Barney Miller and stuff like that. Yeah. Nick Yamano and Wojohowitz. Uh huh. I forget what the black guy's name was. I Harris, Ron was, or no, that was his real name, wasn't it? Ron Harris. Uh, I think so. What's uh, Barney's name? I know his name too. Uh, Hal Linden. Hal Linden. Is he, he sings, right? He sings or he did stuff with singing? Maybe. Seems familiar. I think he's done some stuff with singing. You know, back then you had to have all those talents. You had to be able to sing, dance a little bit, you know, host the show or what have you. Yeah, especially a lot of them, they came from Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course, there's a lot, lot more singing on Broadway. Oh, yeah. Trying to think of the theme song to Barney Miller. It's just music, right? I think so. I have one in my head, but I'm not sure if it's the right uh, tune or not. And it's hard to, it's like, da 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 da. Yeah. Yep, I can't do it, but. Yeah, I can't remember it, but. You know, NBC <laughs> went strong, like you said. They went strong for a long time. Uh, and I remember when Fox first came in, they didn't have a real big lineup. But slowly but surely, they kind of took over. Yeah. Uh, I always watched uh, Mar Mar Married with Children. I never missed that show. That was a great show. You got to you gotta like that comedy or you don't like it. It was either you liked it or you didn't. Yeah, I never really started watching it. I remember... It being really popular and somehow I just never tuned in. Yeah, the the first seasons of it, the I don't know how long it lasted. But uh, the original writers of that show, they were great. They were funny. And then it, the show, you know, the more popular it got People start fighting on the show, you know, uh, why yeah. does he get the money I do? And they had their problems, but then towards the end of the show, it wasn't the same anymore. It wasn't as funny either. I know your, your characters seem like they changed. They changed uh, the husband to Marcy, the neighbor. How did they get rid of her husband? I forget how it was. Ended up being pretty boy there. I forget his name. Roger, whatever his name was. He used to be on uh, Happy Days, towards the end of Happy Days. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, they, they kind of ruined that show. But they also had spinoffs. They had... Uh, what was the other show came out? They had that show. That was uh, Married with Children. And then they had a happily ever after, which was another show with um, Bobcat Goldway. Is that his name? Oh Bobcat? yeah, Goldthwait. You got Bobcat Goldthwait. Yeah. Okay. Well, he was a imaginary friend of the guy of the show. So the the father had a bunny. Mm -hmm. In the show, the it's a puppet, and he talks. 
But in real life, whenever they showed him, he was just it was just laying down. It wasn't talking or anything. But when no one was around, it was just the dude, the puppet would be talking to him. So it was it was Bobcat's uh, voice, and you know he's got that weird voice. Yeah. <laughs> he he was another funny dude when he first came out in uh, yeah. Police Academy. There. Those uh those series were funny. Those uh, the Police Academies. They're 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 stupid that they're funny. That's how that's how dumb those movies are. Yeah. They make you laugh. You gotta laugh at the the blue oyster. You know, one of these one of the smartest sitcom things I ever saw was uh, with uh, friends. They, because like how you said, how a lot of times it breaks down after a while, people start fighting and stuff. I saw where with friends, like, you know, of course it went, you know, the first season, it just took off and became wildly popular. And there was like a couple of, uh, like the first scenes in, I remember Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston was the big one. Everybody was talking about Rachel and stuff, <laughs> but they decide when it was time to negotiate their contracts, they negotiated as a group. Okay. So like, you know, where like normally, you know, since Jennifer Aniston was popular and then, you know, she'd be getting, you know, like $5 million and everybody else would be getting 500000 or something. But they went in as a group of six. And, you know, so it was like, if you want the big one, you got to, you know, pay the rest of us too. And then as the show went on, different ones became popular, you know, but right. they kept doing that and I think that's one thing that kept that show going because then uh, you didn't get people like getting jealous of each other or anything you know it's like oh that's great you know he comes in and hardly does anything and he's making five times as much money as me yeah I think they were the first uh, million dollar type show where everyone got paid the same you know what I'm saying uh, probably yeah, I believe they were the first ones. And then uh, Seinfeld, he was getting paid some ridiculous amount, too. Yeah. They, they were getting paid good money, too, over there. I, I remember him being on the show the one time talking about it, and he said, you know, after a while, because, you know, he was like, that last uh, couple of seasons, I think, you know, he was making like a million dollars an episode. And he said, you know, after you're making so much money, it's really not about the money anymore. It becomes about other things, you know, right. like how you're being treated and stuff. Because, you know, it is, it's kind of like, um, you know, what could, what can you get with 20 million that you couldn't get with 10? Right. Yeah. Um, out of friends, I liked uh, Phoebe's character. Yeah, she, she was as dumb as dumb as Joey was. I think her character was even dumber than his. But yeah, her 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 character was hilarious. I guess we all liked the. I guess everybody picked their their favorites. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think uh, yeah. Like I like them all. I think Joey, Joey, and Phoebe were my favorites. Yeah, they I were think, so. Yeah, I think she was hotter than Jennifer, anyways. But <laughs> never was a fan of Jennifer myself. <laughs> I don't know it looks like a man to me, but that's just me. <laughs> what do I know? Very little. What do I know? I know what people like about her. But... It's like a lot of the shows that I remember where, uh, you know, you'd have like a couple of women. One would be sort of the flashy blonde type. And I'd usually, I usually went with the other. 
like the classic that they used to use as an example was Gilligan's Island. And they'd say, are you a uh, Marianne or a ginger? And I was always a Marianne guy. Oh, yeah. She's, I think she was the prettier girl. But Ginger was, uh, I like redheads anyways. Ginger was pretty girl too. But uh, yeah, Marianne all day. Seems like she never got old, you know what I mean? Her face was always the same. Well, here's another, I might have told you this before. It seems like we might have been talking in Finkel's one time about old shows, but a trivia thing I always like about Gilligan's Island is the one Don Wells was her name who played Marianne. At the time, the idea of residuals was a new idea. Nobody talked about it for TV shows. Now it's like, you know, standard contract. Right. But so Don Wells was the only one that put that in her contract to get residuals for, you know, the repeat shows and stuff. Right. And, you know, and she was like, like the most minor character on there. Right. Um, but anyway, uh, so she ended up making more money off that show than anybody oh, yeah. else. Once they went syndicated all over the United States, forget about yeah. it. The repeats, you know, it, the, to this day, um, you know, like TV Land, all those shows that channels that pick up those shows. Uh, somebody's getting paid. I mean, I don't know yeah. if they inherited her 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 earnings or however that works, but yeah. Yeah, there'd be there'd be an estate out there somewhere that's right. There's I mean, and this is how actors survive today that are no longer working. They can uh and TV is where it's at, Muxter. Not the movies, but television. Yeah. I think uh as far as um, you record for five seasons and it's a very popular show, and then and then that I forget what they call it where it goes out and then you know they start Synd replaying syndication. Yeah, I guess syndication. Yeah, and pretty much you know you got a guaranteed check uh, every year. You know, depending on who's watching, how many. Uh, stations are ordering or playing it. You get so much of that. Not bad for uh, for not doing anything. Because you got paid for the show itself. Plus you get, yeah. you know, it's like profit sharing. I think that's the way it should be. You know, you're part of that show. Uh, yeah, you're you're part of the reason that it's making money now. Right, these these because they're billion dollar companies, pretty much. You could say, uh, I don't know, NBC or any of these uh, big old um, studios. These, yeah, these studios are worth. I mean, they got to be worth crazy dollars. Probably in the upper thousands. Yeah, well, they're. They're worth more than you and I will ever see. Yeah. I know that. I don't know what I would do if I had all that money. I know I'd spend a lot of it. Because when you die, no matter how many millions and billions you got, yeah. you don't take that shit with you. You know that, right? <laughs> That's going to be right here. I always think of that when, like, the lottery is way up, which I never get lottery tickets anymore, but still think about it this you know, some of the, it gets up there and like even after taxes and stuff, you could have three, four hundred million dollars. Right. And one thing I always think about is, and it sounds stupid, but, but hey, it'd be interesting to win that money. But I always uh, think one of the interesting things about it would be to see if I would do with the money what I always think I would do if I got it. You know what I mean? Like right, once you, you know, got it in your hand, are you going right. to go, oh yeah, I'm going to give away tens of millions of dollars, you know? You don't you don't know what you're going to do until you get it. The thing is, yeah. depending on how much you get is how much you can give. You understand? Yeah. Now, one thing I did, I have said is this, uh, say, say you win like 300 million, right? 
say it was say it was a, a hundred million and you got probably half of that, whatever. And you want to give your brother so much. Uh, I would just make him sign a damn contract. Listen, I'm going to give you $10 million and you can never, ever ask me for another dime, if, even if you do get broke. That's how I would do it. That way, there's no arguing. Everyone's going to get the same. I don't care if you had um, 10 children or one child. It's yep. not fair. I have more children. I need more money. Well, then you go win your own lottery. That's well, how you know, I would do it. That's kind of, that's sort of what I, and I always thought, now I have a brother and two sisters, right? And each of them has two kids. So it's a nice even... And I always thought if I won like, you know, a really big one like that, I thought I'd give my siblings each 10 million and then each of their kids 5 million. That way, like, you know, my brother wouldn't have to decide what he was giving his kids. But it's like, oh, yeah, I, I always mean. said, I always said uh, that what I would do, though, is I'd say, look, consider this your inheritance because you're never going to see another dime from me. Because right. any money that I still have, like when I die, it's going to be going off to charities or something, you know? Right. And I'm and the same as you. I, Because I used to, I remember when I would have like the lottery fantasies and at different times it, I used to think, oh, I'll buy everybody cars. And then, and then after a while, it's like, you know, give them cash and let them decide. But there'd be like things like, I know my sister was married to this guy that I, I always thought, he'll blow this money because he always had these dreams of like opening businesses and stuff. Right. And I, and I knew, and, and I used to think, well, maybe I should do it where you'll get so much a year or something. Then I thought, nope, they're adults. It's hard. Yeah. If it's they hard blow it. Really. Yeah. You give it to them as an adult and you say, Hey, be responsible with your money. Know where you're spending your mm -hmm. money. Don't throw your money away yet. You know, but if, if you win a million dollars, you really can't do it. No, so if you got, you got your brother, your sister, and then you got the four kids. All right. That's seven people right there. How much yeah. of that seven, you know, instead of, it's not really a lot of money. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you could, you can toss them a couple thousand to have fun yeah. with or whatever, pay some bills off. But yeah, you can't be really generous. Hey, give them 10 grand, 20 grand a piece or whatever. I don't know, man. Maybe even 50,000. Yeah. I don't know. It's, but it's still, it's a big chunk, man. You know, but you know when you're talking hundreds of millions, but yeah. I think the I think the lottery's a scam, anyways. Myself, but that's yeah. just me. They're supposed to be going into these schools. Yeah, we got schools here in Virginia, and they, you know, they're falling apart. In uh, Pennsylvania, it goes to uh, old people stuff. Okay. Like they have the PACE right. program that's some um, prescription program and all kinds of different like senior citizen type things. That's what it goes right. into. Well, you know, it's multiple states together. So they have to share the profit. Yeah. You know, they have yeah. to share, they have to split it. <laughs> and um, here, you know, when you read the thing, it, it, that, it's what it tells you that it's going to the schools. That's what they say. Um, it's not that we don't have schools and they are, they have built new schools and stuff, but yeah. Um, there's how much money are they making? If they can pay you, if they can pay out, right. They've paid out a billion. I think the biggest is a billion, right? So far, well, but that's, that's the annuity amount. Well, yeah, but you, you know what I mean? It, it's gotten that yeah. high as far as, you know, well, there's a billion dollars. How much are they making if they can pay that out? Yeah. Or say yeah, that's how what many? it is. You know what I mean? If they, you know, they're not going to tell you they have a billion dollars. They don't have it. I mean, they well, could. The thing is, if it works out, I don't know if it works out to where they've sold a billion dollars worth of tickets. But you figure if they did, if someone takes the annuity, well, over whatever it is, 27 years or something that they do. That person's going to get a billion dollars, but in the meantime, the state or states is collecting the interest on that money. Right. You know, so it, they're collecting it, interest on hundreds of millions. 
depending on um see so if you buy a ticket right it's three dollars for a normal ticket right it's a it's um two dollars pays the ticket and the other dollar pays the powerball and yeah. then you can add you can add two three four five dollars more onto your powerball so god knows how much money they're 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 raking in well and of course think of it like this too um let's just say you had a very simple drawing uh everybody throws in a buck a piece 10 people and you pick a number and you have a one in chance well no i'm doing it wrong though oh well the way here's the way the lottery would work if it's like that okay so 10 people everybody pays a buck whoever's number is drawn gets seven dollars and the house collects three. You know, that's basically the way the lottery works with like the daily numbers and all that stuff. Oh, okay. You have a one in a thousand chance of winning, but they're only paying you like, you know, 500 instead of the thousand or whatever it is. So they're still, you know, they're, they're making their money off all the people that lost. Yeah. They have to, they, they you know, uh, there's no way you're going to run a lot of without, um, you, you gotta you have, you, you gotta have money there to pay and that you can't not, not have money. Yeah. You figure like the simplest, like the, the daily number, you have a one in a thousand chance of winning. Well, if you win 999 other people lost. <laughs> right. And they only pay you like 500 or whatever. So, yeah, it all works out. The house always wins. Yeah, I do wonder when they have those like the Powerball and the Mega, when they get up there to like a billion, just how much money is in the actual fund. Right. Uh, you know, and if you get 10 million, I say take it annually get paid that way you know you're going to get paid i think a lot a depends while. too on your age yeah well if, if you, you're 79 if you win, years old you take your yeah, money man yeah but yeah you yeah. figure you win something like that when you're like 21 then it's nice to have it spread out over 25 years or whatever they do right you know what a 21 year old is going to do they're just going to yeah basically not all but most will yeah, go out and buy a car or something yep. that they don't need it's that good. costs more than a house. And yep, yep, they're gonna have they're gonna have a going. Maserati in their driveway, All and right. a Lamborghini, and a uh, Ducati motorcycle, and yep, and a and a huge house. And then in five years, it's like they're declaring bankruptcy. Right. I mean, Which most people happened. most people end up broke that will do in the the lot yeah. so. I remember back when like the big ones were like it might be like ten million dollars in that that I can remember seeing like an Oprah show or one of those where they were talking to people and that happened to a lot of people. They'd get like ten million dollars and it's like, oh my God, I can do whatever I want. And they don't realize how they kind of nickel dime themselves into the poor house because it's like, oh, ten million dollars. I can build a one million dollar house and yeah. I can, you know buy this car and I can do this and that. And then pretty soon you go, wow, I have $20,000 in the bank and this stupid house I bought, the uh, taxes on it are $25,000 a year. Right. You know? yeah, the upkeep, the heating, right? The bigger the house, the more, it's just the more expensive yeah. everything gets, man. I mean, do, do, do you, you yourself, right? You live by yourself, right? Yep. Do you need do you need the 15 room house? Do you know? Do you no. need 12, 12 bathrooms? Really? Think about it. <laughs> Ridiculous. But that's the American way, the American way of thinking. Uh, I want to be better than everybody else. I want everybody to look at me. And that's uh, what I always see what I got over here. You know what I mean? When I would uh, do the lottery fantasies and I'd be thinking like for myself and I'd be like designing a house 
I, uh, my house would have been like, you know, nice, uh, like kitchen, dining area, and a big living room, and then like, you know, two bedrooms, my bedroom and one guest room. You know, it's like, like you say, why would I need, you know, eight bedrooms and whatever? Yeah, you're not going to use all those rooms, man. Think about it. And now uh, the house would be even smaller than it used to be because I don't have the big uh, New Year's Eve parties or Oscar parties and stuff anymore. Yeah, I get I get one floor, monster, one flat floor, and that's it. Yep. I'm not saying I wouldn't have a basement, but uh, it'd be all living areas would be on the same. Everything would be on one yep. floor. Yeah, that's no, what I no too. going up and down stairs. And we got three floors here. I mean, oh, it's, it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a, what's it called? This house is called a, it's like a bungalow. Yeah. It's just one, it's a one story house, but I do have a, a finished attic upstairs and we do have stuff up there. We got to go up there, you know, so it's a whole another flight of steps. You got to walk up, but it's I more have... just for storage than yeah. anything else. I have an attic that's full of stuff that should have never been moved like two moves ago, you know? Right. It's like should have, should have gone in the garbage a long time ago. Right. Yeah. My first movie, I, all, all I brought was my, um, my furniture, my, my couches and my bedroom furniture. And a television. That was it. I had nothing else. Well, I had a stove and refrigerator, but uh, every room in this house is full of crap now. There's all kind of shit up yeah. in here. It's no room. We got no room. The more room you got, the more shit you want to put in those rooms. Yeah. That's the thing. Why not? See at what time this stupid fight supposed to start. I don't know. Where they're fighting at. I get my internet to work down here. Still blowing. That wind's still blowing out there. Okay. what I did here. Something opened up. I didn't go to YouTube, but YouTube opened up. That's weird. Let's see. Sometimes that when I go, like, there's a live, and I'll go. It'll say that I'm not connected. Retry. And I got to keep refreshing the page for it to come up. I don't know why it does that. I can go to any normal YouTube channel. It'll start up. But if it's alive, it does that to me for some reason. I, I huh. still don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. Weird. Why is the live different than the uh, regular YouTube channel? I have no idea. I'm going to get me a new damn computer is what I want. 
But if I buy a new one, then someone else is going to have to get a new one. Yeah. You like laptops? Uh, I prefer PC. Yeah, that's what I use. I've had I my have... issues with laptops. I have a laptop. I got it the one time when I was going to go into the hospital. And the first thing I need when I have a laptop is I have to buy a mouse. Oh, yeah. got to have that mouse, man. I hate playing with the little uh, pad. Yeah. And I, use, I use a small mouse. I can't really grip anything with my hand, so it has to be a smaller mm -hmm. one. If it's a big mouse... Uh, my fingers don't really work right, so I can't really work it. I wasn't using my laptop at all for quite a while. And then uh, when Finkel was trying to do the 24-hour thing, yeah, and I, I started, uh, I brought my laptop over, and I'd have it open and have, um, you know, I'd be like logged in on the panel, but I'd be backstage and be watching to see if anybody, if someone came in and wanted to go up okay. on stage and that, yeah. you know, like when it was empty. I'd be sitting here watching a movie or something, but I'd have that sitting there beside me and I'd, I'd see it flash and then could go and let people in and that. Yeah. You know, the, the week that um, TPP was down, not it wasn't down a whole week, but that week that he left to go to uh, New York, had he been at his house, I think his channel would have would have popped off because that one day we had a bunch of traffic that one day. Yeah. A whole bunch of people come through, you know. Again, it's hard to do. It's hard to be on, you know. And be on at the right time when everybody else wants to be on, and you know it's uh everybody's in different places, and yeah, you know if you're in California, it's three hour difference. So that's the thing about that. Yeah, and that's like with us. I know Killer was trying to cover like those early morning hours and stuff, but that's boring if nobody's coming in. Right. Yeah, if you, and if you don't have no one to talk to, you know. Uh, again, if you if you if you're a talker and you have things to talk about, you could just kind of it's like reading the news. You're just up there narrating, just saying whatever, and people can listen. I don't have that talent. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. today, if we were if we were on Finkel's channel, we might have got more people. Since he's got like 7,000 subscribers, more people would be seeing the live thing. Right. Yeah, he's had more eyes over there, right. You know, I go around. I try to support everybody and tell them to subscribe or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. You know give them a thumbs up or leave a comment or what have you and see if that helps uh, push the channel, you know what I mean? And then get these channels yeah. going. Not not that I want anything to do with the channel or, you know, yep. I'm not, I'm, I don't need to get anything out of it. As soon as he, as soon as he finds someone, uh, they could take my spot anytime they want. Ain't no big deal. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know I, I'll never go over there and, and try to start, you know, uh, if he leaves it open, I'm not going to go over there by myself and try to, you know, like, just start, you know, a panel myself. I'm not. That's not me. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'd ask him first before I did anything if, you know, hey, can we talk about this or this or whatever? It's, it's his channel, so you got to you gotta respect that. I think little by little though it'll it'll grow his channel, you know. Uh he'll go out more now in the summer too. I think that'll bring mm -hmm. 
bring some more eyes. People like to see them when they go out uh, with the cameras and stuff. Even though he does his his thing is different, you know what I mean? The way he does yeah. it, which is fine. Yeah, he's not as aggressive and stuff. Yeah, it, you don't have to be. You know what I'm saying? If yeah. something's going to happen, believe me. <laughs> It'll happen. I realized what my uh, sort of relationship on Finkel's channel is. Is I realized, and, you know, he he pretty much he just lets me do what I want. It's his channel, and a lot of times I'm the one like saying, "Hey, let's do this and stuff." But uh, I realized basically I'm the vice principal, right. you know, because <laughs> it's like like in high school, you know, it's the vice principal that's always like, um, you know, suspending people or giving them detention or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it don't really. He he's the principal is the one that actually makes the money and it's supposed yeah. to be the responsible one, but he's not the one handing out the punishments. That's right. And I don't mind that role. I've, that's something I've actually, I mean, I, I've been in a lot of things. Well, like I was the manager of the library I worked at for many years and I've been in charge of like various like community things and stuff. But I, I also, I think I'm always strongest. I'm a great like number two. Yeah, I've held that role. The, in the, right. Yeah. But the thing is, you you're also learning, you know, because you you didn't know about Streamyard, did you? Oh, uh, you knew a little bit, or no? But Finkel didn't know much more. <laughs> okay. Well, but see, but now you know more. You and yeah, you know, it's just more an advantage for you for for your own thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I even told him when first started and he was showing me like the basics and that and I said because I'm I am not good at self-learning things you know to learn the beginning of how to do something right and I said I, I told him I said yeah once you show me how to like get logged in and do the simple stuff I said give me a couple of days and I'll be showing you stuff you don't know and I did you know, right. I, I'm the one that taught him about putting like the banners at the bottom and stuff like that, that he didn't realize you could do. Yeah. If if you go on YouTube and you just write StreamYard and then you can watch, there's all tons of videos uh, um, showing you how to work it. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of times I'm not real good at learning that way, though, either. Uh, I, I, I'm I more of a see it, learn than read it, learn. But yeah. Kind of like a hands-on type guy. Yeah. That's usually if I learn the basics, then I just play around with stuff. Then I. But I forget what it was. Somebody just told me something the other day that I didn't know. Although I just, uh, I don't know if you were there at the time, like yesterday when I was in. Uh, I can't remember if it was Bear or uh, Grim's channel at the time, but. Yeah, it was Grim. <laughs> Grim Grim didn't know about um Oh the audio, we, yeah. Yeah. Once you, you muted somebody you can, that yeah. Yeah. How do you think you muted him? Same way you muted him, you can bring him back. Yeah. Yeah. I and mean it, it seemed it, like none of them realize that if a person mutes themselves, you cannot unmute them. Right. But the person can unmute themselves if you muted them. Right. And you can move them to the back, and you can bring them right back up. Also, yep. just yeah, just the way TPP does it when they do the one-on-one. -on -one. We can't move ourselves to the back. No, they can do it like that. You know, the only thing you can do is move yourself back out of the, out of the stream. Then you got to re-log back in. But and those guys have been at it a lot longer than we have. Yeah. Damn, I saved the. Uh, I saved a page here and now I don't know where the hell it's at. Because I'm dumb. I don't know where I saved it. Oh, did I save it on? Did I save it on Firefox? I don't know. Firefox and Chrome are the same people? I don't think so. 
Why do they use Google or is Google? Well, Chrome Chrome is connected to Google. Part of Google, right? I think so. So I think Firefox might... is their own, but they use Google search, though. Really, I was think I thought it was Firefox that uh, I had to On make mine, Google the default. I have, I have but... Firefox up here, and it says search with Google Chrome. With Google, it says search with Google. I don't know. Well, you might have set that default because I was thinking Firefox. Uh, it might be a different one though. That once, oh yeah, I think it's um the Microsoft one uses Bing. Right. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, Bing is his own separate um search uh, engine, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Firefox probably sets Google as the default just because they don't have their own. Right. If I get this thing here to work. Sorry, you have been blocked. You're unable to access secure. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Yeah, it's because my VPN is on and I'm not going in there. Uh, okay. I go nowhere without my VPN. I can open it up on the VPN, but here we go. I noticed a lot of times, like, for a while, I haven't had problem with watching a movie on Amazon, but when I do a TV series, it would say that it wasn't available or however it would say it. And if I, but if I took my VPN off, it was okay. Yeah. But I found out a, if I, if I just paused for five minutes, once it started, then it would go ahead and play the next uh, episode and stuff, even though my VPN was switched back on by then. Right. You can go to your uh, settings and go where, where it says bypass and you you bypass uh, either your Netflix or your or your Amazon or whatever. And that way your VPN is running. Yet for that, it's not yeah. it's not reading your you know, it's reading your real IP and then it, it allows it. I use it because I can um, put Japan or what have you and then I can look yeah. up more more Asian shows through them you know what i mean that's, that's basically they... the same thing i did it was right. uh so i could uh make it look like i was in england and watch some english shows right right mm, let's see i got it working it's just that one there didn't let me in i got uh i have nord VPN. I use, yeah, I use uh, Surfshark. I used to use uh, IP Vanish. I use uh, Surfshark, though. Uh, I think Sh Surfshark is unlimited. Like, I have, like, unlimited devices, I believe. Yeah. So my kids use it, and I use it. Well, they have it. Whether they use it or not, that's, that's them. But I always tell them to make sure they use it, but they don't. I don't think they do. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out this thing that Theo said. Let's see if I can put it on my computer here, but oh yeah, that uh... is it going to ask me for my email? Oh, it's three hours from now. It hasn't started yet. Let's see. Allow it to play. Huh. 
I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out. Man, it sounds like a train out there and it's the stupid wind blowing in the trees and stuff. Stupid wind. Let me see. Let's try a baseball game here. What am I doing? I never used this before. Gives you a whole bunch of MLB soccer or NBA. NHL, NFL, boxing, UFC, Canadian Football League. You click them and then you can find what's on and then you go to that event. Okay, so this one's live. Let me try this one. All right, that ain't working. I can watch TV down here anyway, so I already have an app on here. For, for television. Maybe I took it off. I do have it set up upstairs, so that I do know. No biggie. So I guess it starts about 7.30, 8 o'clock before that comes on. Yeah. Did you get that movie downloaded, Muxer? Um, it should be. I wasn't watching it. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it didn't take it didn't take too long then, right? No, usually uh well this what was this one? Well it was about <laughs> six gig. I'm sure it was probably done in about ten minutes. Ah, oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Depending, you know, on how many uh Uploaders it has and stuff. How many people are sharing it? Yeah. You know, a lot of times, something like that, just a couple of minutes. <laughs> I remember when, the, well, this one friend of mine corrupted me. She's one that first showed me how to get torrents and stuff. She told me what program to put in. And then there was a, a site that was one of the original places. I can't yeah. even remember the name now. Oh, and, yeah. Go ahead, man. But uh, so we would, we would like watch movies together, you know? Yeah. And she'd say, okay, go there and, you know, be like, download this version of it. And we download, and you know, she's in England, and be okay. like, oh, 10 minutes later, she'd go, Okay, you ready to go? And I'd go, Well, mine still says it has 70% to go, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. But now, but now I've got a better service. Yeah, she's got way better internet. Yeah. I, I always remember we did that the one time we were watching a movie together. And, you know, we'd like be chatting back and forth. Um, the program that we used to use, you couldn't talk, but, you know, you could text. And it's like um, going, we'd be saying, you know, 
oh, this guy's going to be the killer or whatever it'd be, you know. It'd be like, I'd say something and she's like, what? I didn't see that. And then there's a, and we realized one of us had like downloaded the director's cut. So the movie was like 12 minutes longer or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. And we were out of sync with each other. <clears throat> you ever watch uh, the movies with the director commentary? So the movie's playing, yet they're having their own little conversation on. Well, here I, would I do, did this. I would do that sometimes with the DVDs. Yeah, those are interesting. You get, yeah. you, you kind of understand why they did what they did. You know what I mean? Yeah, like uh, why they used a certain cut of it, or why, uh, why right. they left something out or put something in, and yeah. You ever see the movie where Catherine Hepburn plays a, a man? Uh, I'm looking at something here. Man, she looks just like a dude with her hair cut like that and combed the way it is. I there there are conspiracy channels out there that say that she was a man in real life and that yeah. Fred, Fred Astaire really was a woman, not a man, and blah, blah, blah. There's, you know, they talk about all those. Uh, yeah that most of your uh, Hollywood um, elites are uh, trans. They're all trans either. Yeah. Either they're guys or they're girls, but a little hard to swallow. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, yeah. everyone, it's like, it's everyone. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, could, I could say, yeah, there's probably some there that we don't know about because um, I know plenty of them and they, they look just like women. I mean, they're pretty looking girls, but they're not girls. They're really, and you know, in real life, they're they're dudes. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's well, only one way to find mm. out. Well, for sure, there was a lot of those old Hollywood actors. Oh yeah, who were gay. Yeah, they didn't but, come out, but yeah. because you know why, they yeah. would be, um, you know, ridiculed and uh, blackballed. But yeah, that's Plenty interesting. It would have blown people's minds because, you know, they'd play like the tough guys and stuff like that. And, you know, right. of course, gay gay guys could not be, you know, manly. Yeah, I mean, they say that, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, uh, Godfather guy, what's his name? The old man. Marlon Brando? Yeah, they say he, he liked dudes, too. You know who his lover was forever? Uh, I don't remember, no. It was uh, Rita, um, Rita, Puerto Rican lady from, from... Rita Moreno. Yeah, they were, she said they were oh. together for like 40 years or whatever. Oh, no. Yeah, no, they were always lovers. That. Yeah. It, this is from her lips, her talking in yeah. an interview. Yes, uh, they they never got married, but they or they were um, always in love with each other. Huh. Yeah. You know, I don't get any more macho than than Brad though. There. But I remember one stuff. that I think it was part of the sort of breakthrough for the gay movement was when it came out that Rock Hudson was gay. Right. Because he always played the romantic lead and stuff like that. And I think that's when a lot of people, like at first, it was like, oh, my God. And then I think a lot of them were sort of like going, okay, really? Is that Can that gay guy be like that? You know what I mean? Right. <clears throat> that's I always I always think that the well, thing that know, really... This... Go ahead. His controversy was where he ended up getting um, HIV and he ended up having AIDS, yeah. and, and that's, that's where true, whether yeah. he did or not, I don't know. They what they say, but um, um, then everybody was freaking out. Well, I kissed him in a movie, you know. Even even yeah. um, yeah. what's her name? Um, she played Cleopatra. 
pretty lady. Elizabeth um, Taylor. Elizabeth she, Taylor. She made a big stink about it. Oh, but yeah. I kissed him, and you know, uh, it doesn't work that way, lady. Yeah. If you know anything. But yeah. Uh, they may be sick. They don't have the cooties. You're not. It's just because yeah. you touched the person. You know, it's the whole. People don't understand that to, for you to get that disease is a, a little bit harder than that. Yeah. I think the big yes. turning point, though, in like the gay rights thing was when the parades changed. You know, the early gay pride parades. It was all the like, um, you know, transvestites and that. You know, the guys in drag or. You know, they were all very flamboyant and stuff. And then after a while, when you started seeing, like, you know, the your dentist in the parade, or, you know, you'd see, like, um, you know, like two guys pushing a stroller. And it was like, oh, yeah, they look just like my neighbor. I think that uh, started making a big difference in people's minds. Yeah. All right, so the movie is Sylvia Scarlet, I think, 1935. Yeah, I remember like a, that one. She looks like a boy in that. She she plays a man in the movie the whole time. She's a girl in the movie, but she's yeah. playing like you know in disguise, you know. Well, I was gonna this, yeah. yeah. She's playing someone pretending to be a man. Right, right. It's uh uh, uh like Yento, you know Yento. She yeah. she had to disguise herself or what have you. Yeah. Um, I've seen bits and pieces of the movie. I, I've been meaning to watch the movie. But, uh, yeah, she looks like a dude. Mm. Got the short hair and all that. Yeah. But uh, that's all it really takes. You know, um, you could take uh, uh, twins, right? A boy and a girl. But they have, they're, they're not identical. They're there, but they have similar features, and you yeah. let the boy grow the the long hair and the girl with the short. You're gonna say that the boy's the girl and the girl's the boy because that's what you automatically yeah perceive. You know what I mean? You your eyes uh, see that one thing, but yeah, she played a. They make a big old stink about that. The channels I watch. Because they talk about people's, you know, their jaw lines and their fingers and their waist and yeah i get all that uh not all women are curvy women number one they don't yeah. all have hip. all women don't have hips some women have straight hips and sometimes they look like their fathers right and some have you ever seen these curve these these men with the big thighs and the big booties they they have those oh, girls, yeah. but they're men right but their body yeah. is more like a woman but they're they're men that does, yep. doesn't mean that they're, you know, <laughs> doesn't mean they're a real woman with a pretending to be a dude or something. It's just their body types. Everyone has a different uh, shape in their body. Yeah, the bone structure is different. Uh, men have denser uh, bone structure structure than than women do. It's just the way we're built. And that other movie I, I was telling you was a Little Wing. I don't know if you had downloaded that one, but you you, you watched that I movie. just I just uh, noticed that I still have that sitting there okay. to watch. That's a really good movie, man. I enjoyed that one. It's got a good story to it, you know. You, you. I didn't really want to tell you the story, so when you watch it, you're like, "Oh, this has more to do than just yeah. them losing their house and what's going on in this girl's life." And there's things going on in her mother's life and her brother's life and the old man's life. Tell you what, she made a whole bunch of movies though. Oh, Captain Hepburn right there. Yeah. Famous roles. Yeah, I have a little backlog of movies and stuff because 
been spending so much time on YouTube. Yeah. Now, a couple of times when I decide to come and try a panel, I'll uh, sit here like watching the TV show that I have recorded or something like that. I figure, well, if no one comes in by the time I finish this show, then I'll shut it off, you know, but it, uh, at least I, at least I take care of some of the uh, backlog instead of just sitting here staring at an empty screen. Yeah. I was surprised. I think it was just yesterday. Or so, I came across a Liam Neeson movie I hadn't seen before, and it was just from 2023, and I didn't remember it at all. You what know, I haven't seen it ever. Uh, yeah. I think I have it on my on my list. I just haven't watched it yet. Something about saints and sinners. Oh, okay. Is it? I forget. If it, I don't think it's called like the. A town of saints and sinners, but there's something saints and sinners. Yeah. You haven't seen the show, The Dairy Girls, right? The Dairy Girls? No. It's a comedy the... from, from Ireland? No. Okay, so uh, the show's great. It's only three seasons. That's why I like it, because it, it, it's a the the lady that wrote it or directed it, she explains that um, it's like a time period. I'm 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 guessing it was probably her. It's like her life when she was coming up, and uh, they had the uh, is it the IRL? What's it called? They had their remember when they were bombing over there in um, IRA Irish Republican Army. Okay, all right. Okay, R I R A. Okay, so it's during that time, and. Uh, they're Catholic girls, and they go to they go to Catholic school. And uh, one of them is a is a boy. It's one of the girls' uh, cousins that moves back from. Uh, I think he was over here in the United States, and his mom mm -hmm. got divorced, and they moved back, and they're living with their with their family there. And the boy's going to the all girls school. He's the only, and everyone thinks he's a girl. It's just hilarious. That's how stupid it is. Um. So Liam, he comes out, he does a cameo in it, and and uh, he plays like a, uh, you know, he's always like a tough guy, in the, in the, that's why it's great, man. He's a tough guy in the movies and all that, and in, in this role that he's playing, um, the girls actually make him cry, it's hilarious, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to, he's trying to question them for doing break-ins in the school or whatever and stealing and uh, they were they were they they broke into the school to change their grades because they didn't want to get in trouble, and they wanted to pass, or graduate or whatever it was. And there were some actual dudes that were there that actually stole computers or what have you. But uh, yeah, so you know how they put you in the room and they they question you. So yeah. they're trying to they're trying to question all these idiots and they're giving all the wrong answers and. He finally comes in. He's trying to do the 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 questioning. They end up making him cry, man. I was dying. <laughs> that show is so stupid, man. They did they did one episode where uh, the little doggy got loose, and they were chasing the dog, and they didn't know where it went. And the dog had went into the in the church or wherever the sanctuary was at the school, and. Uh, he goes up to the upper balcony. The dog takes a piss up there, right? They don't know that. And they're looking for the dog. And they're, I guess they were arguing with each other and all this and that. Well, what happens to be right underneath where the dog takes a piss? It's either Jesus or Mary. I think it's Mary with her arms out. And the piss is running down Mary's face. And they think the statue is crying. So they think God's talking to them. It's just hilarious. It's dog piss. <laughs> Oh Lord, that show is crazy, man. But I enjoy it because it's three seasons, and then the show ends, and that's it. They're not gonna have another show. So she she created the show to to end. She said it's not 
it was just a time period, not not a forever show. I like that. Uh, like the British do that a lot too. They'll have a show, and it's like, if it takes six episodes to tell the story, we're doing six episodes, and we're stopping. Right. You know, we're not going to just keep stretching it out to make more money. Yeah, there was a a, a cowboy series there they did on um, Netflix, and it was only like six shows, and it ended, and it was great. Where he's supposed to be uh, some kind of preacher, but he was like a, a mad, um, like he would murder everybody and steal everything. Oh, remember that damn show. It's um the guy from Dumb and Dumber, not Carrie, the other guy. He plays the bad guy. Mm. And, and I didn't know that he's some kind of a. He's a he's a, a he's a trained classical actor or whatever. He's like a Broadway actor or what have you. I didn't know that. I've only known him for for comedy. Yeah, it's not Bill Pullman, is it? Uh, there's there's two actors I always get. There's Bill Pullman and there's what's the other one? I think it's actually the other guy. Je Jeff Daniels. That's him, Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels. Yeah, he was the one from Dumb and Dumber. All right, I'm gonna tell you the name of the show right now. It's uh, it's only like six parts. Uh, uh, let me see. I'm looking on the IMDB here. That movie's actually funny, that first movie. Uh, let me see. Godless, that's it. Oh. The miniseries, I think there's only six shows. Seven episodes come out in 2017. You've never seen it, man. You would like that. It seems like I remember seeing that title. It's like a Western. Yeah. I'll have to check it out. So, so he's some kind of a whatever, man. The murderous outlaw gang leader, yeah, Frank Griffin. And he's supposed to be a Bible man at the same time, but he's mad. he's mad. The dude is mad. Like he'll murder a whole damn town. He don't care. And whoever wrote that story is is, is good. Uh, it's got a good story. I was kind of upset when it was finished. I was like, that's it. But it did finish, though. I was like, damn, they did a good job, man. But I want more. But, yeah. Yeah, he's made all kind of. He's been in everything himself. I'm not seeing it on my download site. It is from 2017, though,
This is crazy. Nobody's even said hello in chat for quite a while. No, there's, there's nothing. I checked that last one. We talked about something in Raleigh. Monsu says going to jail seems pretty critical. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that. Because he said, <laughs> list seems pretty cool, and then going to jail seems cool. I don't know what yeah. we were possibly. Uh, I had looked at it when he said it, and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, I can't remember now what it was we talked about. There goes Tyler. What's that? Tally's oh. not coming in. Yeah, it's interesting. Just said nobody stopped it, and there he is. The tall man. Yep. I guess Tally's from, um, what's the name of that? Is it South Park? Or I forget what Tally's from. The character. No. Yeah, South Park. The family? What up, J family? Okay, I couldn't see the J from here. You know J fam, right? He goes around and he's usually driving yeah. or something, walking or what have you. Yeah, I've seen him around. Yeah. No, I never really watched South Park or Family Guy. Oh, South Park's funny. I don't know if you would like that humor, though. Well, I've whenever I've seen like clips and stuff, I did. I just never. When it first came on, I never started. And you ever see the movie Basketball? I think that's what it's called. Like basketball, but basketball. Yeah. I think I did. I think they I create, did. They created a sport, and, and it's like baseball and yeah. basketball and stuff all together. And, uh, Jenny McCarthy comes out in it. Well, the two main guys in the movie, those are the creators of South Park. Yeah. That's their movie. Yeah. Hey, there's Danny. Hey, Danny. She finally woke up. Well. I like movies from... I like oldies, but I like uh, stuff from all eras. Yeah. What are what are classics? Because we can go way back classics or yeah. You know, classics is anything probably what twenty years ago is considered a classic, I guess. I don't know. I mean it would be to young people today, right? Yeah, like when I think of like classic Hollywood, I think of like, you know, thirties and forties or something. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, you have just like old movies. <clears throat> the of the future. Did they tell us about the uh, the bridge? I know they got a lot of shit in the in the Simpsons. You know where the Simpsons come from, um, Muxter, right? 
I know. I first saw them as uh, like movie uh, cartoons before a movie. Yeah, no, but they started on Fox. I mean, they're still on Fox, but they yeah. they started on. Um, remember Tracy Ullman? You know Tracy Ullman. Oh show? yeah. So oh, she was they on she her would, show. She would play a little clip of The Simpsons. That that's where that started, and oh. then it became a series after that. She's a she's British British lady. Yeah. Uh, either you got her comedy or you didn't. Either you liked her or you didn't. I guess I I used to watch her show though. She did a lot of singing. So what's up, guys? You just come up in here instead of chatting in the chat chat box. Well, that's good, man. It's good. It's good. Muxta, what's it, going on, Muxta? Uh, How's everything? All right. You making chicken? Yeah, you saw my chicken, right? I'm going to try to make some um, lo mein with chicken. So I'm just, just took this chicken out. I'm going to try to make some lo mein. I'm about to cut it up a little bit and make some lo mein. And that's about it. You do a lot of cooking, huh? Yeah, well, huh, yeah, a lot of cooking. I've seen, Not I've a seen lot. you cooking before. That's why I say that a couple times. Yeah. If I'm not in the kitchen, I'm out in the streets. Yeah. You know, so I'm not, I'm not a chef or anything. I try my best, you know. Yeah, uh, you know, the health department will come after you for cooking barefoot. <laughs> you getting nice out there today? Um, It's decent. It's been a little better than a couple of other days, yeah. Yeah, it got almost to 70 here, but it's it's windy as hell, man, but it's nice out. Yeah, it's decent. Not too crazy. And maybe in another two or three weeks, it'll probably be a lot better than it is now. But for now, yeah. can't we do? Shit, I already got my grass cut. Oh, okay. Yeah. It got tall quick, man. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, over here, what? We're almost on the first. I think in another two weeks it'd be it'd be good. Another two weeks, but it's decent. It's not. I don't think it's gonna get cold again because it was crazy. It was warm, like maybe like two, a week and a half ago, and then boom, it went back to thirty. Yeah, you know. So I'm like, well, shit. I'm in Virginia, and our our last uh, freeze date could be May tenth. After that, usually, yeah. but, uh, if you're gonna plant anything in the ground, they say after that you're good. But oh. yeah. Yeah, but I think, I, think, I think we're done. We're done. I think we're done to the 30s, you know. We can get 40s and stuff like that, but 30s and I don't think we're getting any more snow. We're done. But it'll get, it'll get cold at night because it gets cold here at night, but yeah. Yeah. I hear you. I like the cold. That shit don't bother me. I love the cold. Yeah, I like the cold too. I just don't like the snow. I like the snow. I just don't like the dirty snow. Yeah, the fucking rain it, it gets dirty quick too. <laughs> yeah, the fucking cars and shit. And then, you know, the streets is dirty over here. So, right. You don't. You guys don't have nowhere to really. When they push the snow, you don't really have much room to get rid of it. You know what's crazy? In some states, they have like different machines. I know, like I think in Europe or somewhere. They the, they have like the machine that melts the snow, so it goes strictly into like the sewer system, which is way right. better. And then they have another one that I was watching. I forgot where at in Midwest somewhere that they push the snow, and then somebody picks the they push it. One pushes yeah. it to the side, and the other one picks picks it up and puts it into like a dumpster type. Yeah, you know, the, the machine that's picking it up, it'll shoot it into a machine in behind. Like yeah, a big box. Yeah, and then they just dump the whole thing somewhere. Yep, that's they pretty dump cool. The shit, dump the shit in the fucking water. Yeah. You know, instead of instead of leaving this shit on the side, and then over here, if you're parked on the wrong side of the street, that push that shit all to your side. You know, right. So then you then you ask. I remember one time this guy, he went, he shoveled his his car out, and then he left. And then, like two minutes later, they came and pushed. I'm like, this nigga's gonna be mad, upset now, because you just spent 20 minutes shoveling your stuff out, 
and then some truck just comes and pushes all that shit on top of your shit. Yeah, you know, you, you know when uh, I used to live in an apartment over there in Connecticut, I used to always dig out my spot, mine and my old lady's spot, and then um, I would I would tell my neighbors, I get pissed off because you know what, you clean that, and then they will come take your parking after, man. I'm like, yo, if y'all ain't cleaning out here, don't be taking the damn parking. Uh, I mean, I you know, get you can park anywhere you want, but I'm the one that spent all the time out here cleaning it. I, I, it's funny. It's funny how um, people be putting their lawn chairs, their chairs, and I. Right, this is my spot. I be like, yo, y'all cleaning spots. Like, all right, I'm gonna be gone ten hours or five yeah, hours. Yeah. You think you're gonna come back to the same spot? Can't nobody park there because that's yeah. your spot. Yeah. I'm laughing, man. Shit. The only way you get a spot in New York is if you pay for it. That's about it, man. I pay. I pay for a spot, and I but I park. I park also in the street because it's closer. But I right. just pay. I I just pay for it just in case. Like the other day, I had to go. I had to go do something, so I I I didn't want to take a cab all the way downtown. So I didn't want to pay. You know, so I just drove most of the park rack, and, and then I just parked it in the, where I park. And I just took a cab from there, you know, it saved me 20 bucks and shit. So I'm like, fuck it, I want to spend another 20, I can just put it in a lot and then just keep it going. Yeah, I hear you, man. That's the only thing about New York, man. There ain't a whole lot of parking, all depending where you're at, you know what I mean? Where you live. Yeah, but you could like you could park at the meters and then get your ass up in the morning, move it, which is cool. Or just move it from side to side. Depends on, you know, some people don't want to move right. side to side. But you got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't have that problem. I got a driveway, so. Uh, Thank yeah. God. Yeah. yeah. Uh, New York is, even if you have a drive over here, when you get a house in New York, get a little bit of property, you go. Yeah, a little oh, backyard. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah. In the city, yeah. You don't get much. Yeah. You don't don't you, know, you get what you, not even the city. In the city you don't get nothing. That's Jer Queens. I'm talking about like Queens and Brooklyn. You barely get a you know, you don't get a nice decent yard. You get a small little piece of yard. Right. And stuff. Then you just go to Jersey, you pay you get what you want. You know, you get a little more for your bucks. Not yeah. In New York. Yeah. You know, or you go to Yonkers and pay more taxes. Same thing out here, bro. I mean, sure. I can move. I can move towards the city, but everything. The houses are more expensive. The taxes are more expensive. Yeah, you live, we live where I live, which is nowhere. Um, it's gonna be way cheaper, man. Cheaper and more quieter. Right? Yeah, but some people like that city life. Uh, they the neighbors, the neighbor, it, it's good for, you know, whatever to visit and stuff. But I ain't living in New York City, bro. <laughs> I chill right here where I'm at, man. I don't even have to lock my doors, dude. That's how, that's how nice it is. Mm. Yeah, but you, you know what I don't like about those suburbs? When something happens, they'd be like, oh, my God, this is such a good neighborhood. Like, it could happen anywhere, man. Oh, yeah, you know? anything could happen anywhere. Yeah, you know? It could be like even like it's some you ever like you know on, on the news, the, they'd be like, oh my god, that neighbor he, you know some like I don't know the story, but the, the lady was kidnapped and then you know they had them in the house for like years. Oh my god, they were so good neighbors, you know all these other things. It can happen anywhere, anytime. Oh, yeah. You don't know you don't know who's your neighbor, who's what. Yeah, I know, you know all my neighbors though. I know everyone, bro. I've been to everyone's house. I got everyone's phone number. Um, you've been you've been in their dungeons and their basements and yeah man yeah, yeah. they've been in my in my dungeon yeah. down here yeah <laughs> thing the thing is is um they, they, most of these people are they're Over. not young mm. yeah the one the one girl is like thirty five next to me but she's just there with her kids um you ever seen that yeah you, you ever seen that damn I don't remember the name of the movie where the lady was keeping elderly people hostage for their money, for their um, social security check. Damn, it's a good movie too. It's got the name of that shit. It's a horror and, movie or it's just a suspense movie? It's a, it's a suspense movie, 
and stuff like that. They was like looking for somebody and 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 then they wind up finding the lady. Yeah, I'm gonna look, I gotta look for that name of that movie. That movie's pretty good. And it wind up the lady was taking the people's checks and stuff like that. She was, she held like four or five people hostage and shit. Right. She was just she was just taking their money and shit like that. Yeah, and that that can happen for real. You know that, right? No, no, of course, yeah. It 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 could and it does happen, <laughs> you know. It does well, happen happens between families, but yeah. <laughs> look at they it, want look at they it. want that check, bro. Look at um a couple of years ago, maybe like ten years ago, the guy he had um, I don't know if it was his uncle, his dad or whatever, he had him dead in a wheelchair and he would go to and he went to the bank to get the money out the bank. He he wheeled the guy into the van hot into the into the bank to get the money and wow. stuff and he Yeah, people is nuts, man. Real life story. This was maybe like I think yeah, I think it was a little more, more or less than less than ten years ago. I know it was a little before COVID and stuff. Nigga had the guy. It's like a what's that movie? Bernie, Bernie Weekend with Bernies. Yeah, just we like can that. have Bernies. Yeah, just just like that, walking, wheeling the fucking old man around, dead old man in a wheelchair for his damn check. He was doing that shit for damn, I think like four or five months. You shit, wow. crazy. You know, the thing with people, the thing what people would do for money, right? Yeah. Hey, Summer. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see Summer was there. Oh, she's in there. She said, I, uh, hey, I, at first. Yeah. Hot girl, Summer. Look. Now I'm just sitting in the back quiet. Is the movie Care A Lot? Is that the name of it? Carol lot. Um, I care. I care a lot. Maybe. I I I be lying about. I gotta like. I don't know. I gotta see it. It's a. I don't remember the name. I gotta it see says like, the thriller. It says. Um, let me see. And the movie's not that old. Chick. It's a blonde head yeah. chick. That's not yeah, a yeah, yeah. Story the story The movie's not that old either. It's not that. It's not an yeah. oldie movie. It's maybe like fifteen. Years old, maybe or less. It's not that old of a movie. It's a pretty good movie. Yeah. Oh, I think it's called I Care a Lot. I care. Yeah, I'll have to look it up. I'm trying to read what it says here. No, oh. uh, no, I don't think this is it. I'm over here just inventing, you know? Fuck it. I do, I do that all the time, bro. And sometimes <laughs> it works, sometimes it don't. <laughs> yeah. Let's just try, you know? Let's see. Doesn't hurt, right? What can you do? That's just perfect it. it, you know? That's it. If you don't like it, take it out. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Or you just know next time not to do that, or to add yeah. something. Well, oh, this would be uh, better if I add it, right? Yeah, yeah. Let me see. A little bit of chicken, a little bit of pasta. Mix some lemon. Try it out. Yeah, everybody's so quiet, man. Yeah, it's been quiet. Yeah. Yeah, I was just listening to you guys while I was over here just cleaning up and shit earlier. Preparing. Yeah. Mux, are you still there, Muxter? Yeah. I'm just on oh, a okay. mental break. All right. I don't know if you saw uh, Summer hollered at us. Oh, no. I totally missed her. 
It's, she, she's down there in the chat. She was there. Yeah, yeah probably, see you. probably in the cut. Yeah, I've been sitting here the whole time, but uh, sometimes the the words were just sort of washing by without me noticing them. That's all right. You guys ever um use like um I know you guys are talking about downloading stuff like back in the days. You guys ever use like Napster and stuff like that? Yeah, I've done it all, bro. Napster. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of the. the um, there was a website out there. What's the name of that town in um Mexico? Um, where everybody goes. Um, Acapulco? Cancun. Not not Cancun. No. Um, Acapulco. No, it's close to the border of Mexico. Of, Tijuana. Um, it's either like Tijuana. There was a site that was named after that town, and you could get all of their movies. You could get everything from there. What you know, torrent? No, torrent is everything. It was like but... a torrent. Yeah, it was. Um... I used to go there back in the day all the time. Um, yeah, I did. Uh, I did Napster. I did. Um, even when when I was younger, there there was uh, when they first started that Napster downloading thing. Somebody I know, they got in trouble for that. Right, so their parents oh. they they got they got like sued like ten grand. It was on like on the news and everything. Young kid. Oh wow! Uh, in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, they must have had he, mad shit, bro. He got caught. Even like even even my even when my um back then, my mom's be like, "What is this this letter I'm getting?" Because I was downloading stuff, you know. And back in the days, it was like dial up, so you had to do it while you were sleeping and stuff yeah. and then you, and then you had to resume when you come back so i would do right. it at night and then when i would do it again you know my mom was sleeping at night and shit. she'd be like what is this stuff i'm getting information about illegal downloading i'm like i don't know what the fuck that is <laughs> yeah. and shit. then i stopped uh, i was like shit. ariel was it laredo that kind of sounds familiar no it's juarez i just looked it up it was oh juarez. okay yeah I yeah heard. that was big bro that was a big site you could go there and find anything you wanted bro all the movies everything uh music yeah napster napster changed the game and then they switched everything up and yeah uh it it changed that made everything change after that but uh i don't think these kids nowadays were um Will survive if it was like back in the days, dial up and oh you know. no, they they wouldn't they wouldn't like that one bit. And and if the internet goes down today, what are they gonna do without go their phones? Crazy. Go crazy. They'll go nuts. They won't even know how to travel, bro, because they don't even know how to read a map. Yeah. If it doesn't tell them to turn right or turn left, they're not gonna know. Even even I I, I was telling them like back in the days, there was no such thing of a GPS. You had to have a big ass book. Yeah, I got one. Have, yeah. I got mine got right one. there, bro. I don't get rid of it, bro. Classic. Your old, your old Rand McNally. Yeah, yeah. I, I got the whole United States mapped out, bro. Shit, it was so old school. There was no Garmin. There was none of that crap. None of that crap existed. Yeah. You had to look up the information. You had to write it down. You had to either have someone sitting next to you reading the map, or you're driving reading the map at the same time. Oh, you got to pull over. Yeah. And the days of you buying maps in the in the gas stations, that's the, you know, I don't even think they sell maps anymore. I, I don't see them. Yeah. I, I maybe by the high, them. maybe by the high in the highways and stuff, but yeah, not, you, not you the local them, gas station. It's rare. Yeah, and I don't think they have the big, big books. They'll have like the little books, you know? They have the little fold, you know, the little fold up ones, they fold yeah. and just put it in your glove box. And it's like state by state, you know what I mean? It's not even really a- A whole book, right? Right. Yes. And you can just imagine like, if you was locked up for like 30 years and you just come out now, you'd be like, what the fuck, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, it happens. It's a different yeah. world, man. Yeah. It's a digital, digital. Structure. Everything digital. Structure. 
even from the structure, from the buildings to the people to to everything, you know. Yeah, the way people think is even different. Yeah. So different. I remember my old job. They they was um they was like yeah we had to go places or whatever so they're like yeah just map quest it and take the paper with you. I'm like what about if I get lost like you know what I mean like they're yeah. like well just just ask. I'm like nah y'all niggas need a, y'all niggas need to provide us with like a GPS system. you know GPS. I'm like you know what. I used to be calling it all the time. Yo, I'm lost. I'm lost. And they was like, you know what? Let's just get them a G. I'm like, what the hell is a GPS? Four hundred dollars? Like, y'all niggas is so cheap, you know? Y'all making yeah, millions and millions of dollars. It was expensive back then, yeah. You know? You can get one cheap now, but yeah. Now everybody uses their phone now, so you. I was gonna say it. now it's just on your phone. Do you yeah. see this? Do you see the screen? Yeah. You can still get the old road atlases. I okay. can't imagine can't imagine who buys them, but how much? 2319. Is that an up to date? Is yeah, it like says 2024. Shit. The top Jeez. one is National Geographic Adventure Edition. And the middle one is the Rand McNally. That's the one I have, Moxman. Right. And it says Canada and Mexico with it in it. Yeah, it has Canada and Mexico, I believe. Yeah. I used to get at the library the same size as like the Rand McNally, but I would get them for just Pennsylvania and it was really detailed. They'd have like dirt yeah. roads on it and stuff. Mm. The one I have is it's a giant book. It's not a little book. It's like really big, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it's thick. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I used to get those too. I forget where I bought that one at. Um, but I've had it for years though, and I've used it. I mean, it may it may even have a fold out in it too, or something extra. That's probably so outdated. You know, streets is closed, changing yeah. street names. I got and... it. It's down here somewhere. Let me see it. Let me see what date is it on it. Oh, the streets have changed. But you can still travel the highways. Yeah, yeah, highways, yeah. Uh, Danny, Danny says truckers still carry atlases. What? They don't? They do. She said oh, most okay. of them still do. Damn, yeah. that's old school. Yeah, what if something goes down and, and you don't have uh, UPS or whatever anymore? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They probably got it for like backup. You she know? says her, her insurance won't let her cross into Mexico. Oh, sure. Yeah, because they won't let her back in. They think she's Mexican. Yeah, they'll just take her truck away from her down there. Yeah. How do I know what year this is from? If I look in the back, it might say like printed or maybe in yeah. the back somewhere or it's inside. Not usually they'd say right on the front of them, like the 1992 <laughs> edition. Yeah. Or it might say it in the back. All this says is Rand, Rand McAlley Row Atlas Deluxe Edition. Mm. Uh, it's got to have like copyright page. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe in the back by like the QR code. Okay, copyright. Nineteen ninety six or ninety eight. Ninety eight. Yeah. Super outdated. Yeah, I've had this for a while. It's got everything you know in it. Though. You know how many buildings and stuff they built. <laughs> well, it's not about you finding the building. It's just you be, being able to go down any interstate and travel. Yeah, you know, change a lot of the streets. Yeah, yeah, there are. There's a ton of new roads, dude, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Stuff that has been built. Yeah. Uh, 
you know, even highway probably some of the names have changed too. Yeah, because they built new highways. They built new highways, they changed the infrastructure. I think some of them would have even like you know, you'd have the uh it'd be like two pages would be a state, you know, the two Yeah, because you you got it changed on the other part. Yeah. And I think a lot of times some of them like then the next page might be like New York City, you know, or you know, major cities would have a separate map too to be able to get around in the city. Yeah. And then they'll have I know I know I know the one from New York, they'll have like the whole thing, and then they'll have like some of the part zoomed in so you can see like more closer towards the you know the streets. Yeah. Danny Danny says she's been to Canada probably 20 times. She won't pass the Mississippi. But she'll go to Canada. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. And she just unloads down there at Mexico. She don't, I don't think she goes in into Mexico. Oh, I could see that where they'd have like a transfer type place right at the border. What's the highway that they're building that international highway through Mexico and Canada and the U.S.? What's it called? No idea. Uh, I forget what they call it. Danny would know. I forget what they call it. Anyways, um, you're, you're, they're supposed to allow all Canadians and all Mexican and American trucks. They should be able to go through with no problem. Oh, really? Thing is, you know, there's laws that are different everywhere you go. Um, you know, laws on trucks and safety, and you know, every country is different. So I don't, I don't know how the insurances work and all that. I have no idea. Trans trans uh, Atlantic trade, maybe. they need is like a tunnel to Hong Kong. They probably got one. They just don't tell you about it much. There. Yeah. I think it's called the Can-Am Highway. It says the Can-Am Highway is an international highway that connects Mexico to Canada through the United States. It travels along the U.S. Route 85 interstate 25 i-25 passing through six u.s states texas mexico new mexico uh colorado wyoming south dakota north dakota that's how her ways in the canadian province of saskatchewan i'm gonna say saskatchewan is a, a native name right that's not uh yeah that's not that's not french no it's it's a native. It means a land of little noses. Oh, for real? No, I just made that up. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> land of little noses. Where the hell that come from? <laughs> yeah. That is funny. You got me. Yeah. You know how them crazy Indians are with their names. See, if you oh, had yeah. Tommy V in here, Tommy V would drop all the knowledge. Oh no, Danny's uh, Danny, good at that. Danny. Listen, that's why we got Danny. She knows everything, bro. She's good. Yeah. Like you right know, now, bro. she's just telling you stuff from her own personal knowledge, but she does the research too. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Gotta have the battle. That's gonna be a battle then. 
Battle of the Knowledge. Yeah, I know. I know Tommy V's good, but I wouldn't trade him for Danny. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's good, man. Yeah. And uh, she don't take no and, shit either. And she's cuter, at least in my mind. Oh. Uh, We've never seen her, her, but I'll just assume. Her avatar mm -hmm. is great, right? Yeah. Let me, let me, let me, oh, you know what, Muxter? Uh, Saskatchewan is Canadian French. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. Does it mean land of little noses? Uh, big noses. Big uh, noses. Okay. <laughs> Makes more sense since it's French, I guess. Uh, let me text Tommy see if he jumps on stream. There's a Saskatoon, a city, Saskatoon, or yeah. Providence of Regina. I'm just trying to see what see. it. <clears throat> I think I mean. Saskatoon might be really close to Alaska, but I'm not sure. Uh, no, it's right above uh, North Dakota, I guess. Uh, that's what I said. Yeah, close to Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> You know, North Dakota. Yeah, I'm not going to mention the name. We all know him, and I think we all respect him. He's a very knowledgeable. But I have noticed very often he also goes, "Oh yeah, I was going to say that. Oh yeah, I noticed that when it first came. You know, there he kind of takes um, <clears throat> credit for an awful lot of knowledge that he doesn't necessarily." <laughs> But anyway. Okay. I have no idea who you're talking about. It really doesn't matter. But yeah. yeah. Well, you've probably known other people like that in your life anyhow that are, oh, oh yeah, right. yeah, I knew that. Uh, I got family members, you know. Yeah. They do that. Yeah, we all argue with my family because we all know everything, yet we know shit. Yeah, that's just, what I've always said. That, just, uh, go ahead. We're just loud mouths. That's all we are. Huh. I've always said that people who think they know everything are a constant annoyance to those of us who really do. Right. <clears throat> Let's see if Tommy V jumps up in here. I text him. Hopefully, maybe he's busy. I don't know. That's my guy. He's number one mod on YouTube, man. I know you'll see him with a wrench in. Various places. Yeah, of course, I see Danny carrying a wrench in other places too. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's cool. And, and another one is Barbara. She's got wrenches all over the place. Yeah, she goes yeah. everywhere. Yeah, Barbara's out there. KT's out there. KT, was, yeah. Or, um, who's this other guy? Brandon Mitchell, he'd be out there. Yeah. Be out there slutting around on YouTube. Fuck his dub was start up the channel. Oh, don't summon him. <laughs> dub was get the channel hype. You know, or is it a, is a little too early for dub wub action? Yeah, well, dubs is all right until you know he has a couple in them yeah. and then hmm. then he turns into some different person. He's the Incredible Hulk, man. Yeah. That's it. He is hilarious, though. Hmm. Oh, I like Dubs, and uh, he's, a, he's a buddy, but sometimes I just have to throw him backstage. Yeah. <laughs> he'll uh, he, he'll get pissed off, but he, then he comes back and says, you know, that he loves you. <laughs> yeah. I still I still F's with you. I still F's with you. 
I was like, he says, okay, uh, okay. People be going, Dobbs, give someone else. Okay, I'm going to mic up now. I'll just sit here and listen. And he'll right. spend 20, 20 minutes telling you that he's just going to sit there listening. Yeah. Or what, what did he say? Were well, you calling me out? Why are you calling yeah. me out? Yeah. <laughs> you said my name. You said my name. Nobody said your name, Dobbs. <laughs> I made a mistake of calling him a moron. I was just talking, and it's just the way I talk sometimes. When I call him a moron one day. Oh, Lord. Oh, what shit. What a moron for? Hey, mm -hmm. Let's go. I, act I actually haven't seen him. I mean, I he might have been places. Oh, I, I do think I, I think I did see him over at Kaz's or someplace yesterday. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he goes, he goes over there. Um. I was talking about um, Bristol, Tennessee, where they race um, NASCAR. I've been there myself. And it's a small, it's called the Fishbowl. It's a small stadium, right? But it seats over 100,000 people. And I told him that, and he flipped out. And I'm like, what are you talking about, Dubs? I've been there. I, I'm telling you, I've seen it. No, there's no way you did. that don't fit no over 100,000 people, blah, 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 blah. And I ended up calling him a moron. But then he looked it up. Then he came back and he was like, yo, I'm sorry, dude. You, you're right, bro. It does. Sit over. I think it's just like 115,000 people. Because I, I was telling him I'd never seen so many people in one small place, bro. I've been to football games. I've been to baseball games. But that NASCAR shit is crazy. Yeah. After he looked it up, he calmed down then. But it was funny. He says, "I, I, I, something." How's he say? He's got different sayings that he says. But I, I, I got you. Is one of them. Um, I, mm. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Yeah. I hope he's working. I know he's been getting a little bit of work here and there. He had to uh, get his uh, birth certificate and some other, I guess, Social Security when his, his shit got stolen. That's all he was waiting for. Yeah. He was he was doing work for, who did he say? He was working for somebody. He had, like, a decent job there. I didn't know how long it was going to last, though, but. I guess he can't just drive. He's I think he's only allowed to drive when he's working, if I understood right. Let's go. He's gotta he's gotta blow into the thing to drive. He can't no. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to just, you know, go anywhere. Car on. Get into somebody else's car. Well, you know they do a lot of people do is they they put their um yeah. They tell somebody yeah. put it in the in the balloon. And you just get yeah. some, the balloon and just blow into it. Oh, you just have your kid come out with you and blowing it, right? Or yeah, yeah. Does it record do. you? Or I don't know. I don't remember how it's hey, done. Hey, Jody. Jody, hey. hey, Jody. I remember somebody saying they had one of those installed in their car, and they just would always have their wife blowing it. Yeah, I but I think now they caught on to it and they do the video and all that bullshit. Depends. I think yeah. I, I guess think it records. Uh, it, yeah. I guess it depends how severe your 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 you know your case is. My son, my son had that. He cried about it the whole damn time. So. Oh but, shit. Uh, Lesson learned, right? All he had was two beers, dude. But that's all it takes. Yeah. Lesson fucking learned. Is is that a that or you go and you kill somebody and you fuck up your life, their life, everybody's life? Yeah. You know? And then you are behind the slammer crying, you know, I didn't mean it. You know. And shit. Then you fuck up everybody's life. Yeah. Uh a friend of mine had um killed the a kid. Uh, I'm gonna say she's about 16. And they crashed. She got hurt. Another good friend of mine got hurt bad. And the kid got killed. 
Um, that was shit. We was back in high school back then, man. That was crazy. Man. They hit a tree and the car wrapped around the damn tree, man. I, I don't see how all of them lived, but that one kid died. I think it was a girl. And my my other buddy, um, he he uh, went to jail for manslaughter for driving drunk, right? And, you know, he went back and did it again, bro, and ended up getting busted. Why? I don't understand, bro. You didn't learn your lesson the first time. Someone like that, they need to just lock them up, man. How many years they got for that? He only did like seven years for the person that he had killed. But then after he came back out, did he it started again? drinking again. And then he ended up um, getting busted, bro. He got in another accident, drunk. Crazy. He didn't kill nobody, thank God. But the, the second time, but yeah. They didn't learn their fucking lesson, right? Nope. And he was doing good, bro. He got his whole life together, and and he was working. And I guess it only takes that one time. Look at that shit. He got a job. Some people can't fucking work after certain shit. You know, oh, so it's yeah. hard. It's hard. It's hard to get a job if you got a record, bro. Yeah. And Danny, this this happened. This was back in the nineties. This wasn't. Yeah. Oh, shit. Early nineties. Now he went. He went to prison for a while. And he came out, and then he got. He got in that accident again. They they threw his ass back in jail. But usually they give you about all depending where what state. Usually you do about seven years for manslaughter. I guess you can do fifteen, but I don't know. In Jersey, they only give you, well, I had um my ex-girlfriend, her brother, he got hit. He did a hit, the guy did a hit and run, and they only gave him, what, three and a half years? Yeah, I mean, I've seen five years. I've seen seven years. Three and a half, I don't know about that, but they yeah. Three and a half, hit and run, the dude ran, right? He, lucky there was a, a off-duty cop, an off-duty cop went and caught the dude, you know? And if not, it would have just been, you know, nobody would have been caught. Yes, Danny, caveman sure. post there. Uh, my neighbor, um, he come out and shot this dude in front of all of us, bro. Murdered that dude, bro. He did 20 years in jail and came out. Mm -hmm. 20 years ain't a long time, bro. That, But it is, uh, I think 25 is life, right? I believe that's what they call life. So you get 20 to life, 25 to mm -hmm. life. But you know, most of the time you take these good, take the programs and they cut you down to half. You know? You do a lot of the programs. And he was he was a kid, dude. He was a young he was a young cat, man. When that happened, he he had to be maybe sixteen or seventeen, I don't know. How long he had his license? Huh? He had his license for a while? No, my, my neighbor that shot the dude. Oh, your neighbor shot some kid, a young kid. Yeah, no, I, I was just saying another example that my, my neighbor, mm. when he was mm. young, um, he, he had he had this beef with this dude who always used to pick on him. And he said, yo, I'll be right back. And he went upstairs and got a gun, bro. And blasted oh. him in front of everyone, bro. And everybody started running. He went down for that because he went and got, got the gun. Right he... outside in the courtyard, yeah. And um, yeah. um, they gave him 20 years, bro. He did 20 years. I don't know what they gave him, but I know he did 20 years. Then I know, I know another kid that um, he had a gun on him, and the, they were raiding. They were raiding the house for drugs, and I guess he was fighting with a cop, like trying not to let him get in the the door he just shot him in the arm or in the leg they gave him like they, they sentenced him for like 65 years for that bro the cop didn't what? even die bro hell yeah they don't play around you should go ahead go shoot a cop and see what happens man that was probably like a small small town right well yeah but 
That's Still. why some niggas don't play because that those niggas be their uncles and shit. And that that was uh back in the in the late eighties, bro. When you know when crack was out mm. there and all that. Oh when shit! That first, when that first come in, that was that was another that, no that shit happened. Mm. But you know what's crazy? A cop, right? You, you do anything to a cop, they give you like the maximum they could give you. But when the cop do it to other people, it's like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, it's like, it's like, they, it's like manslaughter, really. Not you didn't murder him, yeah, yeah. you're fired, be, you're fired, yeah. yeah, we're paid, you know, whatever, you know, <laughs> or, or, or. You're you're going to court yet they're you're not a cop no more, but still they're paying you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or the fucking lawyers from the union, and you know all that shit. Or they be like, all right, you're fired, and then you you go somewhere else, and you go get a, another deputy. Like you're fired from New York, but you go to Long Island. You go work in Long Island. Right. Or you know? or they'll they they resign that way they don't get fired. That way you can go work somewhere else. Yeah. Yep. They know. You know what they're doing. But if they get convicted and it's a felony, then then they're done. But that's a rare. You don't see that all the time. Nah. You barely you would never really see a cop get convicted of some crazy shit. They always find an excuse. They always fucking find an excuse. I watched, I watched um, the civil rights lawyer the other day, and he had a uh, he showed a video, and this this uh, cop went in this guy's house, didn't even knock on his door or nothing, no search warrant, just walks in the house, and uh, I guess he uh, the dude was mad because there was a, a cone out in the middle of the street by this church. And he went over there and yelled at them or banged on their door or what have you. He wanted to find out what the hell was going on with the cones. But and then he went home and the cop said that um he followed them in there because he didn't know if he had a gun or whatever. What are you talking about? Oh, and uh, smacked the phone out of the dude's hand and arrested his ass and everything, bro. It's crazy. It's a crazy video. But he got a lawsuit right there, man. Dude came in and you got a fourth amendment right, you know. Um I don't know what his probable cause was. It was uh, I was, it was for the cop safety because he thought maybe he had a gun. It's always cop but, safety. They always gonna yeah. use that excuse. Well, if you're afraid, don't be a cop. You know, you know it's dangerous. I'm not telling you to go out and get shot, but hmm. uh, if you're afraid, you know, get a job somewhere else doing something else. Basically, that comes with the fucking territory. That's all part of it. That's right. That's why when um. When a lot of people like when it comes to like driving, I always tell people like if you one of those scaredy people behind the wheel, don't even fucking go behind the wheel. Cause they, that's the number one rule of driving, man. Can't be scared. Panicking right. on that shit. Fucking cause accidents you know, like that. You know that's one of the most dangerous things we do, right? Drive our cars. Yeah. Yeah. People always say like, oh, I'm scared of flying. Bro, people die every day in car accidents. Car accidents every minute, every second. There's know? always a car accident. Yeah, you barely see, you know, airplanes and shit and stuff like that. Yeah, I was surprised when that bridge went down that more people didn't die, bro. Uh, I was telling yeah. Luxor that they, they had called the police and they told them to block the bridge. The block, the, yeah. They did the native the shit. Hit. Yeah. But that wasn't the first um that wasn't the first time that boat or that boat did um some crazy shit like that. It's been in more accidents. It's been in more accidents. It was saying that boat should have been out of commission. Well they had shit. problems with the electricity. Um we watched the video earlier and they had said that um they should have fixed their electrical problems before they went back out. Yeah. So 
Nate, they called the they called off the search. All that shit. It's crazy. Oh, they're all done. The, the yeah. Last last time I checked, they they were looking for two more dudes, two bodies. Mm. Yeah, yesterday they said they called it off. So poor people. It's crazy. Yeah, they, people have survived airplane crashes, though. It's very rare, but yeah. What do you, what do you think is the best place to sit on the airplane? Front, back, middle? Uh, don't sit in the back, only because it's horrible back. I, have you ever sat in the back? Back? Like I sat in the yeah, back with my I, brother. I sat, I sat by the toilet. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't get my ears to clear at all, man. Like our ears were popping mm -hmm. the whole damn time, bro. I don't know mm. why there's more pressure back there. I have no idea, man. Um, I usually I, like to sit where the wing is, man, and look out the window. Nah, I like to sit in the back, man, because if the plane breaks, it breaks in the middle, you know? And I don't really like the front because the front gets the most of the impact of anything, so. Yeah, I think they say the back is the safest, the tail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But you know you're the last one off the airplane, too. You know that, right? Yeah, it's okay. But then, remember, there's always an exit in the back, too. But I don't mean that. I'm just normal, normal flying, you know. You, oh, yeah, you're gonna yeah, be, yeah. You're going to be the last one off the airplane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I don't care where I sit on a plane, bro. I mean, if you're going to die, you're going to die. You know, I'm not, I'm not thinking about dying. Yeah, no time but If I'm thinking you. about dying, I'm not getting on the plane. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I got planes fly over my house every day. They can fall on my house, right? I don't have to be on the plane to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so fall right on top of you. Yeah, stop. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, you don't want to go that bad, Danny? You got to travel and see the world, girl. The world is beautiful. You can get on a boat. Is Jerry Fam stuffing his face or something? No, I think his uh, either his uh -oh. kid or his wife uh, was talking to him, so he um, he muted up. They asked him what he was making. I think he just muted up. I see the thing moving, but I don't know. It's like spaghetti uh, on the grill. Oh, he said he was making um um, it's a Chinese um. What do you say it was again? Oh, I forget. No. Low main. Low main. main. Yeah. yeah. That's the shit right there. I like chicken. Chicken. Uh, low main. That's the spaghetti, right? Yeah. Low main. Yeah, I think so. Yep, it's the one that. And of course, you know, Chinese invented spaghetti. Did they? Yep. I have no idea. Chicken ramen. Very good. I mean, they invented the noodle. Marco Polo took it back to Italy and called it spaghetti. Right. It's pretty neat how they make their noodles. The, the some of these, uh, I watched some channels on how they've been doing this forever. Making their noodles, their style, the you know the guy, the way that the guy makes it, and all that gets up real early in the morning. 
I'm making noodles for a restaurant fresh. I got a I got a an adapter for my for my um KitchenAid and I can I can make fresh noodles. I'm not gonna attempt it, but yeah. I've never had fresh noodles. I've always had boxed noodles. I'm not a big ramen guy either. It's all right. I, I do make soup slow with noodles in it. Um, it's like a thin noodle. It's not an angel, but it's thin. Egg, egg long, noodle. It's not an egg noodle. It's uh. Hey, it may be egg noodle. It may be egg noodle. You make uh, what is it? So, sopa de sasichon? Yeah, you know the noodles that like the Goya noodles. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. They're not real thick, but yeah. they're not thin either. Like they're thin, yeah. but they're not. They're not the super thin. Yeah, those ones be good. Yeah. Sopa de sasichon. That's good shit right there, man. Yeah, classic Puerto Rican dish. My my uh, sister in law's grandmother used to make it, man. She was she was good at it. Mm. That's, that's one. Um, that's a that's um from Muxter. That is um pep like pepperoni. Um, no sausage, no, salami, it? salami, salami. It's a hard mm. salami. Okay. Yeah, I, hard salami. Yeah, hard salami. Hard salami. So, um, ham sometimes and and uh, potato. Potato. Yeah. yeah. That's really good. That's one. That's another thing that I want to try. To make. Yep. It's an old school dish. Well, not old yeah. school, but. Oh yeah, it's old dish. school, man. I don't know. Been around since I was a kid, bro. I'm, I'm oh, yeah. alive. Oh, so, okay, yeah. Yeah. Typical dish. Hmm. Came out pretty good. Came out pretty good. In the shop. That's it. Nah, that was your brother. I think he was eating the um. I think he was eating the empanadas. You be making them, J fam. You make some um yeah. yeah, I just made some what's today? Today Saturday. I think that was on Wednesday or Thursday. I made them. Then they just put it in the freezer. And then they'll just take them out and fry them or whatever. We use ground beef. Yeah, ground beef, a little bit of some of them cheese, a little bit with cheese, some without. You know, it depends. Yeah, I know bit. people don't like cheese. I like to put cheese in it. I'll I'll make um like you said, I do the same. I split it up. I make some with cheese and some without. Yeah. I like the, I like the cheese in it though. Yeah. And then I, I make cheese ones too, just the cheese. Oh, the plain cheese, yeah. Yeah. The, the plain cheese one, you gotta heat them up real good because if not, they just get like rocky hard. Yeah. You know what's a good you, cheese? The Munster cheese. Munster cheese is pretty good. To, it melts good. But, but I, I use I use the I use like a sharp. I like the sharp cheddar. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I try the Munster though. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Tastes like the Chinese restaurant. Can't beat that, bro. Yeah. 
I make uh, bok choy. Bok choy, okay. Yeah, soup. Okay. Man, it's good stuff, man. Bok choy. I, used, uh, I ground up. I I uh I brown up my ground beef. I put a little bit of um soy sauce in there, a little salt and pepper. Okay. I start browning it, and then I put um, teriyaki sauce. Oh, okay. All right. Just a little bit, just so that the meat get that flavor. And I start Sweet cooking taste. it. Yeah, and then I, I use a, a chicken stock. I've used the beef stock, but for some reason, the chicken stock tastes way better when you mix I, it with the with the beef. I like the chicken stock better, too. Yeah, I used the, the Walmart has a... Um, um, the Walmart brand, it's, um, what's it called? Um, oh, good. Is it good value? Good value, right? No. Yeah. Good value. Yeah. It's the good value, but it's the, yeah. it's the good one. It's the, the, the non GMO one or whatever, whatever it's called. Mm. Anyways, I use that. Once the meat is cooked up brown. I pour I pour that chicken stock in there. I get that boiling and and I I clean I chop up the the bok choy, clean it up, chop it up, throw it in there. Um, oh, and I um, I put um, garlic in it when I when I when I add the um, when I add the chicken stock. I put garlic in it mm -hmm. and I put more more teriyaki. And once it's boiling, I put the uh, the bok choy in there for like three minutes. That's all you need, and then and you just serve yeah. it, man. Man, that should taste so damn good, man. Let's see. It's a simple, oh. simple plate to make, but good. Simple's are always the best. I remember the first time I made um, chicken stew. I was like, mm -hmm. how the hell I made it? And I was like, I didn't know how to. And then I was like, yeah, this is so easy. You know? Because you got to you gotta have sofrito, though. If it's not going to be the same, yeah. um, you want to make it Puerto Rican style. You know, that's like yeah, um, yeah. Um, if my wife makes spaghetti, it's going to be Puerto Rican. You know, if I make it, it's going to be American. But, yeah, uh, Puerto Ricans put sofrito in their spaghetti. But you know what? um. Uh, in my in my job, I see um, make it with um, what the fuck is this shit called browning? Browning is like a sauce. Like yep. me, I'm used to just tomato sauce, tomato paste. But I'm like, I don't like. I never used browning a day in my life. Like, cause they're West Indian or whatever, so they would use that shit to make it. I'm like, you, know, you guys don't use tomato sauce and tomato paste? It was like, no. I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't know, totally different. I like it, you know, that's how yeah. I like it. Yeah, I ain't never seen it done that way. Yeah, West Indians do it that way. You use chicken? You ever make it with chicken, your spaghetti? Nah, nah, that's, that's cool. I'm not Yo, gonna... chopped up chicken breast or, or even chicken wings or whatever with the spaghetti and, and some white rice. Nah, see, that's too much rice. I I don't. I never get how people do that. Potatoes and not not. I'm not saying put it in the spaghetti. You make the white rice oh. on the side. They, no, no, don't put it in. No, too much starch. No, no, I know yeah, what you're saying is. on the side. That's like when people make what they make. Oh, they'll eat lasagna with rice. I'm like, yo, that's yeah, too much starch. The the lasagna itself is a meal. You don't need anything else. You yeah. Really don't. You know, one of my classics favorites, white rice and egg, bro. Oh, yeah, you can't go wrong with that, man. A couple of uh, fried eggs. <laughs> yeah, and then throw some um, spam on the side of anything. Yeah, spam Spam goes with everything. I know everybody don't like spam, but yeah. uh, spam is big in Puerto Rico, just like it is in um, in Hawaii. That's the number one meat over there Oh yeah, Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy V puts cinnamon in his uh, spaghetti sauce. 
Oh, Tommy V in here? Yeah, he's still over there talking to Danny. Oh, okay, okay. They probably know each other. I don't know. Done. Yeah, Tommy V says, hell yeah, eggs over white rice. All day. <laughs> that's breakfast, that's lunch, and that and that's dinner. You can serve yeah. it either way. Couple of totones, you're good to go, man. Or oh, even amarillos. Yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for my for my totones to get. I like them yellow, I like the sweet ones. Yeah, I like them. I, I like them sweet. green. I like the totones itself. I like my maduros. Yeah. Yeah, my brother likes some yellow. You know how to make patelon? You make patelon? Nah, I never, I never eat that. No? Nah. Damn, son. You Puerto Rican nah. or you Dominican? Yeah, no, nah, Puerto Rican. Oh, okay. No, because we make it a little different, you know. We all, it's kind of the same, but different. I never ate them. It's simple, bro. That's Puerto Rican lasagna. That's all that is. Yeah. You get your ground mm -hmm. beef. You 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 cook it up with your you know sofrito and stuff, and then you got your eggs. You scramble the eggs. You you lay the the amarillos down. Put some ground beef. Put a little bit of egg. Uh, uh, well, you can pour it in on the top after, but. Yeah, mm -hmm. you just make layers, man. Then you bake it. Don't yeah, put man. cheese on it. Cheese don't go on that, bro. I know people do, but cheese doesn't go on that shit, bro. No? No. Mm. You can, but, but you shouldn't. Mm. think I'm done. You're right. You, you replace it with the sweet plantains, but you got to use the eggs to hold it all together, though, Tommy. The scrambled for the, eggs. For the bond. You know what? I, one of my favorite corned beef. I don't like corned beef. Corned beef hash? What? No, no, regular corned beef. No, no, corned corn beef. beef is good, yeah. Not yeah, corned beef corn hash. Beef. Oh. No, no, I don't, I don't do corned beef hash. I, I do the corned beef with the maduros in it. Some people put potatoes, but I like the maduros. Yeah. And I like my doodles Maduro, uh, when they like not completely black, but mostly, you know, they turn in black. And they're so well, they're sweet. real soft then. They're real yeah. soft. Yeah. So and that's how, that's that's when you make the patelon. You got to let them turn black like that. Yeah. Where they get real soft. And then and then you can make your patelon. Yeah. Man, that should be slap, man. Or you have some maduros with some eggs. Oof. Yeah, it's good. Monster, like what these niggas are talking about? Yeah, hmm. you got your uh, canoas and your piononos, you know. Hmm. Oh, shit. That's your, just with the ground beef, and they make the little canoe and they fill it up with the ground beef, the the amarillos. Yeah. Can't wait. I'm going. I'm going. Um. To PR at the end of this week, this month, I mean. I'm Where going are you going? To, I'm going to San Juan, but I'm gonna be going all over. I'm gonna try to hit Ponce up and shit. I'm gonna go to uh, Okay, yeah. You did say you was going to San Juan last time, I think you said that. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna try to hit the, um, I'm gonna try to go to the caves. I haven't been to the caves of Kamui for, I haven't been there yeah. in like 20 years. You got people out there? Uh, yeah, I got my family, but I'm just me and my girls going. So we're really going for like oh, what, five, yeah. We're really going for five days, so I'm just we're gonna just go see other things that we haven't seen with no kids this time. So yeah, we just go chill. I think I went to the caves last time I went there. Oh yeah, yeah. Probably went I've to been, the I've been, I've been to the caves like two or three times. Um, when I went, it was when I went out. I went twenty twenty oh two. That was my first time I went to PR. 
2002. So that was what, 22, 22 years ago? Sure. Mm -hmm. That was my first time ever on a plane at that. And that plane, that shit jumped. I was like, damn, I thought I was dead on my first flight ever. I was like, fuck. Grits are good, daddy. I love grits. Yeah, if you ain't never been on a plane, it's a different, it's kind of like a roller coaster, you know, the yeah. take off the feeling, and you get that little feeling in your stomach. Yeah. I was like, shit. But once the plane is in the air, it's like normal, you know what I mean? You don't really feel it. Yeah, but once that shit does like one of those drops, I was like, Oh, yeah. Shit. That's that's different though yeah i've been on good flights and i've been on bad flights so oh yeah i've been yeah. turbulence yeah yeah that shit when it hits those air pockets that shit fucks you up though you know yeah i don't oh. i don't do much walking around in airplanes and stuff i don't know i don't i go to the bathroom before i get on the airplane anyways hmm. ain't too much room in the bathroom nah, that shit's so small compact and yeah, I hate that shit. There'd be a line to the bathroom. I just wait, sit down, and you know, don't. I don't want people to stand there. Like, yo, the, the aisles is not that big, you know. Unless you're going like overseas and you got a big ass plane, but you know, you're just going from here to there. Those planes are small, one aisle. Yeah, oatmeal can be porridge. Anything like that is porridge. Nah, farina's my shit. Oh, farina's the best, yeah. That's, mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? The uh, cream of wheat. Yeah. Cream of wheat. Which one you like, the red box or the white box? I thought it was blue, the box, the blue or, or I guess the red box, is it the, the red box the minute or? I haven't, I haven't eaten it in a minute, man. I, I, I can eat it, but uh, it makes my sugar go up, so I don't really eat it. You got this one? Or then you got this one. You see? Oh. You got that one and then you got this one. This one I like. Yeah, it's this the one's red one. Yeah. Is that, yeah, I, I, I get the red one. This one yeah. this one was with the Uncle Ben, but they took him out. Right. They took the him out of here. But look, they leave him here. Yeah. That's racist, right? Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The damage racist, but you know, that's to me crazy. it's not racist. You know, it's just a guy on a box, bro. That's all I, I, that's all I know. Yeah. But my thing is, you take one out, take them both out. Don't put no Ooh, face. Are those like box. little individual packages on those? No. No, no. It's um. I've never seen that double package like that together. No, no, no. It's not double. It's just one and one. It's one and one. It, oh. It's just. It just one when I just put them in there because I got you know, you. when you open when you open it or the the grains or whatever you know it falls down. So instead of me making a mess in the cabinet, it goes yeah. into the ziplock. Sure. I thought I thought they came wrapped together or something, man. Nah, nah. Old people nah. eat cream cream of wheat. Yeah, cream of wheat's the best. I like yeah. oatmeal too, though. I like oatmeal anything, oatmeal cookies, anything with oatmeal in it. I like. Mm. I like the flakes of the oatmeal, the texture of it when it's a little hard. I grind, I grind my oatmeal when I make oatmeal. I grind it up. Yeah, yeah. That's what my wife does too. Cause you cook it faster too. And it's not that lumpy for me when you grind yeah. it. But you want whole oats. You don't want. You don't want the processed when they're really processed you know you want the more whole oat it's better for you yeah oatmeal cookies yeah love the oatmeal cookies they're good
No porridge for Danny, huh? Mm. It says, uh, porridge is a food by heating or boiling ground. Crushed or chopped starchy plant, typically grain, in milk or water. Cooked and served added uh, flavoring such as sugar, honey, fruit, or syrup to make a sweet cereal. Mixed with spices, uh, meats, or other vegetables, blah, 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 blah. Only thing I know from porridge is from the old, the old timey movies where you know, eat your porridge. <laughs> I always figured it'd be something like oatmeal. I think that's kind of the picture I had of it, too. Yeah. Some people don't like the texture. That's what it is. They don't they don't like the texture of it in, in their mouths. Mm, probably. I don't know what the archaeologists know. If you can't cook something or digest it well, then you grind it down. And I guess that helps you prepare it better or faster. Because I know if you chop it up, you can cook it a whole lot faster. The whole oats. or steel oats or whatever they're called, rolled oats. What'd you kick him out for? I didn't kick him out, he put himself <laughs> out. I don't have those powers. Yeah. I think they were talking to him and he probably went to do something, probably booted himself out. Yeah. It cooks easier in less time. I think you could digest it easier too. I know people uh, drink that oat milk. I don't really like it. I just got some almond milk to try it. Almond milk's okay. It tastes okay. I like the coconut milk. That's the one I buy. The organic coconut. I'm not really a milk drinker, so... Um, I use... Uh, cream in my in my coffee that's about it you know half and a half but like to drink a cup of uh, milk or anything or I don't really eat cereals I don't know what I guess you could add milk to mashed potatoes to make a homemade mashed potato you always put some milk in our mashed potatoes. 
Yeah, I think it's just uh, some butter and milk, right? A little yeah. bit of salt. It's pretty simple to make. You know what? I hate looking at the chat on the computer because that stupid heart blocks the thing, and I don't know. Oh, yeah, I always hate that thing. You know, uh, if, I don't know if y'all know anything about maize. Maize is corn, right? Okay. You know what corn is, right? Yeah. So if you read the Bible, it mentions corn and that they were gathering corn. You know where corn comes from? The uh, Chinese version. I have no idea. Yeah, the corn does not come from um, over there, from Israel or anywhere over there. Corn comes from over here, the Americas. So what are they talking about? So if you get you could get any of these theologians and they'll explain it to you. Uh, that's just a word that they use or whatever, but it's kind of like uh wine when they talk about wine. When when Jesus turned the, the thing into wine, the water into wine, yeah. that it's not it's not real alcohol wine. Oh no, it was fake alcohol wine. No, wine is wine. No, it was they, they were drinking grape juice. Okay. All right, if that's what you want to believe, but whatever. You can't have it. Mm. You can't have it both ways. Okay. Danny wrote North America. So there's videos. You can look up videos that talks about the corn and stuff. So there's uh, churches in Europe that are, I forget what year they're built. What do you think is on their... On their you know how they build, they put um, gargoyles and all this shit on there? There's corn on these churches. So if man hasn't traveled, you know, in an earlier time, or where, where did they, how did they sculpt that and put that on there? Where did the corn come from? How did they know about this corn? If, you know, Columbus is supposed to be the one that made it over here or what have you. That's the thing about history, man. We don't know who traveled back then because we wasn't back there back then. All kinds of people have traveled. But the corn came from over here. That's where it's from. There's a there's a channel called the um, what is his name? He's he does all this stuff. He talks about that. It's pretty interesting curimeo curimeo what's the guy's name he did a whole series on the corn and he's reading from old books and stuff what people have found and what people know Cody Mail Ahu Ahu A H A U. But it is known as Maiz, which is the Spanish word for corn. That is a grain, and people have been living off of that for ever. If they've been eating uh, oatmeal for thirty thousand years, they've been eating corn for thirty thousand years.
Yeah, I know the ancient Vikings were here. Yeah, other people have been here too. Where did the Olmecs come from? Who are they? Why are they such a, uh, why do they look the way they look and yet they look Asian and they look African? I have no idea. You've seen the Olmec heads, um, Muxter. I'm from Mexico and South America. You there, Muxler? Nope. <laughs> there's a there's a Chris in the chat. I don't know. Uh, Are they trying? Yeah, to he's, he's he's showing face. He's showing face. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I heard something. I heard a little beep or something. Hello, yep. <laughs> Okay, what a loser. We also have a uh, Ahmad Kanabawi back there. Let's see. Can you just, add me to this? Just, thing? Oh, wait, no, Ahmad didn't just leave someone. Just but Ahmad has two back here, so that kind of disturbs me. Mm. So did Chris leave and... No, he's added? back. I'm not, he's, oh, okay. I kicked Chris backstage because I don't know what the hell he was doing with that loud. From the not hot world. world. Scared uh, corn. Oh, cool. Okay, well, uh, Chris, uh, I noticed Chris just you. I was about to, uh, I was looking to bring out a screen, but uh, Chris said something backstage that uh, we don't allow here anyhow. So goodbye, Chris. <laughs> what the Nigeria? Ah. Ahmad's coming up with two different. That might just be a glitchy thing. Yes, yes, he's saying the M word. We don't say that word over here. Not on this channel. What is it I'm looking for here? Thank God. No idea. Me an Ismau Wau in the Islam, a Yalu, Wala, Yula, Maka, and Ahlu, Yoman, Hawarin, Walakad Alamana, Rabuna, and Nalku, what a little. Okay. What Ahmad was, was a recording of uh, somebody oh. preaching in Muslim. Yeah, or prayer. Or Muslim, I mean, yeah. yeah. So yeah. they were both banned. I don't know what they're saying, so. I'm trying to read what Danny's writing over here. Extinct species, huh? Yeah, I actually fell asleep there for a couple of minutes. Well, Ty K said, can you add me? But they never came over here.
Okay, so now that now I understand the Ahmad thing. What is That's it? why he was showing two down there. And actually the one was him and the other was a video to bring up. Oh, can you watch the video I present? Uh, no, Ahmad just came back again. Now that's odd. Yeah. Stop kicking me, sir. No one's kicked you. You got kicked out. I kicked. We don't know what you're bringing over here. Yep, there he is again with uh, two of them. What the heck? Uh, let's see. Um, trying to read Danny and read this guy over here, too. Sorry, Danny. Oh, okay. Okay, what's Danny saying? Uh, talking about corn, the maize, maize. How they think, you know, it got spread and because it is a, a, of the Americas. It's what people don't understand. I guess you can see the chat in the back, right? The back chat? Yeah, right now I was looking for some reason. My uh, YouTube stream is all messed up. Did you update it? Did it hit the. Uh, are you looking at your YouTube page or your stream itself? No, yeah, no, at the YouTube. It was like the. Uh, Chat was way <laughs> off. Who's the Sheik now? Sheik Al. I wonder. I kind of wonder if he's. Uh... Where are you finding these people, Muxter? <laughs> Got to wonder if he's related to this on water, whatever it is that was trying to come in. He just so, he just tried so to sneak in as Danny a, a second yeah. ago, like back door. Yep, the way in. Yeah, it is from Mexico. Mexicans love their corn. Let me tell you. Oh, she's just in the chats, comments, chats. I thought she could see what was going on. She just looked at what no. was on the screen there. That's right. I forget. Oh, that's yours. Watch. No, we don't want to watch. We don't know what the hell you're putting over here. Uh, who said anything? But who said watch? Oh, our friend um, Ahmad Kanabawi. Mm -hmm. Can you watch, sir?
Go put it on your channel on YouTube, and then we'll watch it from over there. Yeah, that could have been our buddy's cousin, for all I know. Here, I'll show you what, uh, what the, that's what Ahmad looked like backstage. Well, hold on. Yeah. That's... See, he was coming up, it came up with two different things. So the one, was sort of like him and the other was the video he was dragging along with him. Yeah, you got to, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. But... That's looks, what he was doing. Looks way too sus. Way too much suspect. Yep. Yeah, it's not. Uh, yeah, Danny knows. It's who not like doing. it's not like porn bombing, but it's just annoying. Yeah. Yeah, it's like he he had the volume turned up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know what they're saying. I have no idea what. I don't. I don't. I don't know what the hell they're saying. Hmm. It could be saying anything. You know. It ain't American. Mm -hmm. I don't understand it. <laughs> it's hard enough to speak English. Yeah, oh, we got two people over here. Let me go on this channel and uh, put this garbage on here. I was, was going to say, you can tell there's not much going on if... Uh... They found Just you. Trying to screw you with us. There. Yeah, You're like damn, somebody's live. Let me see if I can get two supporters. You got one that doesn't care and one that really doesn't care. So. Mm. 
Yeah, we don't want to hear it either. Some folks need to figure out what their problem is over there. We got enough problems over here. Oh, I see Northwoods has gone live now. Uh, you know what? Today is Saturday. I think, um, what's his name? Um, Four Corners. He'll he'll call. He'll be calling from prison. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So they'll they'll have him on live on the channel later on. Uh, uh, he calls about eight o'clock, so maybe he's going to call early today. I was in uh, chat last time, and they put four corners on full screen, and then they said, "Yeah, and yeah, you know, nothing against him. I kind of like Northwood, but I don't think he's very smart." But. Uh, he said, okay, we're going to go left left to right. And everybody say hello to Four Corners. Well, nobody knew oh. what left to right was anymore because he filled the screen. Yeah. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, he likes to drink. Um, what is it that he drinks? Is it Crown Royal? He drinks something. Oh, yeah, I think it is. Yep, I can remember somebody with the Crown Royal. Yeah. He usually shows the bottle when he's drinking it, too. Yeah. You know, something I have never understood, well, I mean, in adults, is people, I can see one thing when, like, sometimes someone will go, they'll say something like, you know, someone will be talking, they'll go, dude, I just, I can't follow you, I'm too high, or something like that. And I can see people that, but when people come in and they'll be like, oh, I'm really fucked up, man. It's like, who cares? I don't right. need to know that. You know, it's like, it's just, it, to me, it's like, you know, high school. Guys go, yeah, I really drank a lot. Of, man, I, I was really smoking. It's like, so what? Why do you have to announce it? Right. I guess, I guess it just sort of, it gets me because I feel like it does sound like su such a high school thing. And the high school thing is I'm really fucked up. So, you know, I'm cool. You know what I mean? Right. Hey, look at me. Yeah, well, since we don't drink, we're getting high, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Just ain't cool. But yeah, I, uh, once, once I got out of my teen years and stuff, I never felt the need to do stuff like that. I mean, to announce it, I drank. I I always uh, hung out with my brother and his friends. My brother's older than me, so um, 
most of my years in high school, I wasn't really hanging with my friends. I was hanging with my brother and his buddies. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't getting high or anything, but. Um, I did smoke when I was probably in the ninth grade. We always drank beer and stuff, but yeah. We can just say, can just say this is like the weirdest thing ever. There's a woman in America watching Turkish soaps dubbed in Spanish. Yeah, my wife. That's what she does. Yeah, I know that's what I'm reading. It's like <laughs> it just like sounds so you know what I mean? Well, cause she she um listens to um Turkish um Danny listens to Turkish like modern hip hop. Oh. Uh, she was talking about listening to stuff over there and the sounds of the drums and it kind of reminds her of the of the uh the Indian drum beats or what have you. Uh, if I remember right, power music, yeah. Um, and I just thought, you know, you know what? My wife, she she watches shit over there all the time. I, she swears she yeah. understands them, but I don't know. I I think she does. But yeah, they they have a lot of soap, but they put them on on YouTube. They just dubbed over, but in Spanish. They actually play them in Puerto Rico all the time. Oh, uh. yeah. She likes them because they're um, they're not as nasty. Like these soap operas now are, they've gotten like real nasty and more like got to do with cartels and killing people. These other soap operas, they're more like love stories. They're not they're not as bad. So my wife yeah. likes those better. She just says they got a better story. I remember. Hey, hey, track. What up, track? I'm, I know I've watched like a lot of uh, YouTubes of like um, the voice auditions from around the world. Yeah. One of the things I like is, you know, you'll watch, it'll be like Spain, France, um, Italy, uh, Malaysia, wherever, and they're all singing songs in english yeah you know? yeah one of my favorites was an audition it was in holland there's the voice holland where i believe the voice started so it's in holland the girl was a syrian refugee who immigrated to holland like two years before and didn't speak a word of Dutch when she immigrated. So there she is. She's Syrian in Holland and singing this song in English. And I, it's just the whole thing. And I just, I thought, it's just such like a strange thing to see. I think it's the American music is just popular there. And that's why they do that. Because a lot yeah. of those people, they, they don't speak the, the language. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Because the one, you know, some of them, like the YouTubes, they'll just show the performance, but some of them will have the, uh, like, judges yeah. talking afterwards. And yeah, it is funny when they'll sing in, like, perfect English and then they're talking in a different language. And, right. Yeah. So I watched the guy. He went to, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the show. Simon's usually on that show. Um, Simon does uh, X Got Factor? Talent. Oh, yeah. Oh, the guy Simon the does X Factor. Oh, yeah. The British the, the British show. The one they do over there. Right. Yeah, they do an X Factor there. Okay. So then it's got to be like the X Factor. Anyway, I think he was a, a Hindu guy. Man, this dude could sing. He was, And he was singing all in English, like you said, uh, very little slight um, piece of his accent was you can you can tell it wasn't quite it's very good English, but it wasn't quite on. But yeah, but uh, when he went to go talk, no, they had to get an interpreter. That dude didn't he didn't speak no English. 
Chuck, Chuck mentioned Filipino. The Philippines, they're real big on yeah music. He's not. Yeah, they 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 love music over there. There's a there's a young kid over there that plays the guitar. He'll come on and sing to the girls. He's really good. There you go. I I probably watched this already. That's uh, one Danny said she likes. Is this a hip hop song? I, I watch a lot of these here. How did Danny I don't know, but the girls are stuff? the girls are cute. Now is she Asian or is she? Uh... Well, oh, I, I Man, she's the American window. American, I meant right? I meant to just stop the stream and I closed the window. Um, oh, you? Oh, okay. It was, it was loud, and you know it's a lot easier just to turn yeah. it off than to turn it down. <laughs> Let me see what the. So the jury singer is is good. Sorry, go ahead. Well, it's, it says, Who met Ozcan X Atikian Alte? <laughs> it's the name of them. So I have a I have a channel there. I don't know who it is, but they do like hip hop and stuff. It's that they're mm. they're an American Indian group, and they're they're actually good. Do you uh, ever I'm not see? Say I know everything, but yeah. Do you ever see the TV show? Um, it's called, I think it was called Warrior. It was about uh, yeah, a Chinese right. immigrant. I'm sorry, just, I, I didn't know what you said. Oh, I had said you, you, the track was muted. I thought I seen oh, the okay. thing was muted. I didn't know if he was um, talking. But uh, there was a Chinese immigrant, and it was like back in like the 1800s, and he's like, but anyway, their theme song was like Chinese hip hop, and it sounded really cool. Anyway, oh, yeah. high track. <laughs> what's up? What's up, guys? How's it going? What's going on, man? Doing good. I, I popped on and I saw uh, you guys were talking about um, people singing like in English when they don't really speak English. Yeah, but we're not talking about that anymore. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, we we changed no, the just, conversation. I'm just, I'm just messing yeah. with you. <laughs> no, because so I was gonna say uh, when I was in when I was in Korea, um, all the they had this thing they called it the Ville, and it was off limits to. Um, uh basically non-korean or or non uh u.s personnel during the day and then after curfew it would open up to everybody else but it's just endless nightclubs you know the size of my garage and they would each have their own band and it was just chock full of um filipino girls that you know they would rock out in just about every type of music sing it to the t pour their hearts out but then like you talk to them and it go it's like straight broken english you can barely understand what they're saying yeah but that's my experience with it oh the only, the only thing you could understand when they were talking to you was me love you a long time yeah <laughs> I mean, drink, Tracky, I talk to you. Tracky, no five dollar. You gay, Tracky. You gay. <laughs> you, you, you sound like uh, like a gay. <laughs> you sound like a gay. <laughs> uh, it's it's funny because the 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 um the Koreans love they love singing they love music and um you know with the K-pop and all that uh yeah. It's it's a different culture over there, dude. It's, it's like, well, it's like Japan with the, um, you know, a Japanese dude invented the karaoke. Oh, and I now didn't it's know like, that. and now it's like a, um, 
it's almost like a national pastime, you know. Yeah. So is karaoke a Japanese word then? Is that what that is? Yeah, it means land of little noses. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like sounds about right. And you know something uh they were talking about it on my radio show the other day, talking about like he invented it and um he never like li like protected it as far as like a license. And oh. um but they say like uh because I think they were talking about like he had just passed away recently. Um, and so that's why they were talking about it, but they said like, he never protected it, but he wasn't mad that it spread and he didn't get a bunch of the money. He said, because he got plenty of money off of what he did, but it was like, he just felt good to have created something that brought so much joy to people and gave, you know, brought those connections. Yeah. Cool. Right. Did you ever see that movie duets? Paul Giamatti. Duet. It's all about no. karaoke uh, competitions, and I, it's a cool. I like it. It's a cool movie. I've done my fair share of karaoke, and um, I always wake up the next morning wishing it had never been invented. <laughs> <laughs> well, coming from you, maybe yeah. <laughs> at the, at the time, though, you thought you were great, oh, yeah. right? I was. I was Garth Brooks to the T. <laughs> he, and, and until nobody clapped and then it was like oh shit what did i just do i hope nobody was recording <laughs> you had a whole box full of candy here guys let's see Be careful it's it's my... let's see if i can show it to you check it for oh, razor blades i got a chance no hold on i gotta turn my camera around that's you're looking at the wrong thing there <laughs> Y'all didn't, didn't see that bottle. Y'all didn't see that bottle there. I never saw it. That was uh, Canadian maple syrup, right? Yeah. It's peanut butter syrup. That's what it is. Ah, I gotcha. I still haven't tried that type of stuff, the peanut butter. Oh, but okay, I, no. I hear it. I hear it. It tastes best. so good. It tastes so damn good. Now Danny's just teasing us. She says she loves karaoke, but she won't come up here and talk to us. Right. <laughs> you know, you could come up and just sing. Unless you sound like a doll. Way down <laughs> yonder on the Chattahoochee. As never long, knew how much the money for as, man to. As long as she don't sound like uh, that thing that came on earlier. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Uh, so my wife made that. For you? Uh, yeah, well, for the kids. And then it has a little bunny tail on the back, and it's full of candy on the inside. But for the neighbors and the other kids oh, cool. in the neighborhood or whatever. Oh, that's neat. I love that she includes the neighbors. Oh, she always does. She always makes them Halloween, um, Christmas, uh, Valentine's, whatever. Any holiday she'll make little little candy boxes for them passes them out hey track you realize ariel's the only one here that doesn't belong to a team i think we're gonna have to beat them up oh, oh i geez. can put a team behind my name <laughs> well i mean we got two different teams on the team list so it's like <laughs> yeah let we're me all see pointing um, fingers in directions Let me see. Uh, Could be uh, Team Henpecked. Huh? All right, I got a good one for you. Just let it come. Hold on. Do you notice there's some panels now where you can put that little like subheading under your name? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Because uh, I, we I just really yesterday on uh bear's channel um we were putting our um our uh xbox <laughs> uh, gamer tags under there. uh yeah short nose yeah i didn't it's, put team but i just, just it was like an inside joke from a couple hours ago 
Yeah, okay. he he got me real good. He made me fall for for one there. He he was saying, uh, he was, Saskatchewan. I said the word Saskatchewan. Yes, yeah. <laughs> he says it means uh, the land of the li little noses or whatever short nose. I was like, really? He's like, no, I just made that up. <laughs> Yeah, it can be quite of uh, deceiving when somebody sounds smart, doesn't it? They'll tell you anything. I always said that hey, that's, that's the thing with the internet. You know, I used to when I I used to when I was younger, I was fantas I would fantasize about having a huge library because I always wondered when something would come to mind, I wanted to be able to look it up, you know, and. Then the internet came along, and now you got it. You know, you carry around this huge library in your pocket. But the only bad part about that is I also used to win an awful lot of arguments by saying things like, well, you know, Time Magazine had a study where 74% of all Americans agree. You know what I mean? And everybody yeah. go, oh, really? I didn't realize that. Well, now people can look it up and go, eh, it didn't say anything like that. Yeah, and I, I learned by uh, taking statistics that um, studies can be so fine-tuned rather than f uh, finding out uh, an outcome by studying the data. You just ask a different question of the yeah. data, and you can fine-tune it to say whatever you want, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, polls are all about how you ask the question. Yeah, and, and also your... Um, what is it i forget what the word is but like the field so like you take a poll and you you ask one person the question and the answer is yes and then it's yeah. like 100 people in this poll yeah. said yes oh, yeah yeah but they don't tell you how many people were in the fucking poll yeah i asked my yeah, mom and she true. said yes. <laughs> or like josephine my my uncle said this happened in world war ii and it's like oh yeah, yeah. that's a fact that's yeah. a fucking fact right there. I'm going to go rewrite the fucking history book in high school, you know? 100% <laughs> of, of uncles polled agreed. Well, I, I would never fuck with my, uh, my nieces and nephews, would I? No, never. <laughs> God damn, my uncles used to beat the shit out of me and tell me not to tell my mom. I'm like, what kind of shit is this? Oh yeah, I, I I feel that's an uncle's job. I always feel like that's what's great. You know, you need extended families because everybody has a role in it. Like I never had grandparents, so I missed out on you know like the grandmother who's always making cookies and the grandfather who's always slipping you five bucks because I think that's like their jobs. And you know, you know what the parents' jobs are, but then you got like uncles. You know, like I feel uncles, their job is to tease and steal noses and teach kids little things that their mother doesn't want them to know. You know, and the aunt is the one who like takes them shopping and stuff like that. Everybody's got, you know, so yeah, I think an yeah. uncle is very important because otherwise who's going to teach the kid dirty words yeah. you know, or, or, or tell them to, things uh... like, like I told my uh, four year old nephew the one time that uh, kissing girls can give you girl germs. <laughs> yeah I was um I was I was 11 when my nephew was born and um so let's see I guess by the time I was 18 um he was like seven and um whenever I would go to the beach you know I'd I'd ask everybody in the house like hey, anybody want to go to the beach like I'm about to go because I used to go every day um and my brother and sister like they were always into something else you know they were like trying too hard i guess to to do shit rather than just go to the beach where it's awesome and it's free and um but when i would go around and ask my sister would be like well you know i kind of want to do this will you take you know the boy and i was like uh hell yeah just let me get the car seat out of your car put it in my car and me and him would go hang out at the fucking beach for like six hours. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't really 
feel at that time like I was the one to teach him how to swim, but I was the one like taking him into the water and taking him on walks and we'd go eat at the pizza place and were you the one using him to pick up girls? <laughs> I I have had that um asked of me before is like you look young to be a dad of you know a child that age and i'm like well you sound like pretty dumb to even think that in the first place almost like i'm 18 with a seven-year-old yeah that's about right i i I had a beard when i was 18 too (laughs) so see now now but i was a strong too see my my thing would be if someone said that to me, I'd say, oh, I just found him down the beach there. And <laughs> Funny part is the, 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 the kid had a beard also that matched the seven-year-old matched <laughs> the 18-year-old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even um, I want to say, I want to say he was like 14 or 15. One day, uh, we went down to the beach, and um, I, <laughs> me and my buddy were drinking, even though it was um, it, it it was outlawed on Wrightsville Beach. Um, but you know, there's ways around it. You just put it in a inconspicuous oh, yeah. cup. Yeah. And then, um, so you know, we're just sitting there chilling out, drinking some beers, and my nephew was out there swimming him, swimming, and we're watching him. And he comes up and uh, just kind of, you know, kind of shrugged his shoulders. And he was like, can I have one? <laughs> I looked at my friend and I was like, look back at him. I was like, hell yeah. So we poured him a cup. I think he drank like half of it and he was chilling. And then he got up and goes, yeah, I'm going to go swim again. And he goes out there and it, it was it was bad, like windy, choppy. So it wasn't like clean waves or anything like that. And, uh, but it, out of the chop came like this probably four or five foot wave. And it just rose real quick and just crashed right down onto him. And he comes running back out of the water. And he goes, that wave almost drowned me. And I think I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was like, well, you can finish it if you want to, but, uh, don't do anything that's going to get me in trouble, you know? <laughs> when, I, when I was in college, the one play I was in, I think it must have been Oklahoma because it was a big cast. And I had a uh, cast party in my dorm. And uh, the one guy that was in it, I knew he was like high school, but I thought he was like 17, 18 which of course was still illegal, but he was drinking and got pretty drunk. And when I say pretty drunk, I mean, he was really drunk. And then uh, when he was going, me and another guy walked him over to like, to the parking lot to meet his parents who were picking him up. That's how I found out he was 14. I was like, oh my God. I thought for sure I was going to end up in jail or something. I had like, I, and I mean, he was, he was, but I apologized to his parents and his mother was like, no, it's okay. It's okay. You know, but I, hey, hey, it's like, yeah. tell, tell Muckster about last night. Oh my God. Um, over on bears panel. Yeah. With, um, J Jason, is that his name? Uh, Jason Gaudet. You know him, uh, so you've seen him. Yeah, he's okay. been over on the, the other channels. Uh, he's a Canadian. Um, he sits he's in like a like green, green lit studio. room. Looks like a studio in the back with oh. a keyboard or a guitars or what have you. Okay, I'm, he's I faintly remember him. Yeah, a bit of a mustache, and he's always drinking beer. Well, uh, last night. You know, he, he was drinking beer, but then uh, he held up the uh, Crown Royal and he was swigging that. And honestly, uh, the last time I saw him swig the bottle, he probably had had about a third of it. Which for a drinker, that to me, it doesn't seem like that much. 
but um it was almost like a switch flipped like he was doing his drunk thing and uh you know like countering everything everybody else said but like in a joking way but yeah, then the the switch, the switch flipped and he did one of these yeah man. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> bro his wife had has to be like the sweetest woman in the world she come in she cut him off a stream she would start pulling out the chair tell him what happened before before the wife came what did we do? What did Mellows do? <laughs> oh the fuck! That, it, that probably helped because when he started to fade, Mellows yeah. was playing uh, the old school lullaby, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> like with the like the the almost like bell sounds or something like it was. You'd know it if you heard it, but it was yeah. it was straight up lullaby music, and we put this mug to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> It was hilarious. No, but his wife straight up came and was like, I don't know if she was watching or if she just knows her man. Uh, but I saw him again today and uh, I told him, I was like, oh, thank God, Jason, you're alive. And uh, he was like, oh, <laughs> you must have been there last night. And um, but then yeah, his, the, last, the last interaction that uh, he, he said about it was um <laughs> It wasn't my first time, nor will it be my last. And I'm like, hey, stay dedicated, brother. <laughs> yeah, I just went over to Bears to check and see if he had a short, but he he, he said he was gonna make. He hasn't made it yet. He's on li- he's on live over there. Um, yeah. But I looked. Um, it's hilarious stuff, Muxer. If you get a chance, it was. Uh, it's called. Um, Friday night open panel uh, from yesterday, from the 29th. It's, uh, I'll tell you where it's at. You don't have to watch the whole damn thing. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't too much of a uh, participant um, there last night. Like, I was there kind of active for a bit, but um, uh, a bunch of women and children invaded my safe space, opened up the garage door. My wife oh my took God. my uh, my wife took the plug for my uh, for my phone, and you know, Streamyards burns your shit down quick. And then, uh, and then a buddy of mine came over, and we just kind of bullshitted about our jobs for a bit. You can go back about three hours and twenty minutes, <laughs> three hours and twenty minutes into the live, and then. <laughs> He's already bopping his damn. I'm looking at him right now. He's bopping his head all over the place, man. And I kept watching. I was like, Jason, you I said, you okay? I said, does this guy need a pillow or what, man? But yeah. Hey, but um, I think it was somebody else that was on that stream even said, you know, because I imagine I imagine a lot of people are were, you know, off for the better part of the weekend. Yeah. Um, that he was on somebody else's panel. And that he went through like 18 beers. So if he went through 18 beers in the day and then he was still drinking when we saw him and then he turned on the liquor bottle. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's the, the, the thing was is that he was restreaming the stream on his channel and his yeah. people were joking over it. They thought he was playing. See, we all thought he was playing at first. No one yeah. thought that it was serious that he was really, you know. But yeah, yeah he was it dumb. was hilarious. Now, when I uh, I passed out on TPP uh, and one of my first times over there because I basically stayed up addicted to the stream and drinking all night, <laughs> and I had to work the next day, and come to find out, like, I passed out in my chair with my phone in my lap at like. In between three thirty and four o'clock, 
and I got to get up at 5.30, man. And I, yeah. I woke up, realized what was going on, and I just took my ass inside and laid on the couch. I didn't even go to bed. I just laid on the couch for an hour. Hey, yeah, I fell asleep over there a few I'm times going. without drinking. Yeah, I was I was embarrassed, but it happens. Uh, I'm not, uh, you know, Marcy's done it. A lot of people have done it, apparently. Some people do I'm... it on their own streams when it's just them. <laughs> Yes. I'm glad uh, I've never did the uh, old Chris snoring thing. <laughs> oh. All right, so he's smoking a cigarette. He's ne either he's going to finish the cigarette and then the passing auto come after that. But yeah, I'm gonna zoom in. That's so shit watch funny, it. man. Yeah, you can tell his his eyes aren't even really open. And I don't know if he, he smokes weed at all or if he just drinks. I think he just drinks, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, he, he's definitely just looking through slits there. We were just having a good time. You know, everybody was joking and whatever, what have you. And but, uh, that shit was funny. They, what they was telling him was, hey, your wife's behind. We would, he would just make him believe, right? And then his wife showed up for real. <laughs> so <laughs> either someone, either she was watching the stream herself or or someone from the his channel called her or something, and she come down yeah. and get him. Yeah, that's what we suspected. Unless, you know, because it's not like she was in the room, I don't think. Like, she was probably somewhere else in the house. Yeah. I think he's in his basement, <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm correct. Okay. Yeah, I think he said he had that's his basement, but I'm not sure. I mean, he's got a nice setup. I like it. Yeah. Is he a carpenter? Mm. I think he said yeah, he had said he was like a carpenter or something, or he builds something or whatever. But anyways, um, he was out. Yeah, there he goes with the, the crown. Yeah. Let's see how much is in. It'll be shortly after this when he um Yeah, it's about like a third to half half at best, but um, he had already well, he had already drank some though when he first came on, he was drinking it too. So well, like that's what I was saying. Like if he started with a full bottle, I mean no, but that's before I knew that he had been drinking all day. You know what I mean? Right. Because, um, uh, what's his nuts? Uh, Kenny, Kenny, that one night he started out, you know, he was dressed and he, he was ready. Like his ladies were going out and, uh, and he was going to hang out. And, um, I think I had left the stream and come back. And when I came back, like he was down to his, uh, white tank top, he was standing up. His face looked a bit saggy and drunk. Like he was still hanging in there. He didn't do one of these, but uh, but I I can almost imagine the way he's he was going on that bottle. I imagine he drank that whole damn thing. Damn. But like I said, I didn't I didn't see it. I just saw the difference between when I left and when I came back. I was like, damn, Kenny's on fire. He is drunk. <laughs> Yeah, so how many drinks you think he took there? Three or four already, right? In a row? Swigs? Yeah, just within that minute. Yeah. But the good thing is he didn't fall. He didn't get hurt or nothing. He was sitting down, you know. It's not like, you know. Yeah, it's not like he sat there in his chair with his white shirt on and, like, vomed on himself in front of everybody. Yeah, that too, yeah. And she didn't. She didn't shut the stream down. All she did was shut his camera off, or he did. The stream stayed up. It yeah, was still I didn't running see over him. there. I didn't see him touch anything. Like I saw her reaching around, and getting the mouse. Yeah. But she yeah, was telling him he was doing the wrong side or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, this dude was in outer space. <laughs> I guess she's used to it. 
I don't know. I want to say it was uh, shortly after my wife and I got married. Um, I, I was working two jobs and I rarely got a day off. But when I got a day off, like she would leave for work. Yeah, there's another one. Yeah, that's about half. And um, OK, this is still was, just that like the 319 mark. So it must be coming up here quick. Go ahead. You just got married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so my my wife would leave for work. And if I had the day off on both jobs. Like I'd start early and I would just, you know, basically play Call of Duty online all day and drink and play Call of Duty. And. Oh, man, I, I tied one on for real. And I want to say this was like New Year's Eve, so we were planning on having people over for the night and all this stuff. Well, I I, I did my best, honestly, and uh, she comes home and finds me in uh tipped over in the computer chair in front of the TV with a tipped over empty wine bottle because I had run out of beer. So I went into the wine. <laughs> oh, man. And she told me that she basically, she did like the sternum rub. She slapped my face. She pulled my ears. Like she basically said that I had to beat you up just to get your eyes open. And I do remember like as soon as I opened my eyes and I was awake and she's like on top of me trying to get me to wake up. Like I rolled over onto my belly, did a half-ass push-up, and crawled into the bathroom and puked my guts up and slept through New Year's. <laughs> it was uh, not my proudest moment, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at least I was in the safety of my own home, you know. Be drinking your wife's wine, man. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Actually, um, that I think that's how close it was. Well, no, I think this was probably our, like, we got married in December. So that would have been our first New Year's. Th I think this was the, after our first year anniversary. And we still had stuff, because we, we had to, to save money. We purchased all our own uh, alcohol from Costco uh, for the reception. And there was so much left over. like. I, it probably it, it wow. probably took me like three or four months to get rid of all the beer that was left over. And then when the beer was over, I went into the wine. But by that time, it was like we still had wine, but I just reverted back to buying my own beer because I, I don't like to drink wine all the time. Yeah. I re it's I'm really not guys. a wine person. Oh. It's yeah. hitting them already, bro. I know. I don't know if you can tell it's it's coming. Yeah. His eyes like closing. His... Can't see it good on the phone, but I can see it on my screen here. Yeah, I, I'm on my phone, but I got it zoomed in on StreamYard. Oh, okay. Streamyard uh, on my phone, it zooms. It zooms pretty clear. YouTube doesn't really on the lives. It doesn't really zoom too good. I had no idea we could do that. Cool. Yeah, so I basically have him full screen right now. <laughs> yeah, because people be showing me stuff on Streamyard. I'm like, well, I can't see that shit, bro. I never even thought of trying to. Hey, and you see, like we were talking about the um. The, the sub names up underneath. Yeah. Um, a, cu a couple of us, those are our um, gamer tags. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was um, uh, Hippie and um, uh, Sasquatch, yeah. Yeah, Hippie, Sasquatch, and then because even, even Bear was talking about a game um and i told them i was on xbox so they were like you know we all need to link up and, and hit that up sometime mm -hmm. but so that's just that conversation but 
I wonder why right, some so. uh, some channels have it and some don't. I don't know if maybe that's the higher uh, priced StreamYard has it or something. I never yeah, noticed it until maybe a week or so ago when I went into somewhere and they had it. All right, he put the cigarette out, so the heads are popping. So you were yeah. saying about your, your New Year's story. My 21st birthday fell while I was at college, and so we were going to have a small party. And in the afternoon, me and two of my roommates decided to have a couple of drinks, and we ended up drinking all the booze that we had for the party. So we had to go out and get more. And the liquor store was right next to a place that we were all uh, regulars at called this Wickley Hotel. So we went there for some more beer. And one of the things that annoyed me was when we went in and my roommate was like, you know, oh, we're celebrating his birthday. And the bartender asked how old I was. And I couldn't say 21 because we'd been going in there for <laughs> at least a year, you know. <laughs> so I was always pissed because I thought, oh, man, if uh, I could have told him I was 21, probably would have got a bunch of free drinks there. But anyway, we ended up wrecking my roommate's car right at the entrance to the college. <laughs> so it was like a really good 21st birthday. Oh, God yeah. damn. And you know he took another swig, right? And then he's still drinking mm -hmm. damn beer. Hey, oh, man. I think he drinks yeah, he... Coors Light, he said, right? Coors Light? That's what he drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think this is the beginning of the end. It, it was funny because he came on and he he was saying that he, him and Fraud are were boys. He was you know he was playing everybody and but uh, Hippie already knows who he is. I was like, man, we already know this dude, man. He's talking about man. He... And yeah, oh, and we were talking about games and uh we were talking about the video games right and somebody was like you know what in, in a certain kind of way he looks like trevor from uh grand theft auto the crazy yeah. motherfucker mm. yeah, he's still hanging on here he'll go to sleep pretty soon Much in his eyebrows, they go up and down. And... <laughs> hey, yo, it's it's that thing like, um, so like before when he was holding his head up, still, uh, he he was looking through slits in his eyes, but now that he can't hold his head up, he has to open his eyes wider so that way he can look forward. <laughs> Squinting because the screen's probably bouncing around on him. Yeah. Well, Track seems to be enjoying it. Yeah, I mean, he's a good guy. He's, you know, he's not a drama starter, picker on people or nothing like that. He's just a, yeah. a hangout dude. Uh, Hoodie. Hoodie Ninja is your uh, Xbox name. Yeah. I um I got that from, um I don't know if you recall or anything, a, a car commercial. It was a Honda commercial. And uh, they did it kind of like, kind of, kind of like anime, um, Fast and the Furious style. And uh, this chick is driving a, a Honda Civic or something like that. And there's a, a real song that <clears throat> that they were using in the commercial, and it's, I'm a hoodie ninja, I'm a hoodie ninja, I'm a hoodie ninja, some shit like that. 
And I was like, well, fuck it. I wear a hoodie every day. I'm a fucking hoodie ninja. I don't remember that commercial, man. That is funny. And also, I get a bunch of uh, circumcision jokes about it. Yeah. Yeah, it does make sense. (laughs) There he is. My head is getting heavy. Yeah, so I mean, think about it. Like, even how long have we been watching this? Like, 10 minutes, maybe? The thing is, is that the chats was going crazy about him. That everyone kept writing something about him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? You know, Bear should have put him in the center space there. <laughs> yeah. By the way, did you see they did a uh, sequel to Gladiator? What What was it? There's a sequel to Gladiator coming out. I forget who did it. Yeah. Yeah, there it's is. It's supposed yeah. to be like a... Oh, and I just realized I saw a thing and said about being Maximus's son, but wasn't his whole family killed? Wasn't that part of the thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because he sees his son at the end when he's dead, right? Running in the fields and his wife. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. I th- I thought um, I-, I thought Russell Crowe was like, uh, very adamant that there should not be. I mean, I know he was just an actor, but I think I thought he mm-hmm. was pretty adamant that there should not be a sequel to that movie because it, it it would just be a like a money grab at that point, and they're gonna fuck everything yeah. up. Yeah, you can see I'm not in my backyard. Uh, I'm I'm in my gar- I'm in my backyard because they kicked me out of the garage, yeah. and my wife uh, used the Xbox and the TV to um, play her Pandora. So I'd have I'd have basically just been um, the copyright infringer slash right have to stay on mute anyway because it would just eat up the mic, you know. You know, I hate when uh, people do this and forget to take it back down again. Like this one here. Right. Been well, it, it does go mostly because we did watch, we did watch him. Um, yeah, so they must be going to be like trying to start the movie then with... Uh, Oh, uh, the son wasn't really dead, and something. Oh God, yeah, yep, he is definitely gone there. You know who he looks like? He looks like the midget guy from the from the, the Game of Thrones. Yeah, yes. that Peter Dinkoff. <laughs> yeah, he does, but in a big body. <laughs> I just zoomed him in, ready? <laughs> yeah, he really, he really does. Yeah, especially with that eye roll, bro. Yeah, he's trying. I drink so and hard. I know things. <laughs> hey, you you might have to turn the sound on, uh, if you can, uh, to hear that uh, lullaby. Yeah. Okay, what the hell did I just do? I kick it out. Did you go back to the beginning? No, I think it just. Okay.
Oh, there it is. Since having two drinks of the show. Wake up. <laughs> this is CP said, Wake up, Jason. <laughs> 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 <He's so terrible. laughs> They're playing like <laughs> baby music, like ding ding. So funny. I'm recording this. I can't wait to show them. And you see, they got him on big screen. He needs that <laughs> neck brace. He needs that neck brace. And that's why, yeah, he needs my toilet paper roll right now. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Is he He's dreaming going. about deep thing? <laughs> What's going on here? 801. Jason is. Uh, okay. Taking a nap. I'm black. I'm literally in fear. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Jason, this is God speaking. Wake up. I don't even know if that, uh, we should be around. Right. <laughs> 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 Wake up. Uh, Good night, good night, Jason and the Argonauts. He's, he's been dreaming about the Argonauts. All. Oh, shit. Look at his crack. Ooh. I'm going to put it back on. <laughs> he's, he's there, man. He's fucking... You still with us, Jason? You there, bro? Can I get your license and registration, sir? <laughs> Have you had anything to drink tonight? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you look at the light I'm shining in your eyes, please? Let's do a, a litmus test. How many fingers do I have? Yeah. Stand on one foot. <laughs> How many no, fingers do I have? Your ass. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Take a cold shower and have a coffee, bro. God. Should we change the song? We put some different music. <laughs> you might fall asleep. Guy, I, I feel like he's going to have a really sore neck. Me. Imagine how sore his neck will be. I thought mine was going to be sore tomorrow. Jesus. Poor Jason. It's the same one. Somebody call Jason's wife and get him off the line. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Cheers. Put it back on. Put it back on. Thanks, man. Yeah, bro. You, you fucking made my day, you have. <laughs> me too. Oh, and he took me another the one. That's the drunkest I've ever seen him, and I've known him forever. I mean, he gets really drunk, but this is, uh, this is pretty bad, Jason. Mm. I, hope, I hope you don't have a hang. I hope you don't have a hangover tomorrow. 
<laughs> Are you going to throw up? No, definitely not. Open one eye and look at the camera. Say hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh, please. Oh. <laughs> oh. Jason, have you, you been on those tabs, bro? I don't know. So. He, he quit drinking a long time ago. Ago, mm. so I know it's not drinking. I thought he said he didn't speak French. Mm, here's the shit. <laughs> oh, bro, is that your wife behind you? Oh, is it? She. Sh I wish she would show up. <laughs> Help him to his bed or sleep it off. <clears throat> I can't hey, snap out of it, bro. So. Snap out, snap out of it. Oh man, you're talking to me again. Do do a snappy uh, snap. Oh, there you go. Oh, you shut off. God now? bless you, lady. Yeah. God bless you. Shut Okay. Nice, Jason. Jason. I think he, he can't figure night, it out himself. Thank you for helping him out. Oh, good boy, Jason. Come on, it's all good, brother. Come Much on, love. Dude. Yeah. Next Fuck. time, bud. Hi, Jason. Hope hope you feel good tomorrow morning. <laughs> Happy hey, Easter weekend, you, Brian. Come on, Jason. Come on, baby. Let's go. Hey, so, sorry, we'll play you a lullaby tomorrow. Don't worry. Go on, say go, just say goodbye. Say goodbye, brother. We love you. One more lullaby. Come on. Okay. Shut it down, Jason. Yep. You're over here. You gotta get over there. Mm. Oh, damn. Good night, Jason. Sweet dreams. So I just realized something. I totally forgot until I saw this just now. I clicked in last night to see who was on and stuff. I, I think it's while I was waiting for summer or something. And I saw just this part, just when the wife came in. And yeah. you know what I thought? You know what I thought this was? I thought that was like his mother or something. I thought he had like cerebral palsy or something. Oh my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> let me let me back it up just a minute and and look at it without you knowing that he's drunk. Just look at this and tell me if it doesn't seem like something like that. Like that, uh, like that viral guy. Oh, uh, there you, know, like you go. Oh. You See, look at this. Bless you, lady. Doesn't this yeah, just look like you. somebody, somebody's mother yeah, coming in? Oh, yeah. uh, I heard the same son. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for helping him out. Oh, good boy, Jason. And the way everybody's Come talking, it's all good, brother. Him. Much Come love. On. Yeah. Oh, good, Next time, good boy, Jason. Hi, Jason. Hope hope you feel good tomorrow morning. <laughs> Happy Easter weekend, you, Brian. Come on, baby, let's go. Hey, so, sorry, we'll play you a lullaby tomorrow. Don't worry. <laughs> Go on, say go go, just say goodbye. Say goodbye, brother. We love you. One more lullaby. Come on. Come on. Okay. Shut it down, Jason. Yep. You're over here. You got to get over there. Mm. Oh, damn. Good night, Jason. <laughs> Good dreams. Down here. Yeah, just good. <laughs> that was great. Oh my God! <laughs> well, you see what I mean there. Didn't that look? If you didn't have any of the context, that's what it looked like to me. Was yeah, that does um, make sense. Yeah, like that little bit of a hug he tried to give. <laughs> yeah, and and like even when well, like um, when he like sort of went, you know, he sort of went like that. It looked like someone who didn't. You know that that, like I said, had cerebral palsy or something, couldn't quite, you know, control his motions. And... 
and you know he's got multiple monitors and he was on one and she was trying to get him to the other he goes you're right (laughs) yeah i think i think he had um probably had both his stream and and he had um bear stream up at the same time that way he could read the chats uh i don't think he was reading anything though That was funny, I'm, though. I mean, just you playing something like that, I, I, I would expect everybody and their mama to come over here and and, and, and enjoy that uh, <laughs> a reliving of a moment. <laughs> that motherfucker, if he's not viral already, I'll tell you what. Yeah, Hippie said uh, he was going to make a, a short. Everyone said they were going to make a short. <laughs> And if and if you didn't understand the paper roll, the 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 toilet paper thing is hippie had that operation done on his neck. He was wearing that, you know, the neck oh, brace, yeah. and everyone tells him it looks like a a roll of toilet paper around his neck, and that's why he's saying you he needs he needs the roll of toilet paper so that it holds his head up. Yeah, I was I but was yeah. there when he first came in yesterday, because that's what I he he was wearing it when he came in, and I he was saying about you know being sore and stuff, and I said. Uh, you know, hippie. I'm no medical expert, but has anybody considered the fact that the reason your neck is sore because you got that big stupid collar on? <laughs> I, remember, I, I remember you saying that. Yeah. Yeah, he was on there, and then he had left because he said uh, because summer was going to start, and it took him forever to start. Yeah, that's what uh, I went over to. Yeah. She was supposed to start and then sat there forever waiting for. Her. Well, they couldn't figure it out. We yeah. finally got it going, but yeah. And then it and, wasn't uh, the show I was expecting anyway. Yeah. When when you I, said I, you was at the other girls channel, Muckster. Yeah. I went over there and hell yeah, the picture was better and the sound. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody kept saying, Oh, well, you can't hear summer, you can't hear summer. It's like, you know, I'm going, Yeah, you can if you listen to the audio from over here. Cause like at first what I did was I just I went over there and was listening to the audio and then went back and was watching at Summers so I could chat there. But then, but yeah, the other one, her picture was a lot better also. Yeah. And you could see their whole heads in it. Like in, yeah. in Summers video, they were kind of getting cut off a little bit. Yeah. Oh, well. But I blame track. Eh, I'll take that. It was funny because every time he bopped, his head track would do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, he was uh, he he was in sync with the beat of that lullaby. Like he was. I was just like gonna. I was I just gonna so, say. Right? I was gonna <laughs> say the same thing. Yep, it was like. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh God. Good times. It's funny though when you uh, said about it, when you said uh, about seeing him there getting drunk and everything, and that I did not remember seeing any of that at all because my memory was like of a whole different thing, you know. Because I just, I think I flipped in like right when his wife came in, so I like it was seeing a whole different thing. Right. Yeah, almost like. Uh joining a conversation during the argument rather than the, the you know the context that brought that led up to it you know yeah yeah uh, but like you like you were saying about um like i guess some are having a, a schedule they um i guess a time to go to go live or whatever and uh then it took took a while to get it started I want to say I saw like at least four or five channels have stuff scheduled in between like three, then three thirty, then five, then five thirty, and stuff like that. Yeah. And you know, I was surfing around. I watched a couple of videos, uh, just random shit that I like to watch. Um, and I'd be like, oh, it's it's it, you know, it's two three minutes past, five minutes past, or whatever. I'll go check out that live. 
you know, see who shows up and what's going on. And I show up and it'd be like nothing. And it yeah. and rather than the countdown, it would just say waiting on. And I'd be like, okay, they're going to be late. You know, I'll go do something else and then come right. back. And cause like, uh, I think bear had one set and during his, during, you know, that session that we just watched, he was like, yeah, I, I had a, a live schedule and I don't even remember setting it. Yep. No, I remember that. Cause I had gone there cause he'd had one. It said like four o'clock or whatever. And I went there and nothing ever happened. Yeah. I remember him saying that then when he came in there. Yeah. And then, um, uh, Mellows with eyes on the audit had one set and I want to say it was mostly on time, but I want to say it was like a minute or two after, which is, you know, that's no biggie. Yeah. But then, but then when it actually came on, it was, uh, it was grim. And then, so I hopped over to Grimm's and it turned, I think it turned out like the whole time. I think it was bare, <laughs> but I, I really don't know because I mean, you can stream the stream yards link in, in anybody's chat. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was actually, it was Grimm's uh, stream and then bear oh, okay. restreamed it and Mel was restreaming it. Well, I went to all three and liked them all and left the, you know, but I wasn't seeing the stream yard because they, they waited a bit before they uh, broadcasted it to all the channels. So I, I didn't know whose it was or what was go what was really going on, but it, it was a fun time. Yeah. I, saw, people. I saw one the one time I'm almost sure it was Northwoods where it was said, it said, you know, starting at like six 30 and I went there to see who'd be coming in and stuff and waited and waited and then all of a sudden it went from like 6 30 to 11 p.m tomorrow <laughs> it was like a whole day later <laughs> yeah and i always try to think to myself too depending on who's doing it and i, I don't know if um if like youtube um adjusts for it or like, do you set like, like if, if somebody in England sets it for, oh, you know, live starting at, at 3 PM. Yeah. It shows that, in our time. It shows your local time. Okay. Cause I mean, that's what I've noticed, but I don't know if they're adjusting for target audience or if YouTube adjusts for it. Yeah. No, I think it's a YouTube thing. Okay. Cause you know, we're worldwide and. If something says yeah. 3 p.m. and it winds up being right. like Aussie time, it's like, oh, right. fuck me, bro. Yeah, what they would have to do is have them like being like 3 p.m. GMT or something so everybody could do their own math. That would make sense. So, uh, Ozzy went live this morning and uh, I clicked over because the the um, the announcement, whatever, the thing popped up. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, he didn't have, he was already... He was on a stream and then he went live and it wasn't coming in good at all. So he just told us to pop over to the to the to the to the stream that he was on mm. over to uh, Australian Auditor. I think that's his name. Yeah, yeah. So I went over there. It was way better, I and mean, you could hear what you know. We couldn't even hear. It kept coming in and out. And yeah, I was already all. over at the other one because I couldn't watch his at all. Yeah. Uh, let me, let me see if I can find one. I'll show you guys what happens to me with a lot of them. Yeah, I remember the first time I saw that uh, Australian auditor on a panel, and his uh, his screen name was just AA, and I was like, "Did I just stumble into an intervention?" Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen a video where he got attacked by a crowd uh -huh. of people? It was like Antifa people. Oh out there. shit. Yeah, that's what the whole thing was about. They took his camera. He's fighting them. The cops don't do shit. He's got to fight them all off. There's a bunch of people after him. Man. God damn. This I've seen some. I've seen some like that, especially with Antifa. Yeah. This is what I was getting at Aussies. Yeah. 
with you. And I get that a lot with uh, any shorts. The only, I found that what I have to do is I have to uh, go to my settings and take off hardware acceleration. But the trouble is you have to restart the browser then. So it can't really do it when I'm like, if I'm doing this now, I wouldn't be able to do it. But yeah, I was surprised when I was getting that same thing at Aussies. The only time I ever got that before was trying to watch some of the shorts. Yeah, I had to ask him if he was dry. I thought it maybe he was traveling or something. I couldn't tell because I could barely hear him, and it was just crappy, pixeling and all that. Yeah, I heard you guys like saying, or well, I guess you were putting in chat something about um, the picture's bad or something. And I figured you yeah. were just getting like static, but I just had like nothing. It was exactly well, I- like what I just showed there. Yeah, it looked like an old special effect. Like uh, it's, the whole thing just started like swirling around and moving real freaky. Like yeah. it was weird. And then it popped right back up. And then then he wrote, uh, just everybody just go over here. And he just shut it down. So I just moved over. But I usually get the... the um, What do you call it? The 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 notification when they when they pop up. If you're not paying attention to your phone and you don't hear it, and then you miss it. But yeah, I was watching a uh, a review on an electric bike there, and I didn't finish watching it. Jump over to that. Yeah. So well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna head on up because I already missed one of the fights already. That they, oh, yeah. I had it on. I had it on over here, but it, it this I can't. I can't get nothing to work down here. I gotta put it on my TV upstairs. It'll it'll come in clear. I was just gonna. I was gonna say. I looked at the clock, and right now it's almost midnight over in England, which means in two hours it'll be three a.m. <laughs> just look because they're they finally are doing the uh, daylight savings tonight oh are well, they going I, forward I, then yeah i didn't know they do that over there yeah but for some reason they're always a couple weeks off of us and i just wish we would just quit doing it anyway all right yeah me too but um yeah i'm, uh, I'm gonna handle some shit real quick too um if anybody's still on uh, later, I guess we'll catch up. Everybody have a good weekend. If I don't see you, yeah, I think I, right. I might as well. I might as well uh, shut down, and uh, maybe I'll come back later if there's nobody else doing anything. Yeah, you got eight hours here. I don't know what you got on your side. I got um, seven yeah. hours and fifty-seven. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm glad you guys came, and Danny was here, and yeah. we got. Uh, Arabic bombers instead of porn bombers today. <laughs> yeah, A- Arabic bomb. That was different. Yeah, anyway. I'll, always good to talk to you guys. Catch you on the next one. Yep. All right. Thanks man. a lot. We'll see you. All right. And you too, Danny. Thanks a lot. Bye, Danny. I don't think there's anybody still over there, but other people did come in along the way too. <laughs>